moms right now and people want to show that that's just not right. We want to let them know, hey, we don't want you to do it here. We'd like to do this as peacefully as possible. Back down, go home, and uh, we'll handle our own. We need the governor, we need the sheriffs on board right now, and I agree with you. Uh, I'm gonna I, just want to add the, I just want to add you did a great job trying to uh, bring all the stairs in a little bit earlier before you started the Q&A. All right, I'm going to let the next caller in. You're, you're, you're under the uh, guise anonymous, so I get you ahead of a couple people. When you come in anonymous, I'm a little bit uh, hesitant uh, to let someone talk. So we're going to give this guy 10 seconds. You better make it, Nikki. You came in anonymous. Here you go. Hey, how you doing? Listen, uh, my name is Archangel M4. No, never mind all that. I'm, I'm from the, the site America Wake Up Before It's Too Late. We have a lot of people that follow our information. We also multitask with, with over 200 other pages. What do you guys need there? Talk to me. All right. Uh, I'm going to resort everybody also back to the uh, playback number for the last few calls, 559-726-1399. Uh, five, five, nine, nine, uh, we've got a lot of things we've covered over the last couple of days. Uh, pound 9762 is going to be the way to hear the beginning of this conversation. The beginning of this conversation is going to tell you how to get to the uh, previous one. Uh, anything else you wanted to interject, brother? What state do you represent? Uh, multiple states. Uh, we're, we're definitely all over. We have a lot of uh, patriots that are involved with our page, and uh, I'm just right now. My my thought is is really bad because of this uh, this stuff with the DHS coming in. They've been uh, looking for a reason to to get this thing to start off, and I really hope this doesn't turn into another Waco. I got a feeling it's heading that way. I, uh, I highly agree with that, brother. Um, all right, I'm going to have to close you down and move on. we got 36 people in the queue right now. Is that cool? That, that's cool. We'll try, to keep, uh, we'll try to keep listening in the background here. I hope you don't mind that I did come in anonymous. Uh, it's obvious why I did that, but um, we're going to keep in the background. We're also going to get the other, the other line going, and we're going to try to just keep the information current and see if we can get some of our people your way and whatever you need out there to help you out. Okay. Uh, you can spread the word for us. We're trying to recommend that people contact in, uh, local tribal land. I got a phone number. Uh, I'm going to repeat it again for people to use. Um, it's 702-865-2790. They're actually offering, uh, at least what we've heard is that they are offering to uh, take in any refugees, which we're trying to deter people from actually hitting the ground zero right now. Um, bring supplies and whatnot and be respectful. You're on somebody else's land. Uh, right. You know, I'm asking people to treat my uh, Native American brothers as good as they can. And, uh, you know, they're going to look out for you. And they totally understand they've been there before. Uh, you want to talk about taking, taking people's land. Uh, it's time for America to kind of maybe show them a little bit of, uh, hey, look, how we understand. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Let me ask you just a quick I'm sorry. I apologize for interrupting you. Let me just ask you a quick question. Once, uh, if we do have any kind of members coming in, once they're on uh, tribal land, they're basically, they can't be bothered by uh, anything passing through. Is that correct? Um, they're overstepping a lot of boundaries right now, man. Let's hope they don't cross that one. Right. I got you. Thousands of Native Americans and Americans with guns. That's not what they want to do right now. We're trying to get everybody to stand down, and that's the big rule. The military's chimed in. There is some activity, but it's not necessarily <clears throat> uh, relating to this. Unfortunately, they're in a zone that uh, they were conducting some transfer of personnel and uh, kind of look weird. But uh, I've got a comms guy that uh, just chimed back on. Uh, I'm going to open up this call for a minute and let my comms guy pop in. Go ahead, Missouri 1 or Colorado 1, 2 or 3. Q&A session is over. Yeah, I will. Uh, just think, uh, over hey. here. Q&A session started. All right. Sorry about that. Everybody who was in the Q&A session, it looks like you just got reset. I apologize greatly. That's the first time we've used Q&A. You just got yourself back in the queue. If you press star six right now, it looks like you put yourself back in the queue. I totally apologize for doing that, man. If you've been holding it for a while, I feel like a total schmutz right now for even pushing that button. 
uh, trying to coordinate how I can talk to people that are, uh, in, you know, in a certain line of uh, chain of command right now. And uh, everybody else that just got kicked in, totally forgive me. You know, poke me later. I have to apologize. I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and just start doing the Q&A again. I'm so sorry for that. I know you're punching the phone right now. That's all my fault. Uh, my bad. Next question. Heather Tate. Heather Tate, you're in the Q&A. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was still muted. Um, I'm also from a um, Facebook news page called WTF America. We also received the same um, message that the feds are sending the 100 DHS MRAPs, 21Vs, mounted machine guns, etc. Um, I just wanted to reiterate on that, that yes, we also received that message, but also do you think this is ever going to come to any kind of fucking good thing? Because Henry Reid, or I'm sorry, Harry Reid already sold the land to the Chinese to do his little solar. All right. Uh, solar what kind of confirmation did you have on that report as far as MRAPs and such, man? That, um, that, that was sent, that was sent uh, as an email to the main admin of RPH, which she passed to the rest of us admin. Do we have a source? Uh, she didn't give a source. She just posted it on the page, and she said it was right. an email that she had received. Okay, yeah. But, uh, we're trying to get some boots on the ground type information when we're hearing about possible MRAPs. You know, we've had some conjecture here already. Uh, we're just trying to get actual confirmation, so I apologize for, you know, toning people down on that last comment. Um, it's a possibility. But until we actually have somebody who totally saw it, has a picture, conjecture like this, it isn't working really well with this conversation. It's, forgive me. I uh, respect your uh, underground media company, but uh, you can't let people panic on something like that, you know, as of right now. Uh, Absolutely. Anything else I can next caller suite? That's it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you chiming in. Thank you. Uh, we've got another anonymous. I'm going to let you guys get out of the way first. Go ahead. 10 4, this is a Southern California. I'm calling in just to tell you what I've seen locally moving out of here on uh, the 118, which connects to the 210 freeway, which then connects to the 15. Yesterday we had six. A Humvees, fully loaded, a uh, man with their battle gear on, uh, cannons mounted on them, they, the, they had the 50 cows on them. They were followed by uh, five personnel vehicles, and then about 30 minutes later, two Chinooks, flying about 200 feet off the ground, buzzed straight through along the same path. North All right, um, in the northeast. You're, you're now California too, brother. Um, are you willing to give out a phone, or are you hiding that for a reason? I'm keeping it out, but uh, you can, you know what? Um, you can reach me on my uh, Instagram account or uh, you know, I don't think business page. But I'm sorry. All right, I'm a, uh, let's go with an email. I apologize for putting you out like this, but uh, comes one in Missouri. <clears throat> if you could grab a pen and grab this gentleman's uh, phone number, uh, this is uh, you are now California too. Got it? Roger that. Can you spit out an email address for uh, Missouri one? Yeah, uh, Buffalo Arms Trading at gmail.com. Buffalo Arms Trading at gmail.com. Missouri One, I really hope you're writing that down right now, brother. Say it again. Buffalo Arms Trading at gmail.com. Buffalo Arms Trading at gmail.com. And uh, you are now California, too. You don't have to say your name, brother, but uh, I'm praying that he emails you here in a second, okay? Sound four. Got anything to report? I need you to chime in to him. That oh, sounds good. Ten four, good, buddy. I'm going to move on to the next caller. Anything else you need to add? Give me a, give me a hua or something. Give me a hua. Come on, God bless America. Something. Ah, all right, next guy. Uh, last name with the V. Uh, five seven six eight. Go ahead, Dennis. Hi, I uh, I own a company in Arizona. Uh, my company designs and develops uh, civilian use unmanned aerial drones. I just want to say that uh, we're trying to organize a trip up there, and uh, I know the FAA has put a TFR out, a temporary flight restriction. Three mile radius of that area up to 3,000 foot above ground. We're looking at that. Uh, I, mean, I need, I need, a, fa I need a favor from you. I don't mean to interrupt you, Dennis. I need a favor from you. Yes, uh, we're, we're actually looking for some sort of uh, person put in that position. Are, are you play, do you, what are you doing the next 48 hours? I'm actually uh, working in my shop right now. I'm getting some of the drones ready. We're trying to organize a trip up there tomorrow evening. It sounds like you already have the lifeline we're looking for. Can I put you in charge of that uh, situation? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I need uh, one main thing that I need you to do is, is there, there's a Gadsden. Uh, we mentioned it earlier. Uh, 
말해 어떻게 하는 게 좋을까요? 아, 이게 무슨 아, 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 Uh, I need you to do your best to find the guys in the airport and uh, anybody else on this call that can handle that. I, I need you guys to kind of put that together right now. Um, if, if you could work on that, then what, you're offering something that we need. So uh, uh, he was the next man that, that was handling that, and uh, then you guys need to coordinate. If you can find the guys in the airport online, uh, do what you got to do. I don't really have much other of that right now other than that I know he's in not southern Indiana. Okay, no problem. I'll go ahead and Google that. I just wanted to mention that uh, we're trying to organize a trip up here. We're going to bring in some drones and try to get some aerial coverage for uh, for civilians here, and, and at least until uh, they tell us we can't fly anymore. All right, I'm also going to be hitting you up directly here in a uh, couple minutes uh, via text. Uh, I need you to go ahead and reply back and let me know that we're going. Okay. All right, no problem. Have a good night. Thank you. You bet. All right, I'm going to move on. Next caller. Uh, That's a weird one. It looks like you must be on Skype. Uh, a 718, I'm going to unmute you. Go ahead. It's a butterfly. Uh, actually, it's WTFRLY. Uh, that stands for what the F really. Uh, I, I, run my, uh, I run my own news site. I, I was actually uh, I was asking right before you came back in and put it on Q&A. Uh, I was basically asking if you have a kind of stock body of info that you want to at least get out there. I, I know you've covered a lot of things about what's confirmed, what's not. I'm just actually trying to, you know, do what, what you're talking about about putting out solid confirmed information to uh, the people on Facebook that want to help. Because, like you said, there is a lot of disinformation spreading. So um, I, I'm actually I'm actually recording this myself. So if, if you have anything that you want to Like I said, uh, get out there if you have a quote or if you have any, any whatever it is you want, whatever info you want people to know, I'm, I'm getting ready to write something now. So, um, uh, I'm not sure how many people found this call. We've got a large call tree that went on, an internet tree, and there's concerned citizens are popping up everywhere, man. Uh, the best way to find me right now, I just exceeded my maximum on Facebook, but if you type in uh, free the people, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is delete a whole bunch of people that uh, haven't gotten in comms with me in the last year or so, and uh, go ahead and add a whole bunch of new interests in Patriots, man. Uh, if you just type in free the people, hopefully I pop up. Uh, my last name's a Polish mess, but uh, I should pop up. If you type in D-R-Y-A-N, and then space free the people, all one word, I should pop up. Add me, follow me, bro. Uh, stay in comms. Uh, I'll get you as soon as I can. All the people that just are adding me right now, I can't get to that at the moment, so I'm sorry if you're not catching up, Dave. I appreciate any anything else you wanted to throw in, brother. Uh, let, let, let me let me see if I just understand what, what you guys have confirmed now and, and want to get out there. I mean, I guess uh, there's you, you don't have a particular number on how many on how many militia are heading towards the site. You do have uh, that that Native American land that you said uh, about 10 miles away. Uh, we're I'm still trying to get some people to chime in with me directly. Um, I'm going to have to pull off the Q&A in a minute, and it's going to get really haphazardous real quick. What I'm going to need everybody to do is when we flip that out of, out of Q&A, I need to go ahead and have you all quickly meet yourselves. Uh, we'll give that about 30 seconds for all kinds of chaos, and then uh, hopefully it tones down real quick. And I need uh, comms, uh, security, and I need the other guys to, uh, from aviation to go ahead and unmute themselves, and we need to talk again. Uh, if you need any reports, we can we, we call back on that. But uh, if, as far as updates, man, uh, the inner circle, we're recommending that people not go right now. We had reports of give or take uh, 200 some odd people. Um, we're, we're really pushing for everybody just to come as a peaceful protester as of now. If you just happen to be, uh, you know, armed uh, in, in defense, uh, that's one thing. But, you know, don't come balls to the walls. You know, come peaceful. Uh, you know, look up the laws in the local area. Make sure you're adhering to them for the most part, so you don't cause anybody any trouble. And uh, you know, if you see any instigators, man, we need to call them out. Uh, we are recommending that people at least contact or uh, get a hold of the uh, that local uh, tribal information. Uh, uh, I've got 
that right in front of me. We just don't have anything confirmable because I switched to Q&A mode. Uh, I can't even tell at this moment with so many people on the call if, uh, if, if all the comms guys are online regarding uh, boots on the ground for the, uh, the tribal reservation. Although we are recommending that people at least try to go there first before they go to ground zero. Does that help? Absolutely. Uh, what about, uh, I'm looking at your profile now. You can find me. I sent you a request uh, on facebook.com slash conspiracy. Yeah. Um, you, you, you can add me. I've been listening for about an hour and a half. Um, I found it on Facebook too. I was, like I said, I was just, uh, I work late into the night. Um, I basically run a 24-7 uh, international uh, news site about this, trying to keep, you know, Current information out there, so um, yeah, that, that's, that's the reason why I was asking. Because Keep it up, man. I mean, I any thinking. patriotic American right now that's got my back, I got yours, and that's all we're trying to do right now is let people know that hey, there's a lot of concerned citizens that are making sure the right thing's going on right now. Like I said, 2014, man, let's be civil about this. Uh, we need to find the people that are doing the wrong doing and call them out, and we need sheriffs and governors on board. So. If anybody well, else I'll, wants I'll to probably see up until the sunrise, so, you know, uh, I'll be listening on the call at least until I go to sleep. So, uh, what, what, what would you like me to do? What, what, what can I do? Uh, get more people online, uh, contact more media groups if you can, and, uh, you know, if you know anybody going out there, I tell them to head to the reservation nearby. It's about uh, 10 minutes or 10 miles away. Um, do we have a name uh, for the reservation? Do I, I caught the phone number earlier, the 702 number. Yeah, like I was telling people, just GTF that man, like they say at my work, uh, Google that shit. Yeah, it's the, the phone number again, 702-865-2790. Um, if you want to type in also reservation in Nevada, you're most likely going to find it. Uh, Google Maps will take you right to the ranch and you can look within the uh, area. You'll see what you need to see. And uh, I'm going to move on to the next caller, but we got 35 people in line. Thank you. This video stream is being brought to you by Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy on YouTube and Cosmic Voice on Facebook. Please subscribe. Please join the Cosmic Voice Facebook group. Thank you. Yeah, recently, uh, we're, we're uh, inhibited in travel, so to speak. Yes, uh, we're heading out first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, let's see, I think six to eight men are going, and I think three women. All right, can you tell them to come as peaceful protesters if you're in communication with them directly, please? Oh, yes. They they know it's a peaceful protest. Uh, they do carry weapons, but, you know, they know how to use them and when they need it. Uh, so confirmation, Oki is sending some guys out. Uh, if you can, man, I need a rep from Oki, so I believe you just became Oki number two. Uh, first guy he hasn't chimed in today. He chimed in yesterday. But uh, if you can... Um, if you can chime back in if you got anything we need to know about the guys that got arrested that were from OK, uh, handed out or headed out to uh, Nevada. If uh, okay. you can do some research hopefully from the locals, bro, chime back in and let me know what's up, all right? No problem. Uh, I'll call BF all night trying to get more information on this. And we're Absolutely. also sending down to Texas uh, for that little bit. All right. So Just let anybody know uh, who's traveling. Anybody who's traveling through state borders, become cool and collected and uh, look up the laws on, on, on guns and ammo and munitions and such and make sure you're not doing anything federally screwed up right now. All we need is some, some retard to go pop off. All right? That is exactly what you're trying to avoid. Um, and, yeah. you know, we uh, can you confirm raise level in Oklahoma, by the way? Excuse me? Can you confirm a raise security level? I've got a lot of guys from DEF CON 4 to DEF CON 5. Oh. Uh, and then everybody went up to DEF CON 1 overnight. Yeah. Uh, let's see, OVM, uh, state, uh, okay. defense force. Just, uh, you know, let the hot guys know to calm down, man. We're just trying to let, you know, the, the, the state handle itself. That's a civil way to do this. They want to back up, so we need people, protesters. Obviously, there'll be a lot of Second Amendment groups heading that way. Just everybody needs to keep cool. And, uh, we're hoping that maybe we can get them over to the res first as, uh, it's at a, a, a great point so that they can kind of uh, avoid the inner circle right now uh, until right. early notice. Ten four. Um, there's also a website on Facebook, uh, Militia Leaders. Yeah. Uh, just go in there, click on that. Uh, admin will add you to it, and you can correspond that way also. Uh, I don't fully trust that avenue right now, man, but uh, if you could 
send me a message, and I'll get back to that later. Uh, basically, right now, my Facebook like, so it looks like an operator switchboard from the 70s, right? Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, All right. Yes, uh, one, of my, one of my guys asked me to call in. and was needing a rep from Oklahoma to call in. So. Right, we appreciate y'all. I'll try to get more guys on board. I know you guys got a pretty good network out there. Um, you know, as long as they're peaceful, cool people, hot, not hot heads, and uh, you know, trying to do the right thing, I, I want to on this call. You got it? Not a problem. All of our Thanks. guys are calm, cool, and select. I appreciate that. I'm uh, very disciplined. Point them in my direction, man. Free the people up. Uh, All right, I'm going to move on to the next call, my man. Uh, have a good one. Stay safe. God bless. Thanks for coming. Wow, this has been a really cool conversation, you guys. I appreciate seeing so many people chime in. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, internet just froze up a little bit. And I need to switch to the next call. That's nice when that happens. Uh, Missouri Comms 1, when you get a chance, go ahead and use that data I gave you and get chimed in here. Uh, if you can actually uh, use your resources while I'm frozen up. I'm going to have to chime in from my laptop there with me, people. Looks like that might be uh, another attempt. That really sucks if uh, you guys can't all talk right now and you're stuck in that mode. All right, not cool. It's just fixed up. All right, hey, uh, William, are you still on the line? the sound drop. Uh, grab photographs. 
Excellent. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you chime in, open ground. Uh, do you do the Facebook thing by chance? Um, I do. Go ahead and uh, post those up and do Twitter by chance. we got a guy that's been trying to use uh, a, a Twitter tag uh, to keep things like this on the same page. Yeah, I do Twitter as well. All right, can you put them there as well? Uh, it's uh, pound sign and then the words oath before orders all together. Can you repeat the hashtag? Uh, oath, like your oath, you take your oath to uh, uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Yes. Uh, and then the word before, then the opposite of after. Okay. And then the word right, orders, and then the word orders. So it's oath before orders. Understood. All right, man. Anything else? Do it. Uh, no, that was it. Uh, may the force be with you. I appreciate you calling in. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Wow, we we peaked out yesterday at like what was it? Uh, one hundred and twenty some odd. And then today we peaked up to four hundred. Sorry, I had to refresh, and uh, it's like we're all good now. I'm going to move on to the next caller. Thanks for hanging on me. Mm -hmm. You still there, though, by the way? Yeah, you can hear me. I didn't unmute you, bro. All right, next question. Hey, caller 2767, what do you need to say, buddy? How's it going? This is a patriot from the Seattle area in Washington. Hey, we need some more responses for you guys up northwest. Well, there's a bunch of us up here, believe me. How's it going in Fogville? Good, good, good. Actually, it's been beautiful and sunny. Uh, I'm also a uh, veteran of foreign wars, and I, I learned, I learned. Thank you. I learned something interesting lately that I wanted to share with everybody now that we're on this call, and that is that a lot of the Army psyops people that uh, used to be prepared for operations overseas have since retrained for operations on the homeland. Now, I don't understand why you'd need that type of force trained to operate within the borders. It's uh, kind of scary to me, and I think it's ridiculous. But I want everybody to be aware of that. Um, secondly, when you guys were talking about them posting, posting listening devices, I don't know what they look like. I haven't heard anything before now. But be prepared. It could not only be just listening devices, but it could also be um, some high-powered speakers that they could use for psychological operations one of which is to play very loud sounds which have been proven to be very debilitating to human beings, um, basically to drive you away or to basically debilitate you to the point you can't really react properly. Is this so, a brown sound that you speak of, the infamous brown sound? Yeah, there's, there's several different methods that can be used now. Um, they've been under research for years. I don't know a lot about it. It just, just sounds like looking hell. If I ever have to come to terms with facing the brown sound, I'll just bite my own tongue off and end it. That sounds horrible. Way to go. Um, um, pretty bad stuff. The least you guys can do is be prepared with uh, multiple layers of hearing protection, the in ears and the outer ear protection, just in case. But I, I know a lot of that stuff. If they end up using it, that'll be pretty useless to them. But it doesn't hurt to be prepared with what you can. And more, I really appreciate you. You know, that did not come up if you're heading up still. So, uh, definitely consider when things become a volatile situation. I figure even at this point, you know, be smart. You know, if you have an extra fire extinguisher, grab it. Um, you know, anything to cover yourself uh, if there were your gas being used. Uh, you know, all those preparations need to be considered. You're here 100% correct, sir. Uh, anything else you wanted to chime in with? No, just be safe, try to keep it civil, make, you know, let them make an ass out of themselves. That's all I've got to say. You think I'm doing a decent job so far, man? I kind of volunteered to do this at some point, a lot of time and effort. And just Absolutely. Just, Thanks for what you're doing. I appreciate that, man. Sometimes, you know, you can just you gotta kind of go with the floor. I appreciate you. I'm going to move on to the next guy unless you got something else. But no, that's all I have. Thank you. May the force be with you. Uh, next caller, A. Combs. What's up? What's up, dude? Uh, did you get that guy's email? Sit down, I did. And 
Buffalo.
I would text you. I wouldn't be giving that number online right now, ma'am, but uh, you did come in anonymous, so uh, I, I don't really have capability to do that from where I'm sitting right now. Um, right. As far as technique, uh, I'd recommend, you know, following the procedure. We're having some people have me on Facebook or uh, this is the last call to get an answer to that question. Okay, okay. Where are you at on Facebook? I'll, I'll go ahead and friend you. Uh, Brian with a Y, and then uh, if you type in the words free the people, uh, I should be the one that pops. Just, there's a real serious Polish last name at the end of that, but uh, I, as of right now, I've re reached uh, maximum capacity in the last couple hours as far as new friends, so I'm going to be okay. deleting some old friends and adding some new ones in the near future. Okay, okay well, okay, maybe I'll wait till morning. Okay, thank you, sir. You did an awesome job, man. Everybody be safe and be calm, be smart. Yeah, bear with me, guys. I'll get you. I uh, appreciate you, man. Take care. Next caller is 6831. And you just hung up. All right. Moving on. 9504, you're on. You got five seconds to respond. Four, three. I'm going to give that to you one more time. Last four digits, 9504. Did you fall asleep? And moving on. Wireless caller, 9832, chime in. Yeah, um, I live in the, my name is Peter. I live in the uh, South Bay Harbor area, California. This is a request. Yep. This is a request for anyone who's listening in my area. I'd like to come out and help as a protester. I have security and first aid background. I used to be a volunteer firefighter from the Bay Area. Um, I'd really like to come and help. I'm without a car, without a job. And, but, uh, you know, I could, I could, be boots on the ground. I could help. I could do something. Um, you know, I could leave my number if it's okay for anyone who wants to call me who's in my area. Uh, I could leave it on the air. I don't mind. Um, it's uh, 925-765-9832. My name is Peter. Anyone who's in the harbor area of South Los Angeles that's going to Nevada for to the Bundy Ranch, uh, call me and let me know if you can come and pick me up. I'll be ready. Uh, uh, copy that. Hello. Hey, uh, tell me about that, man. I just got kicked off the call. Are you still there, bro? Well, I was calling. Uh, I apologize. I just got kicked off the call. Are you still there? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next question. Uh, Conway, you're uh, on. Hey, code one five. I'm sorry, your last four digits one five two one. You want to go ahead and chime in? I, sorry, I'm at you muted. Um, yeah, I'm uh, earlier. I, I can't remember where she was from, but she chimed in and uh, she brought up the DHS again and the MRAPs and the Humvees. Has that been confirmed yet, or is that just still <coughs> kind of a speculation? Uh, well, well, it's more of a speculation than based for. Uh, Thanks for making sure that you didn't take it out. Yeah, we, we, we can't verify, you know, that 100%. Uh, we've had a couple people that are just going on conjecture based on what they're seeing online right now, and that's what we're trying to kind of get down to is uh, the bottom of things. Uh, <clears throat> I would say it's not that high of a volatile situation as, as it may be pursued, although there's potential for that. There are uh, members of various groups setting out that way, uh, just, you know, trying to show uh, some support, but uh, everybody's recommending come in. Uh, if you're coming in at all and you have to go in and you're just, so we can turn you back around and, you know, you're your own man or woman and, uh, you know, we just come in as a people protester. If you happen to be armed, you know, to defend yourself in any situation, keep that stuff broken down uh, by the rules and guidelines of the uh, state that you'll be passing through to get there as well as the state when you get there. And uh, we're trying to set people to a rally point. There's a uh, nearby <laughs> um, travel reservation um, that apparently may have offered some uh, refuge. Uh, there's a number of other travel. 
There's a number of a travel office that will be open tomorrow morning. The number is 702-865-2790. Feel free to pass that around. It's, uh, they are federally protected. And, uh, you know, if, if it comes down to it, that'd be a, a smart place to, uh, to go as long as they can show respect to the tribe. Anything else I can help you with, Miss? Um, yeah, what about the what the caller talking about the M113 on the train? Is that just speculation also? Or? Uh, again, he's trying to send some pictures. Uh, he's going to be putting them up. Uh, if you want to go ahead and try to get your eyes on that, uh, I might appear it's way too busy right now for me to even try to go there. But uh, if anybody does the Twitter thing, they must have gotten up recently at uh, Oath Before Orders, hashtag Oath Before Orders. Um, so apparently, he's got some footage, but even that. And okay, and then I want to put them on Twitter. I want to trust them everybody. On the other side. I'm sorry? He's only putting them on Twitter. He's, they're not on Facebook or anything. Uh, not that I'm aware of, man. Again, I'm on kind of a lockdown situation with this control panel and this conference call. Okay, guys. Uh, anything else I can help you with, man? Nope, that's it. Thanks, man. Yeah, feel free to uh, spread the word and chime in again if you need to. Okay, bud. All right, thanks. All right, next caller, uh, Nick, 9620. What's up, buddy? Uh, actually, my name is Shelly. It's his and uh, oh. calling from Washington State. Oh no, it's it's okay. I just realized it's under his phone goes under that name. Okay, so Billy and Collins from Washington State. I'm gonna make it short and sweet. I just wanna thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And you are doing an amazing job moderating this. You have been so patient with all of the callers, with the people just you guys are doing an amazing job and I thank you. And the people thank you. And the other guy wow. in Seattle, just uh, my state up here is paying attention. And we have a guy from Eastern Washington, a representative, on his way to send his support. And I'm just so proud to be an American at this moment. And this past week has brought uh, a face back into me that I had lost years ago. And that's it. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for being emotional. It's an emotional thing. And I'm a girl. So. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've got six sisters and I respect. I really appreciate women for what they have to say. You know, I think what we need is more females out there kind of pulling out these hot heads. You know, back in the day when they had flower power, this would have turned into Woodstock all the night. But uh, instead, it's coming to militia stock or something like that. And we're just trying to avoid. You know, any sort yeah, of uh, peace and love, peace and love. That's the only way that it'll even work. Peace and love, and that's what you guys are there for. Is for the love of your people, and your country, and your fellow man, and for me, and for the people that don't even give a crap about what's going on around them. You guys are fighting for them. Wow. Well, we need a Thank lot more prayers and, 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 and good people with good hearts like you out there. You know, uh, you know, if you got any prayer warriors out there that can, you know, try to send some good vibes to that exact location. Uh, you know, I'm sure uh, many people will benefit from that. We, we need some, some light out there. And if there are more females, we need a lot more female energy because there's a lot of testosterone uh, headed out this direction. So uh, I appreciate your, your heart to all words, man. It means a lot to all of us, and a lot of us feel exactly the same way. So I can't blame you for carrying your heart on your sleeve in this day and age right now. That's all we got left is our name and our word. Absolutely. You take care, guys. Thank you, dear. I'm going to move on to the next caller. Uh, what are the caller in 5915? Hey. What's up, buddy? Uh, just saying we've had Veteran Forum Wars. Um, I traveled to 13 states for my job. I uh, <clears throat> have some incredible sources of some information. Uh, one of them is information about Colorado. There's 190,000 UN troops there. Yes, sir. Training. They're training. Uh, our, yeah, we've, we've been, many people have been aware of that. You know, uh, a lot of UN troops have been in our country and they are. I work, have worked directly. Some of them, a lot of guys don't feel so great about it, but, uh, you know, their property and they're just taking orders like everybody else. Um, nobody likes that, that our government would allow something like that to happen then, but, uh, you know, it, it seems to be part of some sort of peacekeeping, peacekeeping mission. That, yeah. Anyway, okay. I, I, I'm just as uncomfortable as many other uh, citizens and veterans. You're, you're doing a hell of a job with this. Uh, I, I, know, man, uh, I, I appreciate you, man. You know, hopefully when it all goes down, some people remember what the hell I was trying to do. Um, you know, I, again, we, we I, do, and I really do appreciate it because, uh, well, my family's been military all the way back to 1700, so we've 
doing our part for this country. I'm glad to see somebody else catching up. All right, well, you know, whatever power you do have, go ahead. Seeing convoys of troops moving into places, probably shouldn't see them. Trains full of equipment going in directions they probably shouldn't be going in. Yeah. Try not to say too much on here because, well, I don't know who's listening, but. They're listening, man. Oh, I'm sure they are. <laughs> anyway, uh, as far as the hotheads, they need to stay cool. This is exactly what they want. They want a hothead to trip this off. Well, that's exactly what we're trying to avoid, man. We appreciate you chiming in. Uh, if, you, if you do any playing, we need some of that right now. Two one four 
order is actually becoming more and more foreign as, as time goes by, and, and that's becoming really awkward. I cannot fully uh, confirm that necessarily, but uh, a lot of things are pointing in that direction right now. Right, okay, so uh, are you going to be, uh, is this phone conversation going to be on tomorrow? Uh, most yeah, most likely. Uh, I'll, I'll do what I can. I'm going to have to actually uh, coordinate uh, another person to actually sponsor tomorrow's phone call for a portion of the time, but we've been starting at 8 Central, uh, actually just prior to 8 Central, and then it gets a little crazy. Uh, we had a peak of uh, 400 on here earlier. Uh, yesterday was only 130-ish, but uh, definitely the word's getting out, man. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of good people are trying to time in. Anything else you want to you want to add on? So I think we got about 40 people in the queue right now. All right, no, that's about it. No one's going on down here though. I appreciate you, bro. Stay in touch, and uh, you know, feel free to add me as a pal. Um, like I said, all the people that added me today and yesterday, uh, I'll get to you. I, I just got to meet a lot of people that haven't been in touch with me, and then uh, you know, add a lot of new friends. So uh, hopefully, that's one way to stay in touch. If uh, the Facebook side don't shut me down, you know, I know they're listening right now, and I've been nothing but. Uh, as peaceful as humanly possible and trying to, you know, quell the situation. That's exactly why they started. Uh, it was just myself and my uh, state commander for the Illinois Sons of Liberty, and uh, we decided to open this call up, and uh, it, it just spread like wildfire, and that's what we were hoping would happen, and we're trying to do something right around here, man. God bless America, huh? All right, thank you. Good job. All right, next caller, wireless, 1986. What can I do for you? Yeah, you're on. Go ahead, buddy. Are you hearing? Yeah, we can hear you, man. Everybody can hear you. All right, sorry about that. Um, I just wanted to bring up a couple of info. I'm not sure if anybody's seen or heard anything, but they finally did a story report on this on Fox News. Uh, uh, hey, real, real, real quick, real quick, buddy. I, I, I hate to interrupt people, but uh, if you get back away from the phone a little bit, you're coming in real loud, real strong, kind of blowing up the mic uh, uh, speaker on this end. Uh, if you could just tone it back, maybe you you had about out of ten. If you could take it to a seven or eight, that help us out a lot, so we can hear you clearly. What about now? A little bit better? Uh, a little bit less, and you should be good. You're, you're actually redlining on this uh, uh, software that I have, so yeah, if you could just uh, yeah. Let me let me, let me try let me try killing my I'm on my Bluetooth in my car, so let me try killing that real quick. Yeah, that'll probably help. Bro. Mark, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, it's like 10 times better, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Anyways, I just wanted to uh, give a quick, quick little update. I know this is on, uh, they finally did a report on this on Fox, in case anybody hadn't seen it, on the uh, Hannity report. And uh, they, they, according to him, they mentioned that there all are now uh, FBI in the area as well, uh, down there with the BLM. Um, so I don't know if that's going to turn into anything major or anything else. Um, also, uh, according to the Guerrilla Media Network, uh, Sheriff Gillespie will be meeting with uh, the Cliven Bundy, the Bundy there, tomorrow morning about 9 a.m. And then uh, the, uh, the I can't remember her name, the, the I guess it's the wife or whatever, Bundy, will be um, is requesting, uh, of course, more people to come down there and help with the protest. She, again, requested that nobody bring weapons, that everybody, you know, keep it cool, calm, but ask that people try to be there by about 8 a.m., I guess, to, uh, Try to show some force before the sheriff gets or whatever. So I, I appreciate the update, man. That was pretty cool. Um, I actually just got hit up on Facebook. Uh, I'm still trying to weed through all these messages. Are you familiar, sir, with uh, by the gentleman that runs by the name Chief Mark Kessler? Oh yeah, yeah, Mark Kessler, yes, definitely. Yeah, uh, Kessler is going to chime in on this phone call. I think in a little while. Um, he just hit me up on Facebook. I've been kind of watching over what he's been doing on the East Coast for a while now. Uh, Chief Kessler, if you're actually on the call, I need you to Facebook me direct real quick. And then uh, if you give me that proper data I just requested, I can get you on live right now. Um, I know he just chimed in, but I just can't differentiate what his phone number is compared to everybody else. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to add, though? Nope, that's really it. So far, that's all I've seen up there, Why so? Uh, I appreciate you keep spreading the word, man, and uh, you know, send some good vibes this way. We're trying to call a possibly volatile situation, man, and just... Uh, you know, make, make sure we're just doing the right thing here before it turns into what we don't want it to turn up. If you know what I'm getting at. Yep, I definitely do, man. Take care and uh, keep up the good work. Appreciate you, man. Moving on. All right, wireless caller 9027. What can I do for you? Wireless caller 9027. Eric, uh, last four digits. Is that something there? Five, four, three. All 
right. Uh, four two three four. What can I do for you? Hey, uh, this is Jeff Rainforth. Um, I'm a writer for War Correspondent uh, Pat Dollard, and also for the Wayne Dupre Show. Um, we have word from uh, from an Iraq war vet that the FAA has declared a no-fly zone over the over the Bundy Ranch. Just wanted to clarify that, and also. Um, who do you want showing up? Do you want everyone showing up uh, up to support Sag uh, 500? Hello? Looks like they're having some technical difficulties. Please hold hey, on. Uh, there we go. I apologize. I got caught loose from the conversation. I didn't actually catch the uh, last two minutes. Do you mind go ahead and repeat that? Uh, yeah, this is, uh, my name is Jeff Rainforth. I, I write for uh, war correspondent Pat Dollard and also for the Wayne Dupre Show. Um, we have word, I got word from uh, my Iraq War vet friend. Um, uh, Brian Coltridge, who said that the FAA has declared a no-fly zone over the Bundy Ranch, and yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah that's confirmed. We're just trying to clarify that, and then all yeah, we got that confirmed about five times, bro. It's all good. Um, it, it, it really sucks. We know that there's a flight pattern of uh, uh, different. Uh, uh, Army, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that are doing some uh, personnel changes right now that might be going over that flight pattern. Um, they've had to reroute, and yeah, we're definitely aware that FAA is considered that whole area no fly. Uh, anything else you wanted to add, bro, that wasn't covered? Uh, yeah, um, do you want everyone showing up out there? Who do you want coming out there, and what should they bring if they do come out to support a uh, fly? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let me also give you the. Uh, that number this was covered earlier at uh, 559-726-1399 is the callback number that you can actually call again later and get the remainder of this portion of the uh, phone call that have been going on the last few days. And then that uh, taped conversation, which was the last one we recorded, I will also give you the one prior, and then that one will give you the one prior. Uh, you would press code pound 9762-POUND. And uh, what we're asking is, you know, if you're going out there, you want to go peacefully uh, due to the uh, ranger's request as a peaceful protester to help support. you got equipment and supplies you want to bring, that's great. Uh, if any of those happen to be munitions of any kind, uh, definitely read the uh, logs of Nevada and make sure uh, the, the, uh, the state does, uh, based on your path from point A to point B, make sure that uh, you're not doing anything federally illegal on any way, shape, or form. Um, we're asking people to kind of you know, stand up for now. We have a rally point not fully confirmed yet, so uh, would be the uh, a local Indian reservation that's offered to take in some refugees that might be having issues uh, with some federal protection. That's not 100% confirmed yet. I'm still trying to work down this call list to find uh, Diana. Uh, Diana, and I, you know, I want to chime in with you ASAP, so I'm watching for your number. I'm, I'll make sure you, you chime in and uh, issue our last boots on the ground. And since we switched to the Q&A queue, uh, there's a lot. Uh, lot forward movement. I'm taking everybody one at a time instead of people speaking over each other just to make this call a little more peaceful. Um, I, I assume once I take it off Q&A, it's going to turn into a cluster and all the people that have been waiting uh, patiently uh, will get removed from that queue. So i got to kind of move on to the next guy. If you don't mind, yeah. Right on. Thank you. All right. Appreciate you. Uh, Deborah, you're on 4507. Deborah. Oh, you don't sound like a Deborah. I apologize. Four five zero seven. That's your number, right? Yes, that's me. Sorry. Hey, um, I've been talking with you guys, and I have a uh, an idea for you. Peacefully, right. of course. But right now, what's going on, on the West Coast is because of Senator Harry Reid, and what was mentioned to me by a, a couple of high um, friends. Um, somehow, we need to organize something at Harry Reid's location as a protest going on there peacefully of course but just get this word out that China 
is the reason why Bundy is going to lose his ranch. That's a $5 billion deal. The solar panels. Yeah, it leads back to a variety of things. Would you agree that we're leaning towards pretty much eminent domain then? Sorry? Uh, eminent domain, are you familiar with that term? Eminent domain, uh, no. All right, well, like they said at my work, uh, GTS, bro, Google that shit. And uh, eminent domain is uh, when basically the site pretty much does what they want, takes any land that they want. Um, and that's pretty much what it's down to a, a variety of different things that are in. A song is breaking out a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't sound like cows and tortoises anymore. It's about water, fracking, um, and solar, if not more things in addition. That's about more than one thing. I have to thing. somebody up, so this is going to get really weird for a little while. Um, I'm not going to be here to monitor the call. Um, this is going to get real interesting. All right, I'm going to take a minute. Oh, man, I can't take anybody off Q&A. All right, tell you what. I'm going to take a bunch of people off the Q&A right now. But I'm going to leave everybody else on, so let's try this. You guys can be civil for the next half an hour. I'm about to open up the line to a couple of people that have been in line. You guys can be cool for the next uh, 20 minutes or so. I have to leave and come back. But if you guys can kind of handle the conversations only, that'd be really cool of you. All right. Uh, well, you're open. Are you there? Yep. Still here. Come on. Right. She's here. All right. I want you guys both to hang on the line, too. Um, I'm looking for a couple numbers that are in the queue. I want to open up and uh, if I can put a couple of people in line, uh, just go back on and get yeah, some good information. Hang on, man. I'm not putting some more people in. Nine one six, you're on my cool. Hi, um, I'm just a civilian, and uh, I'm mom who did the freedom run. And I was just wondering if you guys are going to organize any kind of freedom runs because with the economy, a lot of people cannot afford a vehicle or the trip up there. Uh, you know, that's always an idea. Obviously, uh, obviously we've been talking about that right now. Um, we'd love to do one and to coordinate one if you've got, I know I have some people that uh, are definitely in that. Uh, you know, I, I hate to put labels on people, you know, in the uh, rider category um, that could probably coordinate something uh, if, if well planned. Uh, at, at this point, I don't know how long it's going to take on, and I don't know if people have time to head out there. Um, I'm ready to do a, some sort of crowd fund. People wanted to chime in financially in some way, shape, or form. We could probably get that arranged in the near future. Um, and just make sure that goes to the right place. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unlock a couple other people here. Just so you guys can get a chance to talk. I got to split for a couple of minutes. Um, if you're hearing yourself unmuted, go ahead and talk. Um, all right, that's exactly the opposite of what I wanted to hear, so you're getting me muted. <laughs> all right, uh, if you heard yourself get unmuted, you can go ahead and speak for it. I've got about six people that are open on the call right now. Hello? Anybody else? I mean, yeah, you're on there. Okay, sweet. Uh, you guys can kind of, you know, ask each other some questions, ask each other where you're from or something. I need uh, all the people that are unneeded right now to go ahead and carry that conversation for about 15 minutes for me. Uh, forgive me for putting you on a spot like that. But uh, I'm going to need another number that I recognize. 3619, you're also off. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello, so yeah, hello, hello, hello. Um, hopefully you guys can be cool and not talk over each other. Uh, let's just go. Oh, you're going to be back as soon as I can get this computer. Just go. Hello. So many people are queuing in and out. I can't uh, stay on top of you right now. So, so what's the next? What's the next step for this besides? Um, how many, how many people are heading out that way that you guys have heard of? Uh, again, that's all kind of conjecture. You know, it, it could vary from, you know, 
three, four, five hundred to, you know, we're hearing a lot of claims of in the thousands, but we can't, you know, fully verify that right now, especially in the two and answer mode. Um, we would like to appeal to the people that are actually loose on the ground. Make sure you press star six to chime in. Uh, I'll try to get to you right when I get back here in just a little bit. I'm going to open up a couple other people that I recognize their numbers. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. To, um, you guys need to secure uh, place to talk. It's unseen.is. We're going to keep it as public as possible. No, I know. I'm talking about for people who are calling. All right, I'm getting a bad echo now. Are you on speakerphone, sir? Me? Yeah. No. All right, I apologize. Somebody else is catching your uh, echo back there. Um, go ahead with the information. Um, for people who are trying to get out to um, the Bundy Ranch or Nevada, wherever, if you're going to be trying to confirm it, you need a secure place to talk. Go to unseen.is. It's completely all encrypted. Um, you can upgrade for more encryption. I don't, I don't know much about it. I just this is what. Uh, a lot of the groups and communities are using. Um, that's a great place to continue talking. Past the open public realm. Take my this. No, it was unseen.us? No, no, dot .is. Alright, uh, Ted, anything to add? I'm going to clear open a couple people unless you had something else to say. Oh, no, I'm good. You good. You can whatever. I'm good, man. No, it's cool. I appreciate you chiming in, man. Um, you know, got a lot of good people that have come on board throughout the last 24, 48 hours. It uh, means a lot, man. I want to believe some people are at least getting involved, right? You know, I was getting to a point where I was starting to think I was the only guy that's awake. So, mm -hmm. hey, bro Sorry. hey, Brian, this is Mary in Michigan. Yeah, Brian. hey, how are you? Yeah. Good. It's Mary. I understand you got to get going, but somebody said something about transportation. There is a Bundy Ranch Resistance Transportation Facebook page. Yeah, we got it on Facebook. 850 members at the moment. I'm sure it's only been up for a couple of days. And then that's Bundy Ranch Resistance Transportation. Thank you for that. You're welcome. And everything I want to say before I hang up, if you don't mind me cutting in here. Um, I know Clive is catching a lot of slack. Even Megan Kelly on Fox is saying, you know, it's really to me. Same thing, I'm like that. I'm from Michigan. Same thing's happening up here with a farmer named Mark Baker. And what they're doing is what we're afraid they're going to do to the Second Amendment is change the law. So what was lawful yesterday won't be lawful tomorrow. No, You'll be a felon. He's got a certain type of pig, and they put it on the invasive species list and threatened him with a thousand dollar fine per pig per day. And he's been fighting this here in Michigan. He's a retired Air Force. Uh, he's been taking it to courts, and uh, they were going to slaughter his pig. So, I mean, this isn't a one man thing. I don't think that Clyde has done anything wrong. Our government has turned on us. He's not the only one. So. Just, uh, make sure and do your research. Um, and, uh, they made the farmers' dishes waterways so they could regulate that. There's a big movement, huge land grab, call it Agenda 21. Uh, going on. Just look into it. Bakers, acres, shakers, green acres. Alright, I got a wireless caller 3619. Wireless caller 3619, what do you need to say, Blake? Hey, um, I was just wondering if you guys need anything. I mean, I, I'm in Iowa, but I don't have a problem driving down there. Um, if, you know, if you need more people, I'm going to take people with me and head down there with supplies. We, we, we appreciate that. Uh, some more female energy will definitely uh, do everybody good to know. So uh, okay. make sure you, uh, you bring your peaceful t-shirt and uh, try not to come off like too much of a liberal hippie. And uh, <laughs> let them know you're there, to, you're there to support everybody, you know, all the same, you know, but uh, make sure, you know, any people that are agitators know to, to, to stand down and maybe you can uh, perform some sort of, uh, you know, confidence security when you get down there, uh, if you're heading down there as well. 
Don't forget your cameras. Upload okay, to YouTube. Okay, and if we can get through or not. I mean, even some uh, reservation. I, I, I recommend trying either or both. Uh, as of right now, we're not fully positive until we uh, get the right person back on this phone call. And even then, you know, what, 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 what is truth anymore? You know, that's what we're trying to find, find out. Uh, everybody's got their perceptions of what they see, and they're seeing a lot of things online right now, and some of that's uh, fully unconfirmable. Um, you know, we can only chime in if seven people are saying the same thing. Maybe we could raise our uh, truth level on that subject, but until we've got an actual boots that are saying here, I'm seeing helicopters, you know, that the helicopters are in front of that person, but, you know, a lot of conjecture right now. So try right. to stay tuned Whatever we can get from boots on the ground is what's important right now. Do you mind if I move on to the next call, man, or do you want to? No, that's fine. Yeah, I appreciate your time. Um, as well, I gave you the chance a minute ago. I'm going to give you a chance again. I'm getting a lot of feedback from you, brother. I'm right here. Are you there? Yeah, you back. Your conference here. recording has stopped. Hold on a second here. Can you hear me now? This conference yeah. is being recorded. All right, yeah. I just wanted to let you know this is Colorado 2. Um, All right, so Colorado 2, thanks for coming in. And I'm going to actually keep you uh, in the queue as long as I can. Okay. Are you still there? Yeah, I just moved you over to the inside here. So, are you still there? I'm still here. All right. So, what do you have to say, Blake? Oh, I just, I just want to thank you for for running this network. Um, I think this is a great service to to everybody here. Um, you're doing a hell of a job, and um, yeah, I'm proud to be a part of this. Actually, um, awesome. It means a lot, man. We're coming here. So, I'm out here in Colorado. Just on fire in the EMT. Uh, let's keep her. Um, and, um, you know, I encourage everybody who's, who's out there to, uh, to join our keepers um, because of the uh, community preparation plan that people are supposed to be putting together and, and kind of building your group. And, uh, and the probably the most important thing, I think, right now is the comms net, the, the comms net that we're building right now. And, um, you know, I think there's going to be an important uh, need over there to have comms net set up. You know, and Ham, uh, the, you had that guy earlier asking about uh, comms. And you know, there's, I think it's only 70 centimeters. Um, and if you can get uh, six meter down there, start broadcasting a 40 meter, you know, bouncing it, that's what we want. Hey brother, I got a boots on the ground that just called in Diana. How are you, huh? Hey, you have been waiting forever. You got me in the queue. <laughs> yeah, I pulled you ahead of a couple of people. I, I apologize. It's been freaking hard. I was like, I wish I had heads and eight arms and uh, at least a couple of secretaries right here handling what I'm doing as one man right now trying to make this work. But uh, you're, are you by, by the tribal res right now by chance? Um, we actually drove out there and there's nobody around. House is just closed. There is an emergency right. number and it goes to a cell number and she didn't answer. So we're going to attempt to get a hold of her again in the morning. So there's a direct line to her a, on an emergency number. Um, we sat up on top of uh, the garage at Tower Station watching the traffic coming through. I did not see any hummers coming through. All right, Are you well, there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, a lot of things, but no, I really didn't want to hear from you. I'm going to leave you in the queue, if not me, and you're actually boosting. I, I started saying it. And, uh, you know, a couple of things. Obviously, we, we passed you on, and uh, unfortunately, that office is closed now. The fact that you're on, are you? Oh, you're making that. Right. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. I apologize. Is this any better? Yeah, it's a little better. Um, so are you at the res, on the res, near the res? Nope, I actually headed back. Ah, crap. There's nothing All going right. on out there. It's quiet. And I drove by Nellis on the way back. Nothing going on at Nellis. Um, nobody's seen any hummers coming through 
waited enough time for them to hit Vegas. If they were in fact coming, they could have gone down the 160 and gone the back way to Creech Air Force Base. And that's the only other route that they would have taken. Wow. Yeah, so... That's the that kind of been, I was hoping to hear from uh, some Native Americans when they called in. We're just going to have to wait for the office to open and uh, hope that uh, that information we got earlier is legit and uh, we can set that up with the rally plan at this point. Um, I'm going to bring some more people in here as a Q&A. Uh, just so uh, I've got one of the Intel guys just signed in. Just go. 24166. Yeah, you're a go. Sorry about that. That's okay. This is Charles Gonzalez. Okay, so I did a uh, little research for everybody out there. Um, and yeah, confirming the uh, elements, I don't know if it's old news, but literally there was a story on Reuters that was confirmed in 2012 that uh, Senator Reid, he has his son working to correlate, and at the time they were working on a plan to you know, take 9,000 acres in the desert site near Clark County, right? And I'm assuming that's where uh, the Bunny Ranch is located or near there. Um, for development for a solar farm or something like that. And then there's a later story now by Breitbart and whatnot that, that indicates it, cross, it crosses in where it's related to basically the Bundy farm. So this is not BS. It's, it's, it's actually been reported by at least a recruit of a news thing, even back in 2012. So just for people dealing with this, Senator Reid, just like the others, have been basically pretty much acting in a treasonous manner, I would call it. But um, I just wanted to get that reviewed and, and reported back. Now, as a report for the foreign entities, uh, there is something on the reviewed by the Cornell University Law School that was a document, but it doesn't say anything about foreign individuals. It just says cross um, agency training and stuff like that. So um, that, that's pretty much I wanted to just look that up for you and get that out there. So. I totally appreciate you chiming in, man, and, uh, you know, please, some people took note of what you just said. I, uh, it's good to have, you know, people pulling in information. Uh, you know, as much confirmed intel as you guys can keep pulling in and keep bringing it in. I am totally uh, only dedicated right now to this phone call. I'm not watching uh, Facebook uh, other than uh, relaying messages right now, and uh, I apologize if I have not gotten back to so many people trying to contact me on Facebook, um, especially MJ. MJ, you're doing great work over there. Uh, MJ, look, you definitely got to take in some notes for me, and I really appreciate you, and I hope you're still on the call. Um, but she's been texting me every so often and uh, taking notes for me and taking some minutes. If anybody else uh, you know, has any more important information, I'm going to pull you into the queue right now. Uh, still waiting for uh, Chief Mark Kessler to chime in and get me on Facebook uh, about 30 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to get him to, uh, he said he was going to get on the call. and. Uh, Chief Kessler, if you can put yourself in the queue to speak um, and then answer me back on Facebook, I'll let you talk right now if I can. Um, Cisco, I'm going to go ahead and move on. Do you mind? Uh, yeah, no, no problem, Brian. Uh, by the way, thanks for doing a great job. You, you are a Paul Revere, just like Mark Levin calls all of us. So stay safe, and I'll just listen in. That was pretty awesome. I really appreciate that, man. Um, uh, we've got uh, another wireless caller, and, well, he's got a second. Well, he's still there. Brian? Yeah, yeah, wireless caller, go ahead. Okay, yeah, um, I live in Central Texas. I was calling about, um, a couple people called about the trains with the uh, tanks and whatnot. Um, I have a friend of mine who works for BNSF Railroad. Uh, BNSF Railroad operates heavily throughout Texas, um, as a lot of people know. Um, he works the night shift. He said that there's constantly tanks on these military equipment moving all the time. He's a carman. He, he does a lot of work on the on national train cars. So they're constantly moving from, through Texas, getting shipped here and there. So I, I really, I don't want to put anybody down by saying, oh, your, your thoughts are wrong, but it is a constant feed of military equipment that's that's moving on the train system through through Texas, yeah, especially yeah. in Fort Hill. Basically, it's all about perception, man, and that's kind of what we're trying to conquer and, and not divide right now. Um, you know, you got all kinds of reports, and we appreciate those reports. You see movement, we want to know, but we need to also be able to verify that and be, uh, you know, quell that. And what, that's pretty much what you just kind of did. Uh, 
although you know we're not 100% positive whether or not what their intentions are, but you can verify that a this happens a lot. You might want to chill out. It happens. Um, as far as that aspect of this whole conversation that's going on, is that basically what you're getting at? Yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to give him a call tomorrow. He's he's obviously asleep right now. I'm in, I'm in uh, Oregon working right now. I'm not even home. So I'm going to give him a call tomorrow and see if he's seen any movement. Because um, he, he works the uh, swing shift, so he would have seen something tonight, or I should say last night. Um, if he did see any movement, he'll let me know if he has seen anything. So I uh, pick pictures and videos, man. That's what's going to confirm this intel right now. We've got a lot of... A lot of hearsay and secondary conjecture, but we need definite uh, oh, yeah, video. Yeah, to do is get pictures, video, anything like that, anything you might see um, as far as that goes. Um, just one other thing I wanted to see. Well, two things. Brian, you're doing a great job. Um, I appreciate keeping everything monitored and everything else. Um, the other thing is, that, like, and it's been said a hundred times over, you know, cooler heads you know, need to prevail right now. We don't need a bunch of hot heads out there. We don't need to give them any reasons to take any aggressive action towards us because we screw up and fire a first shot or something like that. That does not need to happen. We need to stay cool. Let them be the fault. You know, let them be the blame for everything. Let the American public see what the federal government is doing to us. Let them be the cause for it all. Oh, man. It makes me feel great knowing there's more brothers like you out there thinking a lot like I do. And uh, I appreciate your input. Um, anything you want to close with, brother? Give me a hua or a couple of or something. <laughs> We were off step for five, and, and uh, you know, like I said, everybody just, you know, keep cool, keep doing it, you know, keep your oath that you've taken, and, you know, prayers are going up constantly. Um, I mean, this, this kills me. I'm, I'm, you know, states away from my house, and I've got my wife and my son in Texas, and I'm, and I'm kind of a little freaked out because of the stuff that's being started to get with the Red River, you know, all that kind of yeah. stuff, so. All right, that seems yeah. like I'm just that the next uh, you know, ground zero is also the Red River location. Um, that's ground two. And uh, you know, this is happening throughout the region. I mean, there's some eminent domain, and pretty much how I'm looking at it, probably what it is. Um, you know, land grabbing, plain and simple. Um, a lot of people are working out of pocket right now, and uh, we need some sheriffs, we need some governors, we need some media attention to step up and uh, fill this situation. Um, there's plenty of people that have volunteered, but obviously, to offer support, more support. As well as army support, um, and you know, although that's there, we're still open that I didn't, just like you said, though, uh, I had to prevail. I'm gonna move on to the next caller. That's cool. All right, all right, all we right. got God bless you guys and, and uh, keep it up. Hey man, of course, be with you. I appreciate it. Man. Hey guys, uh, yeah, what's going on? Oh, uh, I've been listening in for a few hours now. Um, I okay now you. I understand that Mrs. Bundy has requested more peaceful protesters. That's correct. Hey, if you could do me a favor, hon, I need you to back off the phone just a little bit. You're coming in kind of loud and the uh, we're seeing your red line over here. Uh, I, I can hear you. I just need you to kind of back off on the phone a little bit. Help no that. Better. Uh, uh, okay, so let me take you off speaker. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that's huge. How's that? A uh, lot better. I appreciate it. Okay. Now she has requested more. I'm getting ready to set up an event on, on Facebook. I've got a pretty big following. Uh, she has requested peaceful protesters. Where does she want those people to be? Just to the ranch? Uh, actually, it would be nice to, to get some people that are on the inside to uh, go ahead and verify exactly where they need us to be because uh, we just had a secondary rally point that is just, uh, not working out right now. Uh, we had somebody call in to say that the, a local rev is willing to take in some of these people. Uh, we know the ground zero in that vicinity. Uh, we've heard that people are being pulled over. Some people have been detained. Some people have been let go. There was some rumor of uh, gun confiscation. Um, and we're assuming that those are hotheads coming in wearing BDUs and uh, AR-15 strapped to the hood, you know. <laughs> uh, we're highly recommending that everybody come in, just like you said, as people protesters. If they're going to happen to carry arms, make sure they're uh, lawful arms and they're, uh, you know, not loaded at the time uh, just to avoid any other situations. And if you're bringing 
you know, illegal munitions in that area uh, based on that law for that state. I highly recommend you not do that right now. Um, you know, just okay. cover your old hands and not start a situation. Sorry, this works. All right, I did contact Gadsden Air Corps and left a message on the no-fly zone. I know that they saw it. They did not respond, but I know that they've seen it. Um, another thing I would like for everyone to remember is that Sheriff Mack and the CSPOA is there. They're supposed to have a meeting of all the CSPOA in Las Vegas Monday. Uh, there have also been, there's a big support from the Arizona legislature, a large delegation, I believe 40 people are headed that way. Uh, several delegations from state legislatures want to know what is going on. Yep. Uh, do we, is there any way we can get our bikers and our truckers headed that way? How about if uh, Mr. Bundy throws a nice old um, rope? <laughs> uh, we highly recommend that, you know, if we can get more peaceful protesters, we're trying to get more media there just to kind of help quell the situation, although that, you know, can be, make the situation more volatile. Usually when cameras are, are there, uh, people pushing their authority, so to speak, uh, usually stand down uh, a lot faster, yeah. and uh, that's exactly what we need, you know, so if you've got some media outlets and, and if you've got, a, you know, uh, a, a network, feel free to keep blasting out this conversation. And I'll let other yeah. people know we're here. This is happening, and uh, we're just asking people to keep spread the word. Facebook, you name it. Uh, Are you familiar with uh, Dennis Michael Lynch? Uh, no, not my head. So, uh, no. A lot of names running through my head right now. That's fine. Uh, he's a regular, I'm sure you know Megan Kelly. Uh, no? All right, that's mm -hmm. okay. He's, he's got a huge following. Um, they have stayed in contact with me all day on Facebook, and we did get her over to, uh, his producer over to Ryan at Ground Zero. Okay. I have been staying in touch with him. Uh, also, uh, if we can send down your chain of command then. We need, uh, we need Ryan back on this call. He is the mediator for the ranch. Um, okay. There's a couple people that grabbed his number yesterday. I literally... We'll push him ahead of anybody right now if he can chime in. He is the mediator uh, for the range to all the militias that are on ground zero right now. So if, if you can get him to call back in, um, I, would, I would push him ahead. And anybody else who's uh, added me on Facebook in the near future, uh, if you've got other people that need to go ahead, you go ahead and message me now, and uh, I'll, I'll try to find you in the queue and, and get you pushed ahead if you're at ground zero right now. Um, anything else you need to add, ma'am? I need to move on. i got about 22 people in the queue. That's fine. Thank you. I really appreciate you and uh, you can come back in. I'm actually watching your number now. So uh, if, if, if you need to chime in, come back in the queue. I'll try to keep watching for you, okay? I get a wreck out. I'm at the end of 15 hours. Talk to you guys later. All right. Are you going to be staying up for a minute? Uh, no, I, I'm I'm done for the day. I'm, okay. I've been up a long cool. time. Oh, uh, yeah. Back sure, yeah. All right, we'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably start it up at 8 o'clock Central again tomorrow. Uh, PM. Okay, thanks. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, um, I've got another call to run the line. It's only coming up as part of it. Uh, Mr. Barnabas, I definitely need you to back off of that phone, sir, if you're on speakerphone or... Oh, sir, sure. how, how about now? Yeah, it sounded like you were kind of snoozing on the phone there. Uh, if you want to pull it out of your nose, that'd be great. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, the most thing I just want to say, this has really been just the greatest night of entertainment I've had in a long time. You guys are hilarious. That's, that's really hilarious. Uh, definitely need you to back off the phone. I, I can't tell it, it sounds like you're in a cavern right now, man. If uh, you could definitely back off, you've redlined uh, quite a bit here just in the last few words. Oh, let me turn the game down. How about now? Oh, a lot better. Well, what did you just say, sir? I'm sorry, you guys have been hilarious. This, this is oh. the, greatest, the greatest thing. I, I think you guys are just hilarious. Really made my night. Uh, I, I appreciate that. When you say hilarity, uh, I mean, hopefully, uh, you're kind of taking it serious too, right? I mean, I'm trying to be lighthearted and let everybody have their peace, but uh, 
you know, everybody's got their patience and time. Absolutely not. I'm, I'm, I'm really not taking this seriously at all. And, and that's really, I think, why it is so funny. Because it's, you, you really, I think that none of you really understand what you're up against here. And there's really no way, there's really no way at all that this ends in any way that you think it's going to. Go ahead. How do you mm -hmm. think it's going to end? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Jay. You got the quarter. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's going to end. The government's going to prevail. You know, the government is going to go in this. Uh, the people are all right. You know, this is our, our land, our federal land. It belongs to all of us. We trust, you know, we trust those rights, you know, our power. To the government, to our elected representatives. And, you know, they empower the various agencies of the federal government to uh, to manage that for us. Uh, this, this gentleman, Mr. Bundy, is in the wrong. You guys are on the wrong side of this. And I, I think it's just, it's not going to turn out well. You know, I think if you, if you, if you think you're going you're going to stand up against, you know, the United States government, the people, you, know, you don't represent, I think that, that you've got this misconception that you... Notice the synchronicity of this asshat's feet screwing up. Stand behind <laughs> the lead, Sign from God, quantum it, physics, it, whatever you want to call it. Hilarious. I think that's what's hilarious. And, and but he has the right to his opinion like anyone else. You're going to start realizing this. There's a reason that we've been shut off to these you know, changes. And, and that's because people don't tolerate your kind of shit. This isn't going to end well. Mr. Bundy is in the wrong. You're in the wrong. You've chosen the wrong thing to rally around. You've got the facts on the backwards. And I think you're going to be really sore and disappointed when this ends in a fizzle. Uh, no, actually, that's our goal. So thanks for chiming in. Exactly what we're trying to do is make sure that there's nothing. Obviously, you haven't been paying attention. And uh, the number to play back the remainder of this conversation, so we've uh, been on for uh, two days now. Uh, on, uh, well, you know, I have heard that. I've been listening. I've been keeping up with it. And, All right. So and, and you, you're you're right. Right. I, I, I appreciate I'm keeping you trying to keep things still. But it sounds like a lot of these people that you're talking to now are spelling for a fight. The people that are out there are spelling for a fight. And that is hey. not good. Come on, man. Yeah. You're, you're, you're actually hacking me right now. So, you know, I'm just trying to do the right thing. I've asked you to back off the phone already. Half these people can't hear what you're babbling about right now. Sorry uh, about I, that. You know, I've got a very simple mic. Like, you see, you're, you're, you're a pessimist, and uh, we're hoping for a, a, a peaceful outcome. That's, that's, all, that's all we want. At least as far as I know, I don't speak for everybody. I know that's what I want. That's what uh, a lot of people that have seen want. Unfortunately, there are some hotheads out there, and we're just trying to kind of help resolve that situation. Is there something wrong with that? No, I, I think that if you want things to resolve peacefully, that's great. You know, and, and I can respect that. But these right, people well, are going to have yeah, We consider your approach next time, next call. All right, well, okay, then. Do whatever you decide to say. It was kind of rude, and I need to move on to somebody that's out. Kind of move forward. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let the, let the next person. Uh, this one, you're, you're still with you. Are you all right, buddy? Yeah, fine. I, I didn't know if I was like it. Um, I respect his right to his opinion, but um, that so guy's a dick. <laughs> that last gentleman. Um, yeah. Sorry, I, I've got a comment for you, sir. Um, when you just ignore what the W is doing, this is beyond just a rant. And and if you look at the history behind this, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, and I'm looking at the whole story now, but his family has been over there for longer than the U.S. government has made claim to part of the time that he was on. So. Number one, and, and you have to equate this to history, read your history. What did they do to the American Indians? Why do you think the natives on that reservation are putting people up? Because they're fed up. They were lied to. They were cheated, just like everybody else that the government is trying to do this to. You need to understand this. And, yeah, of course, and, and Brian and his people. Hello? Yeah, where did you go? Just go, oh, shit, I muted you. Sorry, hang on. 
All right, that's right, not right. the media, so sorry, brother. No, no, you um, I so, so, but my, to continue, continue my minor tirade here, the point being, <laughs> this is beyond Clive and Bundy, and he's even stated it. I've seen videos of him in uh, city council meetings stating this. It's beyond him. The point being is, the federal government has lied. First, they claimed it was tortoises, right? So I guess it started in 93 when he was having some paying some fees to them for, you know, being able to be use of the land or whatever, so his cattle partially went on their land. He's still got his own his own land that he's on, and what it looks like for the moon out I'm sorry? I'm sorry, I didn't know if you said anything wrong here, but the, the, the point being is, go back to the history of this nation. The federal government has numerous times made policies and uh, the treaties with American Indians lied to them, changed the rules, and then took things from them using their claim of eminent domain. Yep. So, and that's exactly why they're yeah. still lying up in their doors to uh, the rest of the gate. They've been here before, like, and they understand. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and so, uh, but, the, but the point being, is, yeah, but, 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 but the point being is there is a reason why. I'm going to say this to this gentleman. This is why Brian and his other and the other militia members that have taken and put their necks out, not to get into a fight, but to basically stand up and prove a point to the government to say, look, we're done with this. We're fed up. Right. And, and they've got the government, they've got other government officials listening in on them, and they're going to go there and visit. So all you do is to support them, read your history, understand what the reason is. It's beyond Clyde Monday. So, uh, I'll, I'll, can, can I, I chime in? in? Can I chime in? Uh, yeah, just going to put you back on mute, brother. Thank you. Go ahead. May I, may, may I chime in? Uh, first off, I want to say uh, I'm, I'm from East Texas. Uh, definitely, definitely a patriot. Uh, I try to be as optimistic as I possibly can be. Uh, but just like this gentleman you were just talking to, you have to go back into the history. And it, it's April is not a pretty month in the history of the United States, and it's a scary situation, you know, going on here right now. I think for a lot of people that want a peaceful resolve to this, and if it goes down the way history has gone down, it will not go pretty. And it's a scary, scary thought. I, I totally agree, man. And uh, again, that's all I think we're all hoping for, for the most part, uh, most of us. Can't speak for everybody. There are some hotheads here that want to go game on. Uh, we had a couple right. martyrs that, that chimed in yesterday that want to go out as a martyr, and you know they have the balls to say, uh, you know, "I'm a 50 to my old man. I don't really care anymore. I'll, I'll go out and uh, play the glory." Blah blah blah. These are the guys that we don't need that right now. <laughs> right. Um, if, if you're going to go out I, like that, man, there's going to be problems. And that's my, exactly my, thought, right. my, my thought about this is, is the, again, like I say, the scary thought is it's it's never. It's never the people standing up for what's right that it starts. Everybody wants the peaceful resolve. Everybody, you know, I would course like you just said, hotheads and people that just are ignorant. But everybody starts off with that peaceful resolve, and it's always been, I'm not trying to be that way, but it's always been the government that has overstepped. It's always been, the, you know, what I'm saying, they do the proverbial first bad shot. And, you know... <laughs> People are not hotheads, but you make them that way, and something like that starts, and there it goes. It steamrolls. And again, I say it's April. April, here we go. We have Easter Sunday coming up here, you know, in another a little bit over a week. And April 18th, 19th, 20th, you know, they're not pretty days. And I'm just worried. I'm, I'm, I, I haven't, I've been listening for a couple hours. I, haven't, I know I need to go back and listen from the beginning. I don't know if anybody's covered this topic, but, you know, it, it, again, I just say it's a horrific talk to think about what can come because April's bad, man. Yeah, it definitely looks better. And, uh, we uh, mentioned before, you know, we have uh, American Spring was kind of around the corner, so this feels like a precursor uh, to what we're going to see here. If anything, this gives everybody just a little bit of practice uh, to know what to expect. You know? And uh, so far, so good. Uh, we don't have anyone who has made that. You know, they're making the proper precautions to uh, observe and control the situation, and there's been a situation. Now, a lot of people know not to start a situation, 
it will be the situation. It's kind of right, 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 right. If everybody sticks to what the uh, uh, ranchers want, it is to be just uh, very peaceful, uh, you know, protest which, and which offer you know, security, uh, offer security to the land in some way, shape, or form. Um, I heard the water was cut off to the property recently. Um, I can't one hundred percent confirm that, but other people are trying to hold with that. And uh, right. you know, we have to take they're gonna need supplies there. There's already approximately that we can estimate around two hundred there. As a result, up, up to seven hundred ish that I, I can wow not exactly verify. But a lot of people that said they're sending people out that way. So we're just thinking, hey, if they have some place if, if what is being reported is true, they're actually searching people and uh
Mm-hmm. All right, you got it. Five seconds. Do I have a caller I need nine seven oh eight? You wanna unmute yourself or uh keep your mind or I'll move on to the next All right. Not that one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up to another wireless caller. Seven two two five, what's going on? Hello? Yeah, you're on. Hi. I just wanna add two things to bring up right now. I just want to let you know that we're streaming this conference call and uh, on YouTube, Google Plus, and it's uh, the search is Bund- Bundy Ranch Militia Oak Keepers Conference Call, and anyone who doesn't want to be on the call can type that in, and you can listen to it live on the stream. Awesome, awesome. And I have one more thing to say. That was really cool of you. Uh, what do you represent, brother? Are you just doing that on your own free will, or are you with a group? Uh, no, um, I'm in a group called Cosmic Voice, and uh, we're just, you know, we're supporting and doing our thing because we're all about freedom. So, that's how, many in your, how many people in your reach, sir? I'm gonna go with four thousand, about in our group. Four thousand three hundred forty-seven and, and climbing. The thing, my last thing I wanted to say is, uh, we have a spiritual community group with you guys, and uh, we're watching over you. So, keep doing what you're doing. Repeat your Google uh, site. Give me one second. Let me get back on that. It's a Fundy Ranch Militia and Oak Keepers conference call. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, that's really cool. You um, so you sound like a responsible and you've got a good network. Are you prior military or? Uh, my dad was, but I'm just a I'm a, I'm a light warrior. Just doing what I do. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of us out there watching over you guys, and we're praying for you. So much respect and love. No doubt. I appreciate you, brother. Um, I'm going to actually ask if there's an email that you could put up right now for COMS 1 through 4 to contact you. Uh, I'm happy to designate you under COMS 5. Is that fair? Uh, sure. Uh, uh, how do I do my, my email? Add yourself to the network. Uh, Peter, you still here? No, I'm still here. All right. Um, can you grab this gentleman's email if you don't mind giving that over? Yeah. It's uh it's K K S I L V A forty four forty four at yahoo.com. Did you copy that? K S I I V A forty four No, it's K S I L V A forty four forty four at yahoo.com. Yes. Glad you got it. All right. Much love, guys. Appreciate what we're doing. Yeah. All right. Chris, okay. thank you for coming. Uh, you're now in that direct connection. Um, I'm moving on to the next spot. Wireless, that's what you got. Uh, Edmund, and you were on earlier. We got a lot of status from you, and I needed to do again. Uh, 2361, you're on, and you're good. Hello? Yep, we, we got you. Yeah, I think you're in the bag of chips and I muted you earlier. Sorry about that, man. But go ahead. Hello? Yeah, it's me. Yeah, yeah, that's you. I think you guys should be definitely worried about chemtrails over the Bundy Ranch. They use that for mind control experiments. Yeah, okay, appreciate that. <laughs> Moving on to the next guy. Sorry, man. We also get there. Uh, all right, let's call our 872 Hi, this is Wolf from West Virginia. First off, I want to thank everybody out there for doing what you're doing. It really shows that there are people who are awake and aware of what's going on and are afraid to stand their ground. Um, to, the, <laughs> to the last caller, um, as for the chemtrails, I don't really know what the true purpose of that is. I know it's not good. Um, definitely don't know about the whole mind control thing. <laughs> um, there is one major thing that does concern me, though. Um, one of the callers earlier was talking, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, about the Department of Homeland Security agents maybe making an appearance. Was that correct? Uh, not totally confirmable yet, but there is definitely some talk in that direction. Uh, we're not positive if that source is, you know, I saw something on Facebook right now, is isn't really cognitive. 
Okay. Um, uh, man, the one thing that really worries me right now is just breaking out of control. I don't want to see that happen. You know, I'd rather see everything get resolved peacefully. Um, I totally agree one, with you. The one thing I do really want to state, it was to the, this, by the way, is to the gentleman that was talking earlier. Um, as for everybody that's out there, you know, I mean, there have been two or three people that have already said, you know, when corrupt governments, you know, start doing exactly what's going on right now, we have a responsibility as American citizens to stand our ground and make corrections where needed. Um, and on that topic, and I don't know if you guys have heard anything or if this could even be confirmed, there was a mass outbreak of information, part of it through Facebook, part of it through other online sites. Is anybody aware of any clause or any type of contract within the Constitution that states if two thirds of the states, um, uh, I'm kind of sketchy on the details, so correct me if I'm wrong or if you do know anything about it. The rumor was that if two thirds of the states um, want to convene what was called, I believe, a constitutional conference. Yeah, uh, uh, preach on brothers is pretty important. Go ahead. What do you got? If it, if what's being said is true, if two thirds of the state agree to this con um, constitutional conference, what I've read and been told was that once this goes through, that these people that are over through the state, um, whether it be through state senators or the head leaders of the militia, can actually go in there and amend the constitution. Does anybody know anything about this? I mean, is this just rumor? Uh, I can give you an opinion then. Uh, I can definitely give you an opinion. I, uh, I joined in on the end of that. I did not take a leadership position, but I am watching uh, where they're going with that. Um, I I want to say on one end, that personally, uh, I feel that it's a great idea. It's something that could bring the states together to reinforce their power against the Fed. The problem with happens is it opens a very big Pandora's box. Once there's been a convention, you've got a lot of liberal states, no offense if you're a liberal on the phone right now, but no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I did a lot of people listening right now that may, may have that frame of mind, um, but basically what I'm getting at is it opens a big Pandora's box. Once you're able to actually have a quorum of states that have opened up that box, a lot of things can change. A lot of things can change for the better. But a lot of things could change for the worse. Do we see it as a potential solution? Absolutely. But I honestly, personally, uh, you know, considering my perception in uh, Illinois, there's a lot of uh, bad people running these days. That, that mm -hmm. and I'm sorry if I say bad people. There's a lot of people that aren't sticking to their oath, that are making bad decisions and taking back pocket uh, uh, influence to do so. And uh, unfortunately, if we open up that, that Pandora's box, that gives a perfect chance and opportunity, uh, you know, for the shining, shining uh, supporters uh, and influencers to uh, really dig deep into their pockets and uh, create some very, very bad change. I know we're already kind of headed on that path, so it seems like a last resort uh, uh, type of uh, resolution. But uh, in, in my eyes, you know, the whole voting thing obviously has not worked in the best interest of. Uh, you know, the constitutional folk, like everybody that's signed in today, um, you know, that could open a very bad box. And it's one box where it could potentially, if it's handled correctly, uh, it could change America for the better forever. Uh, again, once that box has been opened, the, the other end of the spectrum is a lot of bad people could chime in real fast, change a lot of things, and uh, it, would, it would change this country even further, faster, overnight uh, than we would want to. And... Uh, I think you know, priority, prioritizing would be to get some more people that we can trust in the politics. And, uh, and so right now, how's that working for us? I'm going to go ahead and throw something out there. And I figure and with the topic that we're already on, some people may already be thinking of. Um, I know you said that this can go either way if something like that does happen. You know, after I got thinking about it, if something like this does go into effect, my first my first thought and my first question is going to be, okay, how is the federal government going to respond to this? We've already seen their, their actions 
um, you know, between what's going on currently there in Nevada, um, you know, among other things, I don't know. It's not looking good. Uh, I'm going to have to agree with you, brother. Um, we're just trying to do the best we can. That's why people are on the call. So, you know, if we've got any people that uh, are boots on the ground, send them to this call. <coughs> um, we're going to put them in the queue and try to get, uh, try to get them on the line so we can get more information. And, uh, definitely recommending that active duty military at all ranks. Please come in and make sure you need to know what's uh, being thought you know, of, our, of our brothers that are troops right now that are alive. Uh, Thank you for taking my call. I wish you all the best, and I hope everything gets resolved peacefully. Thank you very much. God bless all the soldiers and everybody that's out there in the water right now. May you all stay safe. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Ben. Ryan, this is Peter. Uh, hey, I have to take off here. Um, Go ahead. Yeah. Over, over and text me. I'll be in contact with you uh, whatever you can there, and uh, I'll put whatever information we have. It's probably better to uh, text the information anyway. I appreciate it. We're still over 150 people, so I'm going to keep this call going. And um, at, at some point, it's going to make me shut down the recording and open it up again, and then we'll keep moving on into uh, uh, audio keys uh, so you can go back and play back that stuff. But if you've got any way to download the previous conversations, I recommend that uh, it's all free reign. You can invite anybody you want, and you can definitely uh, record it and broadcast it anywhere else. Free reign right now. Roger that. I'll, I'll, I'll stop in again, and uh, you'll probably hear from more of us up here in New York. Thank you, Brian. Right, thank, thank you for the network there. You're doing a great job. Okay, sir. Keep sending them this way. Thank you. Um, I'm going to open this up to uh, 55160. Still there? 55160. Still there? You got five seconds. All right. Let me get for you. Peter, you're still on the line. Let me drop this. All right. Indeed. Uh, the last four digits, uh, 3890, you're on. Uh, I'm, I'm still listening. I, I talked to you earlier about uh, April. You know, uh, I'm still listening. All right, 10-4, I'm going to pull you out of the queue if you don't mind. No, no, go for uh, I'm not on this caller. I don't know your number, but if you just heard unmuted, uh, you're on. Ah, hello there. I'm um, Morris with the... Um, Eastern Druidic Order of the Americas, and we've been hearing about this very dreadful situation, we've been praying intensely for these poor ranchers and the return of their property and cattle. It's a very strange and disturbing thing to us to see so many lost in such a such a simple and strange matter. We'll be making sacrifice for you this uh, morn at about the sun up. We'll be sacrificing 23 goats in the honor of this cause and in hopes that the cattle are returned to their proper owners and that this matter is settled peaceably. Oh my god, hey, we needed a little bit of humor. I appreciate that, man. Was there anything actually pertinent on your mind? Or, uh, really? you guys... <laughs> this is a very serious matter. These are some very good goats that we're putting to this cause. I truly hope that you understand it. We don't take this very lightly. We feel it's very important that this herd of cattle, be, the pet of cattle, be returned to their owners, true and proper, and that this matter be ended without bloodshed or harm to anyone. And we will be making sacrifice at sunup. All hail well, the Gold God. King! All oh, hail! I kind of needed that. You got me laughing over here. I appreciate that. You kind of lighten it up for me. Uh, it's walk of the dawn and shine on you. Go May ahead. the goat be with you. <laughs> I wish you would have had something important to say, but uh, that was pretty humorous. Thanks. I feel like for the man's ball right now. I'm going to open this up to uh, another wireless caller. If you only know the power uh, of Osama's on. penis in the backside of the goat. <laughs> Deborah, you can pop back into the queue. Uh, I'm going to try to find you. Sorry about that. Uh, wireless caller. Uh, 8587, go ahead. Yep, it's yours, still again, California. All right. How uh, you doing? Good to all of them. Sure, thank you. Uh, 
instrument. Uh, do you get anything to add while I got you in here? Yeah, yeah. You know, the, you were just talking about the Constitutional uh, Convention. Yeah. It wasn't originally what I wanted to talk about, but it just did come up, so here it is. And, it's important, right? Yeah, I'm sorry? It's important, right? Oh, it's very important, and it's also very dangerous, like you're saying. And I think that what has to be taken into account here first, because you know, these guys are getting a lot of free rides, is that we have the uh, corrections before we can allow these people uncorrected to make those kinds of decisions or even participate. Because <clears throat> as it is right now, we already have two people. We already have too many of the states and all of the representatives outside of the constitutional restrictions. <clears throat> and there's risk having those people make these kinds of decisions. <clears throat> Excuse me, one second, please. You know, I, okay. I highly agree with you, man. I, I obviously, you're having some problems. But take a glass of water, I'll find it. And, and then again, just like I said, like, that's opening up Pandora's box, man. Um, I, you know, it would be great if we could pre write you know, what would happen and then implement, you know, a strategy. But, you know, people have been trying to open up, you know, two parties, which unfortunately get railroaded. Uh, unfortunately, you know, other groups have come forward, libertarian parties, which only becomes infiltrated. And uh, you know, it seems like as a collective, we all know what we're all striving for, but unfortunately, there's some very uh, high up and powerful, powerful people uh, making sure that's not going to happen anytime soon. You know, and they just keep voting their friends into power, so it only strengthens their bond. And uh, it is what it is, you know. Well, yeah. And for example, the BLM, I mean, there's not even a, a place for that, or that kind of uh, control. Or, you know, you had this offensive gentleman that. Uh, Got pretty rude with you that uh, you'd cut off a little bit ago with his statements about you know it being the government and you know them having this power. Well, they have power to govern, granted by us, but it, it's only they only have 18 basic powers. Most of all of this constitution limits them; it doesn't enable them. <laughs> and the problem that we're having is it's an actual overreach. Everything that they're about, there's no, there's no inclusion or allowance for anything that we see happening right now. If you look at the Article 1, Section 8, there's, there's nothing there for them to be doing and overreaching like they are in any way, shape, or form with any lands outside of the District of Columbia. <clears throat> they can't own anything. And if it's in trust, they can't make the decisions to be selling it. So, I mean, we have a lot of broad overreach that we need to be protective of. But the situation with, um, excuse me, I was choking on the pretzel just before you picked me up. I was thinking, wow, what if you picked me up? You know, here you did. <laughs> but um, one of the things that I wanted to, to touch on earlier that I, I kind of missed was about the people, because, I mean, it, it is important that we keep this peaceful. Is that what the Oath Keepers and Sheriff Mack? I know you wanted to get to Kessel on. I'll try to text him, although it's pretty late there. It's almost 5 in the morning for him. Uh, I've got uh, Sheriff Beck's uh, wife and his uh, personal cell phone number. Uh, they have not chimed in. And uh, obviously, they're probably sleeping right now. Mm -hmm. You want to try that? Uh, approximately uh, 8 to 9 Central. I hope I can make that happen. Uh, mm -hmm. point and, and see if mm -hmm. I can get somebody on the phone. Um, Pretty much, uh, do what you need to say, but I'm not trying to get too too long. I appreciate everything you're doing. I just got, uh, you know, for the people in the direct. Yeah, just one thing, um, and then I'll get out of here. Um, about tomorrow, there had been, uh, you had a lieutenant colonel who said that he was. Hello? Hey, man, I didn't do that. Hello? Hello? Oh, man, I'm sorry, you just cut off completely, bro. All right, I'll move on to the next guy. Uh, private caller, 0063. Engage. Uh, yeah, you're on, buddy. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to say thank you uh, for what you're doing. Uh, I've been listening now for probably about four or five hours. Uh, you've given us a great deal of information. Uh, I've got a couple of buddies looking to head down there beginning of next week and you know 
the information you've given to help them out. I appreciate it. Uh, the next thing is, uh, after this is all done and over with, but do uh, you plan on keep? Do you plan to keep on doing this? You know, uh, uh, to the fact that I came in, uh, and my uh, my wife, for example, was late, just came home looking at me like I'm a retard and did not understand what's going on right now, and I, I kind of feel bad, but I'm, I'm going to do my best to kind of keep this going. I'm actually working on secondary moderators uh, that can figure out the software and know how to utilize that and maybe run the conversation while I'm gone. I, I got the things to take care of tomorrow night, but uh, I'm, I'm, it's for the weekend, and I, I don't have a problem, uh, you know, after I go to bed here in the near future, you know, turn this back on, you know, sometime today, tomorrow, uh, if possible, uh, depending on, you know, what plans are, but I'm trying to get, you know, somebody else uh, that I actually know that I can trust, uh, trying to help take over uh, some secondary uh, implementations of the software and, you know, running the call and knowing how to handle a, a conversation like an adult, and, uh, you know, trying to help keep everybody on the same page. And obviously, I'm coordinating a variety of teams right now. That are, uh, that are coming in, uh, all kinds of information. Left and right, it's all I'm reading from right now. But, uh, you know, and also knowing the names in, in the network and, and try to, you know, it, it, it's a task thing. But I fully appreciate, uh, the accommodations there and, uh, and you've got to help. Okay. You know, that's all I can do, man. And I'm going to move on to the next call. I really appreciate you, man. I want to let the YouTube listeners uh, and watchers uh, know that, as you can see, better. What the militias and Oath Keepers are about is to organize peace. They're not these gun-toting psychos. It's about coordinating peace and being within the law. It says tomorrow at 9 a.m. Not going off half cock. We want as many people there as possible. We want all the news people that can be there, too, to show up as well. We will be doing uh, we will be doing this at the flagpole at the protesting area. Thank you so much. Keep this spreading, and it's on the Bundy Ranch. Hold on, hold on. I need to ask you a question. Are you on the ground right now, man? I'm in Colorado. I'm a uh, okay. Are you heading I'm, that way, or no? I'm just watching everything online and just keeping track of stuff. So you can confirm that majority of who's already there, and can you confirm that people can still get there? Well, this is what's saying on the Bundy Ranch website or their their Facebook account. They're telling people that the meeting is tomorrow, and they're saying that's where they want people to meet. All if right. You go to Bundy enough. Ranch Facebook. Flagpole tomorrow, nine o'clock, correct? Yes. All right. Well, all you people that know somebody that's got boots on the ground that they're still trying to meet up, I want 150 people here. Um, definitely spread the word. Meet them at the flagpole tomorrow if they're on the inside. Uh, to come as a peaceful protest to bring supplies and uh, appreciate your time in it. Thank you. Have a good night. Alright, moving on. Last name uh, starts with the J6585. You want to chime in? Oh, is that me? Yeah, that'd be you. How you doing today? Oh, okay, perfect timing. I was about to hang out. Uh, I just wanted to type in because several people have brought up history and I agree that history is extremely important. What we've got right now is a big fire that's blown up, and that obviously has to be dealt with. You know, we need boots on the ground, we need logistics positions, we need all of these sorts of things. But I think if people are intending to be in this for the long haul, they really need to be aware of the fact that this is a fight that's actually been going on for over 100 years. A lot of people are not aware of the case Bush rebellion that started in the 1890s. And if they even look it up, you know, the victor tends to write the history books. And to make a very long and complicated story short, it was the East versus the West, and the East basically won. Uh, they were the status who wanted to control the West. The West wasn't having any part of it. It was full of five and Bundys. And the East put us down. I'm from Oregon. I'm a third generation Oregonian, by the way. Um, and it simmered <coughs> and it set very poorly with most of us Westerners for a long time. And those of you, I'm about the Bundy ages. So okay. I, I lived through a lot of this stuff. Like there was a saved throughout the Russian 
million under Carter in the 70s that a lot of people in the 40s and 50s may remember, but they not, may not be aware of the fact that that was simply a flare-up of something that had been going on for almost 100 years. Excuse me, yeah, 100 years. And if people understand the context of the way that the government has been uh, manipulating and stealing property rights, both from the American Indians and from the American public, you know, for, for this entire period of time, I think it'll give them a better perspective on what they're dealing with now, and they're going to be a lot less likely to, if we do get the result we anticipate, which is, you know, a calm, peaceful protest at the Bundy Ranch, and presumably their personal situation will be resolved. That is only one situation of many that have been going on since the end of the 19th century. Uh, this is a very long war, and what we're doing right now is a very fiery battle in a long war. And I really hope that people will, uh, as you said, they say it work, Google this shit, and, uh, and find out about the, the two stages of birth of the aliens and understand how we got here from there and how we can keep it from happening again. Well, that was a mouthful, man. I really appreciate what you said to say. Um, it's nice to have a lot of female energy. You've obviously got some women, uh, wisdom under your wing. And uh, you know, as you're right, as history shows, we need to learn by what we've done in the past. And uh, you know, we're, we're towards a better future. And unfortunately, you know, the people are trying to hinder that for America right now. And there's no question from many different aspects. Um, so I appreciate your time and in. If you want to come back again later uh, today, uh, you feel free to do so. I appreciate it. Well, I certainly appreciate everything you folks do doing. I just, I don't want it. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I uh, pressed next call. I thought you were going to have to apologize. Uh, got somebody else open there at 767. So that's. All right, I'm going to move on. Uh, 7687, you're trying to move. Oh, hello. There you go. Hi. I want to reiterate. Hi, how are you? Hey. I want to reiterate on what he was talking about the Constitutional Convention. Yes. Right. Um, there was news posted approximately four days ago on several sites that they decided to have a Constitutional Convention, which Michigan was the 34th state, which made it a two-thirds rule. And they can change the entire constitution under that. Nothing is less limited. Right. right. That's kind of what we were kind of worrying about them. Um, although I, I, I can't say that we need to necessarily change the constitution, but there need to be amendments that still work in the Well, we don't want to change it. They're going to do no. it with us no. not knowing. <laughs> we don't I, get to vote on that. They're just going to do it. You're right. The constitution. It, 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 man, and, and you know, I'm trying to really thin ground in a really thin fence by saying this. The Constitution is as perfect as it was for that time, and there needs to be a couple of finalities in there that maybe they might have overlooked because if they had not, the government wouldn't be able to do what it's doing right now. So it, yes, there were, I um, totally understand what you're saying, but the sheeple don't even care, <laughs> and nobody's going to know or get to vote on any they change. Well, in total, during these conference calls, we've had over a thousand people chime in from all over. So I do think there are people, I know we're a very small percentage, but, uh, you know, there were a lot of leaders that have a lot of uh, a lot of thought out there that have been chiming in and uh, I'm hoping those numbers are a lot higher than, than what we think it is. But, uh, yeah, I, I would just like to see that if that Pandora's box is open, it, it obviously works in the people's favor. Uh, overall, in general, as a whole, I think there should be higher penalties for uh, true use it in easier routes so that these alphabet agents can't work around um, you know, really crappy uh, exactly you, you know it, it, there needs to be a, a harsher sentence for people that have truly violated their oaths completely that are selling out America left and right that are uh, you know imposing more treason and that are the ones that are doing that the worst are the ones that are in appointed positions in government in my opinion 
well, they're all worms, and they're really good at hiding in the dirt, you know, and uh, it's hard to trace back a lot of things, and don't think that's by mistake or by chance. And, uh, well, the other thing I want to also bring up is this, um, the Harry Reid thing. Go ahead. He, he sold that land two years ago to the Chinese, and he's, the Bundys are the last ones to, to give out to his whole thing, and I think that's one of the reasons why they're making this a big deal is because, and, and this isn't the other... This is happening in Texas. This isn't the only one that they're trying to take land in Texas already. I mean, this is just the start of so many more things to come. And, and if we want to see this be peaceful, I heard earlier when I was listening in on the call that there were um, foreign people that were posing as Jim Smith or whatever name. This has to have something to do with it. The, the land is sold. He sold it. And they're just trying to figure out a way to get him off the property. And I really think it's another way for them to try to test the waters for a a whole worldwide or countrywide militia movement. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to go ahead and agree with you. We pretty much... Uh Earlier on uh, in previous portions of this call, I've kind of agreed a couple times now that it really just seems like an inkling or some sort of eminent domain where hey, this is the property they want. They're going to take it any which way they want. If they have to use the bureaucracy and find a guy because his cows are eating too much grass, you know, and now he owes them money, you know, it's just really ridiculous. They're obviously, you know, making a lot of people broke really quick and obviously taking their, uh, um, you know, capability to generate income away. And just force them into you know bankruptcy. This is being confirmed in the region and other locations. Um, this is uh, actually uh, we're finding ground zero one right now, but there's actually a uh, ground zero up to point five right now. Um, some other locations where similar things have occurred recently, um, but we'd like to uh, put more uh, information out there and find more specifics on the ground exactly to uh, you know determine you know, what phase uh, of this land grab that they, they might as well be in as well. Um, this has come up before, we've kind of determined that it turns into uh, oil once again, and it turns into uh, water once again, and it uh, turns into uh, you know, ground nutrients and precious metals and things like that. And uh, it seems that the orders come upon uh, from a product from the military is why your your old land management is acting the way they are, way outside their authority. And if they fired some extra agents uh, to help out with personnel, apparently, you know, we can verify what kind of contractors they are, but, you know, if you've got a... Uh, you know, and I apologize if anybody's of Middle Eastern descent on this call, but you know, if, if the name is Hamza, Hamza, Papa, Papa, he's entitled to a lot. And in your stuff says Jones on the name tag, um, I, I don't credit you, you know, and, and at this point, if you're standing there with a gun in my face uh, in America on, on our property, I don't care if you're wearing a blue helmet or not, um, you're working for the wrong people, and uh, it's unfortunate that, you know, we, we have to kind of well, they're looking for a reason. They're looking for a reason, and I think that anybody who pays attention to anything knows that. All right, well, there's some politicians on their way. We've confirmed Richard Madden on team, but uh, he's probably taking a nap right now. I hope his, uh, I know I'm going to rattle his case uh, for a if I get small. Um, I'm going to move on to the next call. we got to uh, Right on. Have a good night. Thank you. Sorry, right, got another wireless caller on. Hello. Yeah, he's been hanging on for a minute. I don't blame you for falling asleep. Yeah, there you are. What's going on, brother? Well, I, I just want to say, reporting in from California, you guys are doing a great job. You know, not all of us are here liberals, but <laughs> well, I don't care about you guys. You know, stay safe. Don't let other people discourage you from what you're doing. We believe in the Constitution, and we need to uphold it. We can't lose our motivation over little things. And we can't allow people like this to push us this far. You know, get, get our blood boiling, focus in the eye, and do all this other nonsense and stuff. We have moral high ground. 
you know, these people obviously lost their soul, it's gave it to the devil or whatnot. But just by you doing this, you've seen how many people are actually awake and aware of what the federal government is doing to its own people that we elect and put into office, people we count on to protect us. And as we've seen through those videos that you know, not just the Bundy Ranch, but protests and all this. I mean, it's coming to a boiling point. And, you know, and I'm all for peaceful protest. I mean, many people are, and yeah, there's naysayers here, naysayers there. But, you know, it's just it's coming down to it, you know. Why, why should we, one major thing I want to point out, I'm a parent, I have two children, and many people do too. But shall we sit here and ask ourselves this, can we look our children in the eye and tell them that they're going to have less rights than we did? Or as parents, shall we want more rights for our children? Should we have, give them a better future, a sign of hope? know that they can go down the street and, and, and feel a sense of security and safe and when they look behind them they see a police officer or politician which would be rare because they're going to stay at their desk but you know feel safe why why with all this why with all this why why, why should we not accept anything less Let's not yeah, make the I hunger games real. Really and that's exactly why we started this phone call again. Uh, you know, that's you guys, you guys are amazing. I wanted to this. Um, didn't really expect this, but we're completely happy about it. And uh, you know, we've got other groups that have chimed in from all over the country of various uh, uh, categories, so to speak. Um, administrators of other groups, uh, media teams from other groups. Um, oh. Nothing is. Fox News yet, but you know we're still trying to, <laughs> to work with boots on the ground and other people that are involved. Obviously, we're up in the four a.m. Central. We started at eight p.m. earlier today. Um, just another segment that seems to be working out really cool. And uh, yeah, well, I'm in, oh, I'm, like, my name's Robert. I'm in. I'm living in Riverside. Um, we have two bases that are in between here. Uh, one. Uh, March Air, uh, Air Reserve Base, and then we have Camp Pendleton. Um, just saying, I haven't seen any movement, no nothing. Um, usually on the roads most of the day, so just just throwing that out there and um, keep an eye out. Just watching. I mean, we get a lot of traffic from Thousand uh, Ponds. Uh, damn it, I forgot what it's called, but. Um, you should get a lot of convoys that come up and down through here on uh, on the 215 and uh, uh, the I-15 North, and also the 60. Uh, everybody so, kind of keeps cameras at the ready because uh, at the info that we're getting in, we need to have verifiable. So there's a timestamp on a photo tag me in it. Um, we're also using the uh, hashtag. I don't know if you do the Twitter thing, but we're using hashtag both before orders right now. If you've got any Intel uh, as far as pictures and video of actual movement. Um, we need to attack it in. I've got somebody else now to help me out and then tag me in those photos that are coming up that hashtag post before order. And uh, you know, feel free to tag me in those photos as well. You know, you know what you're doing there. There's, there's a lot of stuff popping up all, all over the internet right now. I, I can't go anywhere on Facebook without being planned by private messages right now for um, trying to coordinate. And uh, I but uh, I appreciate you coming in. And anything else you want to finish with? I got to move on. I got a couple. So, uh, uh, yeah, I well, hope to see you guys out there tomorrow. Uh, well, actually, today, since it's 2 a.m., but I uh, hope I see you guys later on today. Uh, I'm going to try to make it out there with uh, a lot of good friends of mine, uh, show some solidarity, and um, thank you guys for all the info and stuff, and bring some water and some wine. Hey, I stay at the brother. You are. Uh, just graduated yourself to boots on the ground. Uh, you're definitely heading there tomorrow. 
Yeah, oh, actually today, 2 a.m. again. <laughs> the whole time. Uh, right, 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 right. <laughs> I've been at this for a while, and uh, forgive me. Um, I'm gonna actually hang on to your number. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie you in the glutes in the ground. Uh, got a couple people that have been giving comments. You mind me keeping you in there? Uh, we might have to contact you tomorrow, especially if you're gonna be on scene, or at least you can call back and jump back in when this goes back up uh, tomorrow. And uh, that's what's going on. I'm I'm hanging on to your number. Is that alright? Yes. All right. Um, I'm going to probably send you a text in a little bit with the rest of the comms guys to uh, get the same communication and uh, boots on the ground as well. We'll be getting a hold of you, okay? You got it. I appreciate yeah, you, man. Hey, uh, God bless. If you, don't mind, if you don't mind, can I get your first name, sir? Robert. All right, I appreciate that. Yeah, you said that earlier. Just wanted to verify. All right, 10 4 man. Um, Got one more anonymous and two. Uh, another uh, thing, real quick. I know you got to move on. Anybody in Riverside, <clears throat> um, go on to uh, is it uh, Bundy Ranch Resistance Transportation? Um, you're gonna have a post up there if you're within. If you're in Riverside County, Orange County, or, or San Diego, uh, I can possibly help out. I can fit three people in my vehicle. Uh, if anybody wants to do that, um, I think there was Patriot, Patriot, uh, Patriot Underground uh, has a Facebook page uh, where people can post uh, where they're willing to go back and forth. Okay. And uh, luckily, uh, one of my Facebook colleagues uh, just texted me. Uh, and I appreciate that, MJ, again. Thank you. Um, yeah, so if you can get to uh, Patriot Underground, that's a, a, a sign on Facebook. There's a lot of people offering ride shares and such as that. Feel free to sign in with him. Uh, what was that again? Patriot, uh, Patriot Underground on uh, Facebook is offering me uh, post up anybody who wants to, you know, offer rides back and forth, things of that nature. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot of bartering going on for people that can do that. 10-4. All right, good buddy. Uh, appreciate you, man. I'm going to open up to uh, Anonymous. You are in the Now, let's go ahead and see here. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Hey, man, I just want to uh, say I uh, appreciate what you guys are doing out there. Um, I'm here in Western Nebraska right now. I've been following it all day. Been on two and a half hours now. I I, I saw something on Facebook. It ah, it's a group. That, it's not a page. Some somebody with boots on the ground. So, uh, Russian Russians in the BLM uniforms. You heard anything about that? Uh, a couple of people have stated that uh, a handful of them look like they're of foreign descent. You know what I'm assuming is, uh, you know, like it's been kind of stated earlier that most likely they're. Uh, you know, I, when I say contractors, I don't want to send people on and say, holy shit, black water's on this, because that was said earlier than you know, all you saw on Facebook. Put black water's on That was there, Peterson you know. Tilly. Yeah, you see, yeah, Peterson Tilly kind of, said that. Yeah. You need to kind of chill out on, on, on that kind of intel. All, all we can confirm is that, you know, there are some people that uh, do have that look, you know, uh, man, that I hate to say it, like, that do look on the uh, Middle Eastern descent that may not, you know, be American if they're not speaking back. You know, as far as I know, Peter Santilli said that you know, they yeah, are the Blackwater types, the military contractors. He went out of his way to say Jones. it was not Blackwater um, so specifically. He was just using an analogy. Uh, just again, so you again, know. Right now, I'm not totally confirmed how many of those people there are. The state that what I've been told is uh, you know, BLM was falling short of personnel uh, due to the increased fluctuation of uh, people going to the site, and uh, they just wanted to get who they could as fast as they could, and unfortunately, uh, and other people, you know, fell into the situation. I can't say that they're, uh, you know, blue hats or not, and, but uh, obviously they are also a foreign descent. Now, you know, that being said, we have plenty of military that are of various races, races, and kinds, so I don't want to wait too many thoughts. Absolutely. It, it seems like this, uh, you know, the situation is coming from above and out of the country. Uh, there is some, obviously, a military uh, intent along the chain of command that's causing all this situation, but uh, some people are pointing towards it. Feels like a lot of outside uh, of the country type and the domain. You know, I'm sure Hillary's got her hands in this somewhere, um, based on some of the last pieces that uh, that she's made over the last year. So, so uh, you know, it's getting a little weird. You know, we can only go by boots on the ground. So if you can keep passing the word and finding more people that are going to be going there uh, to chime in on this.
call it, that's the best we can do is uh, you know keep relaying that kind of data. You know, if, if somebody sees a helicopter, you know, get it on a picture, get it timestamped, help us out. Just sort of saying, hey, I saw a bunch of Apaches headed there. I was freaking everybody out. We need like hardcore, you know, uh, verifiable right. type intel right now. Man, anything else you wanted to add? Sorry about that. Um, no, no, that's good stuff. Uh, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, I've, I've been following, I live out here in western Nebraska. You know, I, I heard that guy that talked about work for BNSF. I also work for BNSF. I actually shot you a couple messages, too. But, um, you know, I, I, I verify it. up Up here, I've seen the military. And I'm also living right next to Colorado. I'm three and a half hours from Denver. And uh, they all they've talked about is, the, and it's been confirmed, actually, that they've been swarms of Russian troops moving into Colorado. And after all those fires, you know, there was reports of 200,000 Russian troops right in Colorado. So when I heard that, it kind of made sense, you know, and then I hear about, and I read, and I've been researching this for the past couple of years, all the foreign land and all the all the mortgages, the, mor the mortgage-backed debt that China owns on us right now, and then seeing this Harry Reid and then China buying this land, it all kind of made sense. You know, and then when our open borders, how do we know who's who? How do we know who's throwing on them uniforms? Who's out there? You know, and then I, I watched the, I listened to Alex Jones today, and he was talking about how do we know they ain't implanting their guys in the militia to take the first shot and make us look like the bad guys? How do we know? And how do you defend against that? Do you know those guys that are boots on the ground right with you? You know what I mean? Right, and, and we're, we're highly recommending people that if they've got the capability to videotape or things of that nature um, to be doing so as often as possible at all times um, just to kind of keep an eye on the situation. You know, when there's lots of cameras around, a lot of people uh, are uh, usually not apt to be that guy. And uh, that's what we want to avoid is that guy. You know, um, obviously nobody wants any issues. We're hoping to get it stand down on both sides. They don't like they'll, They'll make everybody go home and uh, let's call it a night. And while we kind of just use that situation, um, as of right now, party wanted to do whatever the ranchers want us to do on their property. If they say chill out and come and speak with most testers, everybody headed that way should be a peaceful protester. If you happen to have arms with you, make sure they're legal arms and you're transporting, uh, you know, without getting yourself in trouble. Absolutely. All right, hey. Yeah. I just wanted to point out, I've, I've been sitting out here in western Nebraska wondering what, how do I join my local militia, you know, and, and I, I I did some more research today and I finally found them the 37th Nebraska Volunteer Militia. I went and applied and I'll know within 20, 72 hours. And uh, I'm looking forward to joining the militia and being part of the, you know, standing for the Constitution, standing for our freedom, and uh, and, and um, standing against tyranny. And uh, and I applaud every one of you out there. I wish I could do I got six kids at home right now. I am not able to get out there, but it's burning my ass not to get out there right now. You know, and oh, we I think, man, we all understand. Keep it up, guys. I appreciate your time in there, man. And uh, you sound like a really good guy. I hope you stay in touch with me. You sound like really good people. Will do. All right. Uh, no, appreciate it. it. Helpful. Yep, you got it, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, 618, let's go 618 area code, you were sitting in the queue for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I got a question. Um, you seem to get this, uh, with your, your number out uh, pretty well. You're curious if there's like a like a militia web network where everybody can communicate. Um, I mean, I know there's various militias, you can't say to state. Some have six, some have a couple, you know. Is there, you know, one network that everybody kind of uses? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and resort to what we always say at work is GPS, bro, Google that shit. Um, this is well-regulated. Uh, American militias is a very popular uh, society. Um, they are not a militia, but they've created a network and a hub for various groups that would like to uh, coordinate with like-minded individuals in any given region. Um, there's the Watchman program. There's the other you know, avenues such as Facebook and uh, NINDNing.com. You go to me and type in your state and type in, uh, you know, the word starting with an M that I just mentioned. <laughs> uh, you're going to go ahead and cross-reference that with your region, and I'm sure you'd find something. Then. Um, you know, it's a good question. You know, everybody should have been doing their research a while back. I apologize, you know, for kind of being hurt. I, I've been in, involved with my group for going on seven years, I think, now. Um, something like that, you know, really, really good. And, uh, 
you know, I, oh, no, too bad no, he did I understand. So if, there's a, if there's nobody out there, I'm going to tell you to try to start your own. And, you know, everybody is already of militia. If you're an American, uh, if you were born here, or if you become a legal alien, uh, you're pretty much militia. It's just up to you to contact people. Uh, no, no, I mean, I've got in contact. I'm saying as far as, you know, between militias themselves, contact, you know, it, it, it's very minimal. Um, you know, even even in, in just the state level, um, militias, you know, don't seem to, you know, keep in contact with each other or, you know, any contact for that matter. You know, to some degree, I totally agree with you. Uh, as long as I've been at this, uh, you know, working in the uh, recruiting, you know, HR type position for the last four years, um, three or four years, uh, you know, it is a headache. You know, you've got people that come from out that different levels of paranoia background. Um, you know, a lot of people that we wish would chime in uh, from uh, various, uh, you know, armed forces or people that have taken a constitutional oath are quite apprehensive to do so due to the fact that there's so much uh, negative media hype and we know that, you know, NDAA has taken any patriot and turned him into uh, the enemy of the state. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't blame patriots for kind of withdrawing here and again, but uh, now, now is kind of a time to shine. If you're not doing anything illegal, you've done nothing wrong. Uh, you know, if, if, as long as you're not a freaking, you know, kid toucher, psychopath, murderer, burglar, yada, yada, yay, crack it, um, you should be getting in touch with your local militias, uh, especially if you're pro Second Amendment, especially if you're pro freedom. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, militia is no longer a bad word. This is what's probably going to save this country if uh, we can help it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need to, you know, again, uh, uh, hotheads cause problems and, and, and civil, uh, you know, civil minds prevail. And that's uh, you know, what we're trying to coordinate right now, man. I mean, nobody wants to be out and back down. We want to come in and, and follow, uh, you know, the instructions of, of the law of the land. And, and it, it comes down to showing yourself for what these ranchers want, you know. And uh, if you're on their property, you know, uh, Nevada's chain of command is, is our priority. Uh, we've got a couple of liaisons down there. Once if you can get on site, uh, we need to contact that chain of command. A lot of people are aware of who they are. But uh, right, as of right now, we're trying to even verify who can even get in near ground zero at this point. And uh, yeah. there's a lot of conjecture there. So we only got a couple of people on hold. So I'm going to actually uh, leave you on the phone, though. And then I'm just going to let this uh, next person chime in as well. And uh, we'll all three be on this stuff. So where are you? All right, you just chimed in there, uh, 034. Are you still there? You've been waiting patiently. Uh, last four digits, 0348. Manski, you want to help out? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, brother. I need you. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm calling um, just to tell you, um, I actually immigrated to this country when I was a little kid, and it's become my home. And uh, everything I've heard from my grandpa, he grew up in communist Poland at that time, or the socialist Poland at that time. He said everything that happened over there is beginning to happen here. So it's definitely something that we want to watch out for. Secondly, something that I wanted to mention is everything that's going on right now uh, over there with the uh, with the police and if the military is there. During the Nuremberg trials, uh, a lot of Nazis said that they executed, they shot at people, they killed people because they were ordered to do so. Now, I just think that it should be a lesson from history if people are going to learn from that. that you are responsible for your actions, and whether it's in order or not, you are responsible for what you do. I uh, all 100% agree, man. You know, like I said earlier, all we've got is our name and our word, and uh, hopefully, uh, people that have taken an oath to uphold it in this Constitution um, stand down if they're given illegal orders, and uh, you know, the, the other ones that have given that and that are no longer of an authority figure uh, are standing strong to make sure that hopefully these guys do. Uh, to their oath, and uh, the commands are coming out down. I mean, those are the people that need to be in question right now. Um, hopefully, nobody fires, and that's just pretty much our main goal right now is to just uh, you know, intensify the situation when uh, you know, a lot of things are really vulnerable right now. Yeah, the main goal here is not to have any have a shootout or a revolution. The main goal here is for everybody to go home safe and sound. Preferably, uh, other people would like it different, but uh. It just seems to be the most, you know, viable, uh, logical uh, option right now. Revolution and, of the and, mind, and not of guns. You know, there's a lot of hotheads headed out there, and uh, yeah, we gotta make sure uh, everybody keeps an eye each other. And so we need to bring a couple megaphones down there as well and get that to some of the leaders so they can 
think critically. Get the word out so anybody else is headed down there to run a radio shack or whatever and grab yourself one of those megaphones and get that to some of the people in charge. I'm sure that'd be very useful to them. All right. Thanks a lot for having me and thanks a lot for doing this. Hey, no problem. I, you know, like I said, it just uh, it started on a whim. A couple guys having a conversation, and then uh, we started inviting all the right people. And luckily, there's a lot of patriots uh, in that network, and uh, we happen to be one of them. Uh, thanks for chiming in. Yeah, uh, thanks so much. Hey, no problem. If uh, anybody else wants to chime in, now is your time to chime in. The queue was being cleared. A lot of people dropped in the conversation. They were holding for a while. But if you want to press star stick right now, if you want to talk. Uh, you pretty much put yourself next in line. Um, 0348, I was just talking, I'm going to leave you on and, uh, until somebody chimes in. And, uh, I'm actually hoping somebody else in this conversation. All right, like 10 people just jumped into the queue. So, uh, Perfect. I'm going uh, to keep you on as well, though. Is, is that cool with you? Yeah, it's fine by me. I just got up a 12 hour shift on an ambulance, though. So, yeah, but I've been listening all this time. Are you an EMT, sir? Yes, sir. No, I, I, I appreciate what you do, man. Uh, I've made a lot of friends amongst your community, and, uh, you know, God bless you guys for seeing what you have to see. My, uh, let's see, step brother in law actually was an EMT, man, and I, I saw what he's had to go through in his life, and I picked a special kind of person to put up that, you know, with that, and, uh, you know, sacrifice. Well, I, uh, I love doing what I do. I get to help my community, and that's what it's all about for me. So, absolutely, man. So, many props to EMT firefighters, and, uh, any constitutional law enforcement out there, you know, you're in a certain position where you get to, you know, work with some of these uh, people of authority. And uh, hopefully, uh, if you see them, you know, acting outside their capacity, don't be afraid to kind of call them out. And, uh, you know, that's not always look, uh, it's sometimes frowned upon in that community, but it's time some of the good guys start speaking up to the rest of the good guys and uh, show that there's more good guys than there are bad guys out there and calling out the guys that are going outside of their capacity. Um, yep. I'm going to enter a couple more people into this uh, phone call. Do you still want, want to talk to me or do you want to talk to someone else? Because if you want to talk to someone else, you can totally let me go. Okay, bro. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But thanks for what you do, man. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, if you somehow you stay in communication with me, I'd I like to see, uh, you know, as a patriot, patriot, you know, what you're doing, uh, what you're doing out there, man. It's uh, a really good thing. Um, you know, feel free to let uh, some other EMTs that you're, you know, friends with, uh, up on high, you know, chime in on this conversation. We love to hear from you guys, and uh, you know, you've got a certain skill set and mindset that we need to hear from as well. And during this uh, course of the next two weeks or whatever this turns into, okay? Sure. Uh, could you do me a favor and send me uh, a text to my phone number? I'd really like to stay in contact with you and other like-minded individuals. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you actually, uh, Brian is my first name, B R Y A N, and if you actually uh, look up or Google even "free the people" all one word, uh, I usually pop up. Um, on, on Facebook, uh, my email is out there as well, but, uh, but preferably, you know, Facebook and uh, for a while it's going to be these conference calls. It's going to be taking up most of my time uh, up until Monday right. morning. Uh, but uh, again, I'm trying to find someone secondarily that can uh, maybe help administrate this uh, tomorrow so I can get some rest in the near future. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to move on to the next guy. It was a pleasure talking to you, mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, you got it. And uh, we got a couple of people I'm opening up right now. All right. Let's see if that works. Oh, for some reason, I can't open a couple of people up. Wireless call, caller 5135. Hi. Um, I'm curious. If you could tell me, is there a place on the property where people are staying? It's a city sort of a thing. Uh, is there, I've, I've been hoping, I posted on that uh, transportation site, I'm hoping that Riverside um, contacts me because I'm only like 12 miles away from there, Southern California, to go up tomorrow. And I have a lot of supplies that I could uh, donate. And Last but not least, I heard somebody earlier comment about not everybody in California is liberal, and the problem there being that it's not just liberals that are screwing things up, it's every politician, every yep. de what denomination of politics. Two wings, um, one bird, left-right paradigm, and dichotomy. And the people that lose are us. 
Am I talking too loud? No, you're okay, ma'am. Uh, rally point is approximately 9 a.m. That that uh, I, was that uh, sometime. What time zone is that again? I'm sorry, I'm very hard right now. Every time zone is about at nine, nine o'clock Nevada time a.m. There's a rally point. Uh, it's going to be at the main flagpole on the. Uh, no, 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 I'm in I'm in I'm in San Bernardino, California. Oh, all right. Where did you get that? Rally point is from. Did you get that for, ma'am? Did you get that for rally point at Ground Zero? Yes, trying to get there. Yeah, that would be the flagpole at 9 a.m. It's on the property. If you can get in uh, within a certain radius, uh, apparently some people may have been detained, and uh, apparently they may be checking for guns. Um, and those people are the ones that they're giving problems right now. Um, if you're coming, uh, if you're sending anybody, they need to come as a people protester. Uh, that just happens to have munitions in the back, and they need to look up the laws of their travel paths as well as that and make sure they're adhering to the laws so that they don't uh, incur any uh, uh, more costs and arrests and things of that nature. Anything else I can do for you? Do you know anything about the arrangements for the protesters, where they're staying? Um, things that there's, three campsites. there's three campsites on the range. If you're already in the ranch or are able to get in the ranch, uh, from that point, uh, we're not really sure what to recommend people. We had a uh, within 10 miles, there was an Indian reservation that chimed in earlier that said that they were going to allow people to come that way if uh, they wanted some protection. But uh, they are closed right now and should be chiming in about five hours. But I don't know if I'm going to be on this call in five hours, so we're going to have to do this again at 8 p.m. But uh. Thank you for all of the all of the work you're doing to keep us posted. This is really important work you're doing because, like I said earlier, we're the ones that lose in the long run. Everybody, not just any particular uh, political group. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything that I've asked, and you answered it more than adequately. I appreciate it. And now my job is to get my butt off of this couch, off of Facebook, to Betching, and get up there. And be boots on. All right, ten four. Uh, feel free to call back if you if you do get in touch with boots on the ground or if you become boots on the ground. Oh, we'll thank you so time. much. And you have a around. blessed evening. Oh, you too. Uh, I really thank appreciate you so that. Much. Uh, box five, you're on the clock. Twelve fifty three, box five, you're on the clock. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, hi. And I just want to throw this out there at the very beginning. Any other 618 numbers that come through and or are still on this call, please feel free to call my number. I'll throw it out. It's 618-334-1253. And um, I, as a question was asked earlier, I do understand it was a gentleman was asking about uh, anywhere to like find local militias. It's actually more out in the open than most people think because my my whole family right now, as it stands, is part of our more defense measured uh, militia. We have all of our supplies and are willing to hand it out. I really wish it wasn't that far away because I do have to work uh, at noon or else I would be on my way. And anything else that anybody needs questions asked or anything, feel free to text me and just get into anything that you can because this is coming down hard from all points on our nation and it's going to turn out very badly one way or another. So, uh, not necessarily, man, not necessarily. There's, uh, it, well, it, 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 in that direction, it is a volatile situation, but there's a lot of good people involved and there's a lot of people on the way that are trying to calm and squash this whole situation. No, I'm not this particular situation, just everything in general with the political aspects and the constitutional, you know, hoopla and all that. Uh, well, the appointment has definitely been coming in and, uh, you know, how's that working for us so far by, you know, voting and, and uh, just going along with the you know, way that people right now. It's just not. Any of us, you know, could totally agree to that. Uh, there's a lot of freedoms and rights and um, constitutional uh, Congress, and, you know, boundaries that are, are just being broken on a daily basis, and it's just frustrating and we understand that, you know, it's a little bit of oil. We feel like the frog 
this in the pot and they keep just turning up the heat or they definitely taking up a couple notches and uh we see that happening you know and it's kind of uh I want it to be the the, the, the straw that puts the kind of back. It needs to be a situation that we handle like civil adults, you know, that have the technology capability and resources to uh, get the right people in the right place at the right time and, and squash this as soon as quickly possible. But that's why I say in any way. Some people might not agree, but uh, logically, it works for me, and, uh, and I know a lot of people are on board with that. You know, we've had over a thousand people chime in over the last uh, 24 to 48 hours, and uh, that it's, a, it's a great thing, you know, it's turning into something really small and it's turning into something really great big. And now we're going to continue to, continue to do this stuff with the <laughs> using the same participant codes and uh, same phone numbers. So uh, take advantage of that. I've got a couple of people in line class if you, if you wanted to continue. Or uh, you might have to move on to the next guy or what? Uh, completely up to you. Just, just uh, my militia, quote unquote. It's more of the Oath Keepers kind of thing, but not officially under that label. Um, out of Illinois, we're open to anybody as long as you're not, you know, trying to overthrow, you know, our government as, you know, it stands. So, you know, there's a, there's a really good resource. I'm not sure if you are aware, but uh, there is a group, the uh, Illinois Sun Delivery. Are you familiar with those guys at all? Is that the group you joined up with? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yeah, Illinois Sun of Liberty. Yes, I, uh, I've actually been in contact with a few of them, and we, the few that I've been in contact with have uh, cross-referenced some uh, subjects with my people and as well as my Ohio, you know, people that have been under our label but have since, you know, moved locally, and uh, that they pretty much want to help as much as possible, and anything I need, they said they'll help me with, so... So let me differentiate. Are you Ohio or Illinois? I'm sorry. I have family in Ohio that does the same as well, and then I have my section in Illinois. All right, thanks for it. Definitely get a hold of the Suns. Uh, if you actually uh, go there uh, via web at IllinoisSunsOfLiberty.com, um, you right. can actually fill out the attached form so that people know who you are and you'll be contacted. So you're going to want to go ahead and find your county. And uh, that'll be your division. And uh, those guys will be more than happy to help you out. They're going to fill you up. You need to show up at uh, at least a couple of meetings before they introduce you to the, uh, the training exercises and uh, you know, keep everything legal. Man. It's kind of weird. Right. right now. Oh, um, everything's legal here, trust me. <laughs> I've already cross referenced with all of my police buddies and everything. So I, I highly recommend that if you, if you travel down that rabbit hole, uh, rabbit hole as I'm recommending. Uh, once you ask the right people and you meet them personally when the time comes, just go ahead and uh, try to get a hold of Wolf, okay, if you can remember Wolf. Right. Yeah, you're going to want to get in touch with him in the near future, okay? Yep. All right, appreciate that. I'm going to move on to the next call. All righty. Thank you. All right, I'm trying to get this weird email on. All I can say is, Chad, are you on? Yeah, I'm here. Hey man, you came in earlier and you've been waiting for a long time. I apologize. You mind me asking what method you're using to uh, get into this phone call? Um, I'm actually using the Android client for your uh, for your provider for the conference call. And I'm coming in uh, as a VOIP instead of dialing the main number. Uh, I just need to clarify that. Hey, you were on earlier and I could not get you uh, into the queue for whatever reason. Your icon is different than everybody else's. And, uh, I, I apologize for that, but uh, for some reason you, you got one this time. And what can we do for you? Anything you want to add? Um, well, um, I can't make it uh, over to Nevada, but uh, I'm interested in helping. Uh, just for your FYI, um, my ham radio uh, operator and a computer nerd by trade. So if I can, uh, oh, get, get, get. Do me a favor, brother. Are you on speakerphone right now? I'm on Bluetooth. I'm going to ask you about that. It's my audio bed. Yeah, do you mind killing one of those and just going in raw? Uh, you're getting some weird uh, the red line in on your end. Okay, how about now? Uh, it's a lot better. Uh, it sounds like an echo. Okay. <clears throat> Is it any better? Uh, a lot better. Are you out of some sort of static or wire running in the background? 
Um, no, it's it won't go to my normal headset for some weird reason. I took you off Bluetooth and you're on speakerphone now, so. Um, I'm going to let you slide on that for a minute. You sound like you're doing that. You've been waiting a while. Do you need to say phone? I'm going to ask you to keep it straight. Okay, well, uh, I'm, I don't know if you caught, but I'm a ham radio operator and a computer nerd by training. Um, <clears throat> I've been listening. We had an Oath Keepers uh, out of New York that gave some uh, ham radio HF frequencies earlier. Um, as I understand it, there was also talk of a repeater, ham repeater that may be, uh, they may be trying to use in the area around the ranch. And yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I can't seem to verify the details on that uh, compared to what was passed on to me by somebody else. Um, All right. You uh, have to... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. You've me up and up. Um, there's a couple things I wanted to give you. Uh, in that case, uh, we got a, a common person that's been uh, trying to help out. We, we got up to five main com people that are uh, coordinating efforts. Uh, I'll start you off by giving the uh, repeater. Numbers. I, I can't verify like what frequency, but all I know is you're supposed to be looking for call letters J F five Z Y G, and in that region they're using a repeater which is at four four three point eight five zero. Okay, that's what was given to me, but I can't find it on any of the uh, on any of the public databases that are listed for ham radio. So if he's using a portable one or something, I don't, I don't know. Um, I was hoping to find it to see if, since it would be local only uh, in that region, I was hoping that maybe it was an established uh, system that would have a feed on the internet somewhere that I could listen to as well. I was trying to find it. You there? Looks like there's some minor technical difficulties for a second. Are you still there? They're just checking out some difficulties here. Whoa. Okay, whatever this is, I'm sure they'll resolve it in a moment. Just bear with us. Your patience is appreciated. Technical difficulties do happen from time to time. There's something weird going on on their end, and I'm sure they will fix it as expediently as possible. I am still connected into the call and streaming out on the Google Hangout. Hey, Chad, sorry I dropped out, man. Where did I leave off? My there we go. Just go. Um, you, yeah, hold on, let me... Um, you, were, you gave me the uh, frequency and the call sign for the repeater, and I was just... Uh, Commenting, I couldn't find that repeater listed in any of the public databases as being one that was established in the area. <clears throat> so uh, I was hoping to see if there was a. I was trying to look it up because I was trying to see if there was an internet feed to it that uh, might be able to listen to local traffic. But. Um, somebody did recommend earlier using uh, there's an application on your phone, uh, it's a, a scanner program, scanner radio, I believe. Uh, okay application that you can use and uh, a couple were shut down but a couple were still working. Um, there was a report that they were running a lot of license plates, uh, especially out of theaters. So if you're driving without license registration insurance or whatever that case is or headlights out or all that nonsense, you go ahead and uh, try to get that fixed before you're heading out because uh, I don't think they're apprehensive at all of pulling people over at this, uh, at this portion of time considering the people that are heading out there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm going to make sure somebody gets your email here in the near future. Uh, Peter, I can't see if I'm going to call, but uh, he was the last guy to chime in, and hopefully he's still paying attention right now. Is, is, is <laughs> it all there on your screen or no? Yeah, I've got everything. Uh, 7 11, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Okay. 
Um, and that, that's, of course, I got a smartphone like everybody else that'll, that'll be mobile. I am a night worker though, so uh, don't expect uh, a whole lot of daytime responses. I, I totally get it, man. Um, everybody's going to have to go back to their daily lives if they can't make it out there. And, uh, you know, at least they know that they can use this as a resource. So, yeah, feel free to let other people know we're here. Um, we're down uh, to about 75 people on the call. Our people are damn near 400 there for a minute and uh, dive back down. Obviously, we're getting to the wee hours in the morning. I'll move on to the next guy if you don't mind, Chad. All right, man. Thanks a lot. May the force be with you. Uh, why not call it 9027? You've been holding for a good 10 minutes. Well, I was calling 9027, you know. We got five seconds, and I'm going to go ahead and re you. You can. There you go. You still there? Well, I was calling 9027. Call what? Can you hear me? Oh, wow, you just missed it by a second. Go ahead, man. Um, yes, I'm with Ricky Sanders out in Tennessee, and I thought earlier in the con at the very beginning of the conversation, um, are all the militias on the same level of alertness throughout the country, do you know? Uh, some states have not signed in today. I'm not sure if they're aware of this call. Uh, we're trying to get people in those realms to get a hold of people. We don't know, you know, seven guys doesn't form a, a, a militia necessarily. Everybody is a militia, so... As right. far as those people that have, have gotten together and banded it in unity, you know, there are some of those. Uh, upon last record, we're floating somewhere around the, the 20 mark, um, 20 states that have uh, pretty much raised their death count levels uh, over the last 48 hours, if not earlier. Um, maybe seven or eight states, if not more, have chimed in that I can verify that are sending people out there. But uh, as far as numbers and how many, we don't know. But uh, uh -huh. we're just we're just hoping for people, you know, relax and, and realize that the call was put out by this rancher, uh, that he wants a peaceful protest and what's going on with this uh, turning out to be more of a, a land grab, if anything. Uh, no, I'm, is, I'm is the local. Uh, all we can do is do this. Are you there? Yeah, yeah I apologize. Go ahead. Oh, um. Uh, the one thing that I did see on TV is that um, I, I don't know if there's a reason for this, but on the flag poles that you guys have raised, um, and one of the American flags is on the very bottom. Is there a reason for that? Uh, I can't confirm or deny that right now. Did you see a picture and you're saying that what, what's above the American flag? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe the state flag. on um, um, the left side, the American flag is on top, and on the right side, the American flag is on the bottom. There's three flags on each side. I uh, can't confirm or deny that right now. Maybe somebody could turn it in here. I've only got four people uh, waiting to see right now. So uh, hopefully, you know, well, uh, I just wanted to get the message out to you, and I wanted you to know that we have your sticks out here in Tennessee. Hey, I fully appreciate that. Uh, that's awesome, Tennessee. Uh, trying to think of how the data. So that's right. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I had some friends from Tennessee. I can't think of the, the, the area right now. What, what county are you in there? Um, I'm in East Tennessee. East Tennessee. I'm sorry. I was thinking of Alabama for a second. Thing. I was going to say Tallahassee, but uh, uh, right. no, I was. That's where my area code is. I'm, I'm, I was in West Tennessee, but now I'm in East Tennessee, and uh, uh -huh. I'm in Alabama. All right. Cool. Just uh. All right, I appreciate you chiming in. It's good to hear some more, uh, you know, females are wide awake and paying attention to what's going on. Hopefully you can get uh, some more gals on board if they want to chime in. We're going to be doing this uh, on and off for the next couple of days. So uh, everybody keep that number and keep spreading it out. We're using the same exact code. Well, I appreciate the, the communication between all the groups. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're, we're trying here. Uh, you know, guys will wake up. Uh, we're going to have this again at uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time uh, later. Uh, after this cuts out, there will be some break, so definitely let people know. Uh, we exceeded uh, about 400 today. We're hoping uh, we've got a capacity of 1,000. And uh, started off as open forum for a while, and we figured out to an eight system, and this has been working all right. Although it's slow going, uh, we are getting a chance to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next time. Okay.
All right. Well, thank you. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. Uh, next caller, uh, is it 389, you know? Oh, the one below. I'm better than some worse than others. Never had it so good. I'm getting up. I'm going to make it better than some people. Ha ha, but you're going crazy for that right now. <laughs> well, uh, my name's Steven Song from California. I like to be exact, which is not a very fun place to live. Well, I was uh, commenting on how you were saying earlier about um, the local laws, you know, with guns and stuff, and how you're supposed to be transporting them into Nevada. And Nevada is an open carry state, am I right? Uh, that's what we're being told, except for uh, there's certain rules. If you've got your uh, gun, it uh, can't be loaded. Um, there can be both in a magazine, but the magazine uh, such can not be in, you know, an AR or whatever. I recommend you shotguns not be loaded. I don't know where you got hey, gun at this time, uh, just so that they can't say that, you know, things are done a certain way. Highly recommending uh, if it. If anybody can actually look up the videotape log, if you can videotape officers uh, with uh, Preparing some sort of federal freaking case to try to protect yourself using First Amendment. Um, if you could look that up and sign in and look at that, that'd be great. I've got a lot of things going on right now. Feel free to chime in if you want to look up that law. Um, but that's one way to protect yourself right now. Does that answer your question? Okay. Sorry, I'm actually driving right now. We're driving down to San Diego. I'm taking well, driving down to San Diego and I'm going to head over there. Got to go with some buddies in San Diego. Alright. Um, would you take an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution, sir? Yes, of course. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take that as your word, and uh, I'm putting you on the comm line uh, for boots on the ground. Oh, uh, yes, thank you. Yeah, I'm actually, I think my buddies are uh, more than halfway out there right now. They're coming out from Utah. Can you put uh, more boots on the ground in this line? Uh, as of right now, you are nine. Uh, no, so no, you're going to do, yeah, your, your boots on the ground nine, and uh, other people will be chiming in throughout the day, but I'm giving you the nine slot, and uh, I'm holding on to your number, which uh, I'm going to give yeah. to the door of the call the street. And, so uh, I'm going to be in right now, so it'll be a two-hour drive down to San Diego, and from there, uh, so I'm figure out the drive you be. I've been working all day. 10-4, man. Um, i got a lot of notes here, so if uh, you don't hear from somebody by... Uh, uh, 8 p.m. tomorrow, p.m. Central. Uh, I need you to chime in on the call. I'll, I'll remember your name. I wrote it down. I'm writing down your number. I'm going to promise to get that to somebody, but I can't 100% confirm things that are out of my control, which would be the next guy calling his next chain of command that we're creating as we go. Yeah, like I was uh, hearing too that uh, they might be cutting communications down there with like cell phones and everything. Uh, there was a rumor that uh, a couple of uh, services they go out for just a little bit earlier today, but uh, I, I believe they were just resetting the towers is what I, was, what I heard. And uh, comms have been okay for a while. They got their net and phones. Uh, we're definitely hoping to hear from the ranchers. If somebody can uh, get them once their boots on the ground, we'd love to hear from them just to kind of have that on file and for uh, uh, everything else. Also, I heard that uh, FSA had set a flight plan, you know. Can't fly over certain areas of the yeah. That's where all the yeah, yeah. go. That definitely came up. Uh, that's what I'm locked down. So you're right. If you're thinking about flying in that region, don't even try it right now. Um, so right now you're trying to fly over it. Yeah, well, some of my buddies on these guys are going to go on a drone plane. So <laughs> let's see how right. that plays out today. <laughs> recommend maybe they uh, not do that right now. And. Uh, <laughs> And also have you in communication with uh, Aircom. We've got a lot of guys that have some uh, in the sky capability that are uh, working together. Um, they might want to talk to you in the near future as well. Did you be there? Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, do you have an ETA, by the way, on that uh, comes night? Say again. I was coughing. Do you have an okay. ETA? Oh, when you will be boots on the ground, do you have an estimated time of arrival? Uh, let's see, about it's about 3 o'clock right now. Hopefully by noonish. We're probably going to miss 9 o'clock because uh, it's a two-hour drive down to San Diego from Los Angeles. And right. It's going to be... Uh, 
if you're going to have some of them that get a hold of a uh, gentleman by the name of Brian, who's actually the uh, liaison between the ranchers and some of the militia guys out there right now. Um, hopefully, we, if you can report to him right now, he's calling some shots, is what I believe, the rancher and then him. So uh, just be careful, you know, it, 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 when you get out there, man, uh, bring some extra supplies. Uh, looks like night vision is needed, so if you have any capabilities, extra batteries, uh, variety of kinds, uh, feel free to bring them water, is always needed. So food yeah, that be extra if you've got anybody locally that can take out and uh, pack up the vehicle, um, you're just a peaceful protester, man, and uh, you know, we're going to need to communicate with you at about uh, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Well, I know we don't do that. We don't want to bring any, uh, any of the firearms out until we get confirmation with, you know, Command up there. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to recommend uh, trying to caravan and uh, keep munitions in one vehicle that stands down um, behind. Um, and then if you guys can stay in communication with that person, uh, that'd be great. But uh, as of right now, you know, I, I, it, the rumor was that some guns have been confiscated, some people were arrested, some people were let go. But you know, with, with all the potentiality there, it, it'd be a good idea to kind of not go inside the inner circle with weapons at this time, I'm going to just recommend. Uh, you can do what you want. I'm not telling anybody what to do, but uh, just for safety's sake, so things don't get confiscated, they don't get arrested. If you're up as peaceful protesters, you got a better chance, most likely, of getting behind that line. That's why I was, I was getting confused with the gun off, because I've known I've gone out to Vegas, and you can literally open carry within Nevada. And that's why I, I realized it's uh, confiscating. And I realize that it, it seems more to the, uh, you know, if, if, if I, again, everything I'm giving you is perception, man, take it as it comes, you know. But, uh, yeah, so uh, perception is that it's a legal confiscation right now because Nevada is right. an open carry state. It, I, I highly agree with that. The fact of the matter is if there's confiscating them because you have them and you're open carrying them uh, and you're wearing BDUs and you look like you're coming to come start some trouble, they're not going to do what they're going to do. So uh, I'm just kind of recommending. If you come with them, I'd rather you not go through the altercation. If they let you pass as a peaceful protester, you've got a much better chance of getting there. And that way, at least if you're staying in towns with the uh, munitions, caravan vehicle, uh, you know, you can call upon them if need be at some certain point in time. Hopefully that person's, uh, you know, got a 4x4 capability. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we got hope about the right, Well, that's your munitions vehicle, guys. Um, you know, I, I'm not recommending, you know, and I'm hoping none of that actually goes down, but they're on standby. Oh, and, uh, we don't want anything to go down with that. <laughs> we left it and we want exactly most of them to go down. But again, you know, I'm we're hoping to more, you know. Right. Um, yeah, I'm just hoping more of the political aspects of uh, politicians get involved and actually fucking put their foot down. It's kind of what we're coming on. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of people, warriors, need to get a hold of those. Uh, you know, their congressmen and especially the locals and, uh, you know, getting a hold of uh, local politicians of all kinds, especially the sheriff of every county surrounding and uh, getting some support out here. If we've got a county that's uh, supporting it and, and the sheriff are uh, deputizing these kind of guys that are there just there to protect at least, you know, they can secure one angle of an area close by and, uh, you know, confirm that, that'd be great. Well, they should be mobilizing these uh, state troopers. <laughs> Population to mobilize the state troopers to actually come and intervene. But the barrier between the peaceful protest and then. And the big lane uh, moron. I'm just going to go with the Supreme Court ruling. The uh, you know, Supreme Court have uh, ruled in the favor of the sheriff being the highest constitutional authority on the land. Uh, the people are sticking with them. If the right people are sticking with them, uh, this should go down fairly, fairly well. Um, if it needs to happen, if these defects need to be removed, you know, my, my curiosity lies in what is the Bureau of Land Management? Is that necessarily a, a federal actual entity? You know, is it a commercial enterprise? Do they actually have authority? It doesn't sound like anything but bureaucrats, and, and there's now some hired, uh, you know, outside sources that are working with this group wearing their uniforms that are coming oh, yeah, out. Very, very well trained group of men. Yeah, and obviously that's what's making everybody nervous. So, you know, you look at the source of the problem, that's it right there. If CLM could just stand down, give this guy another, you know, time length to figure out what he's got to do so that, you know, it seems right now that they're trying to take 
all his resources away, obviously, and, uh, you know, that's what, why the people are coming to his aid. But uh, we want that he's very happy, you know, to come in there and just, you know, tear up the place any time in, the, you know, any future, to be honest. Uh, you know, Gillespie's a putz. But, uh, I'm going to move on. we got a couple other people that are in the queue. Is that cool? Oh, yeah. Sheriffs from the surrounding to county around. should assist. There's a gentleman from up on Riverside still listening, and that um, other uh, lady who also was listening, she needed to write, right? Um, I'm trying to research people to a uh, Facebook page called the Patriot Underground. Uh, Patriot yeah, Underground. I was listening earlier. Just make sure they're looking yeah. at that. It's offering some ride share, so I haven't been there personally, I admit, but. Uh, if you want to get in there and, and offer that, um, at least if you're a band together, it makes sense if you got some other uh, you know, peaceful love. Uh, I've, I've, look, I've looked at it and I haven't seen anything close on there. Really? Um, well, go ahead and be that guy. Yeah. Yeah. i move on, brother. All right, man, it's worth it with you. I'm going to move on. I've got uh, at least three people in the computer. If you want to chime in and say something, there's still a uh, most of these people on the call right now, uh, if you want to chime in, you can press star, uh, star six, and uh, it'll click in the key to say something next. I've only got a few people in there, so you won't be waiting very long. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, I'll just uh, pull you back off the speaker and just keep on driving. Yeah, all right, come. If you're coming right now, there's going to be people getting a hold of you, all right, bro? Uh, if you want, it, it, let's do this. Since you're on comms, can you mute out your phone? And just, I can keep you unmuted, so that way if you want to chime in, you can. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. And I'm going to be doing that to more people here. Uh, if any other uh, other comments guys are on the line, I'm going to go ahead and pull you in. You can star six yourself in the queue. Um, once we talk to you, I can leave you on. So you have to meet yourself up. Uh, I'm moving on to the next guy. And okay, I'm going to go ahead and If you'd like to ask a question, please press 1 to add yourself to the queue. Your request has been received. One zero oh. one more. Here you are. Uh, yeah, go ahead. It's your turn, boy. Hey, Brian. How you doing, man? Uh, I'm kind of getting tired, man. Uh, I haven't peed in uh, 14 hours. And there's a lot of coffee in my veins. I'm on my second coffee, too, bro. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just had a couple things to add there. And I'm in uh, I'm in Central Florida, and um, you know I've been keeping in touch with a lot of uh, people that are in uh, you know in touch with some in inside people. Like uh, back on October 3rd, there were supposed to be some nuclear devices set off in South Carolina. It's posted. I don't know if you heard about that. Uh, I, I remember that floating. Uh Going around on some underground media channels, uh, that could be uh, totally confirmed overnight, of course, for such precarious as the situation. But during this purge, uh, you know, it's had, it had some odd timing with other things that have occurred out there. What else did you have to add to that, bro? Well, uh, I find that it was true because I looked back on Facebook or on uh, or, uh, YouTube, and I, I came up with a bunch of false flags, and Governor Lindsey Graham was from South Carolina. He was giving a speech and said that um, uh, if we were messing with, uh, if we were going to get involved with Syria, the rebel uh, confusion over there, that he already received some intel on some uh, nuclear threats. And uh, you find out sure some brigadier uh, uh, high ranking officials were, were fired and they couldn't get reinstated because they were found mentally incompetent. One of them was the chief of nuclear weapons, and uh, this, this whole this whole shenanigan with uh, the Bundy ranchers kind of freaked me out. Man, being in South Florida, so uh, just weeks ago, um, I was driving up here through. Uh, I live about an hour north of McGill Air Force Base, and uh, it freaked me out. I was driving home one day, and I'm a local musician here. And I've seen all these, uh, you know, black uh, military vehicles. And uh, I live pretty close to the coastline. And I've been seeing a lot of activity. And uh, 
just really, I mean, I don't know what to do about it. Um, you know, at least two thousands of uh, black up uh, jeeps, bombers, box trucks, and then and then I've seen them uh, coming through the Midwest there. Um, like one gentleman said about the Russians, um, you know, driving all these vehicles through the Midwest when we simply don't need to have those vehicles out there. And uh, I talked to a, a couple of my friends uh, that live in the Nevada area, and they're bunkering down, and they are going to be on the ground here tomorrow. And uh, I don't, I, you know, what can I do from Florida? You know. Uh, you know, really the best you can do is, you know, we always could use some researchers and things to uh, come up. Um, you know, we got a lot of guys that have a great internet and computer capability. Um, it's probably going to drop down here in the next uh, hour, within the next hour, and then continue on tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, right. just, you know, we have a lot of people that have come up. Any other reports that we can get, if anybody can get contact with boots on the ground. Um, if anybody can get in contact with people headed there and uh, try to get an idea of, you know, if, are they are they stopping people right now? Uh, you know, can we find another rally point outside of this zone, apparently, where, uh, you know, there's uh, been some issues with, uh, based on people calling in saying that, you know, some people have gotten pulled over and arrested and uh, some confiscated. So we, we can't fully confirm those things until we have some we had to. I just thought I'd... Um, uh, uh, everything else is just, you know, some sharing on Facebook and, you know, when you go back to the sources, nobody can say, hey, uh, I can confirm that. So, there's, there's a lot of conjecture out there, but uh, it's, it's hard to pinpoint anything right now. Yeah. Well, so I have about the communications on the militias and um, all the people that want to um, protest and, you know, people bringing supplies and all. Um, the, uh, yesterday morning, um, I researched and found there's a virus called heart blood. That um, uh, it's uh, evidently uh, it's on it's a virus that so you know some hackers can't, it's nothing new, but this has been going on for several you know several months with the intel and the government that can intercept uh, your bank account and, uh, and all kinds of communications as we know everything from your smartphone and whatnot. Uh, but this, this this is running rampant and they just said to everybody change your passwords and all. Um, and I, I used to eat dinner with a retired CIA, CIA agent uh, years ago, and uh, yeah, he told me some pretty intellectual things about what you know what can be done and what can be done. Uh, my my uh, reason I call is I want everybody out there to be vigil but calm because I really do feel with the knowledge I have. And the intel that I collected from some from some really really good resources that uh, there there's definitely an agenda. We all know that. But there there's one thing that I'm I'm really curious about specifically. Uh, I found that there was in the past 20 years, it it, it brass and farmers. There's been about 50 ranchers out there in that area. I watched a short video of a man out there that had ranch out there for 20 years, and he says they've been destroying that property out there. So my my, my whole long short is there's something in that in that whole perimeter of that area out there that the government wants, uh, whether there's something underground or whether there's they just they want to do something with that property. Um, and I don't feel that protesting. And uh, deliberately, you know, uh, keeping everything calm is probably going to resolve everything. I don't mean to be, um, I don't mean to be really negative about the whole subject, but you know, with the intel that I do have, the knowledge I have, I really don't feel that this is going to be good. And uh, I pray that everybody, you know, this thing does turn out the way it should turn out, but. You know, you know, the cards are in attack, man. I think it's what, it's, what they're doing is the agenda is for them to provoke um, the militias to come out of the come out of the woods, to come out of the woodwork. Uh, um, I really do feel strong about the 
the production of uh, you know the citizens and uh, you know with, with all the with all the things I've seen here in South Florida, I've talked to people out west that live out there. Uh, it's just uh, it, it's not going to be a sunny day, in other words, Brian. Uh, I'm agreeing with you there, brother. Uh, this is a volatile situation, and again, the big reason why this got started was is we just wanted to not only find boots on the ground, but find other people that feel the same way as you and I do, Bobby. I'm glad you chimed in, man. I know you held on for quite a while, but uh, I appreciate everything you just had to say. It's, uh, yeah, one of the reasons I wanted to add, you know, to, <laughs> well, I mean, the whole thing about cows grazing in fields and turtles, I mean, what kind of shit's that? I mean, we got borders that are uh, protected for so many years, and you got patriots down there on the retired veterans trying to protect the borders, and you know, it just, it's all in black and white. And, and I, I'm trying to tell you, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be negative at all. But it's just, you know, I, anybody that's out there or going to be out there, just please be visual, but please, um, you know, remain calm. And uh, if need be, you know, protect yourself because of what I've seen and what I've heard, you know, to me, to, to me this is just to come across the line, you know. Kind of deal. So I just want to give all this, all this, all the patriots, all the, all the protesters, and everything, this little blessing, man. Because um, without, without our faith, you don't have nothing, man. So uh, good looking on, patriot, and uh, I appreciate your time in there. Uh, so it's always a good chat, man. Keep doing what you're doing, and just uh, keep spreading the word that we're here, trying to coordinate and uh, you know, get as many people as we can on the same page. Uh, then it's going to start again. Uh, Sometimes eight o'clock central tomorrow. All right, uh, you are on line nine six four three. Yes. Go ahead, Chief. Um. Okay. You said you're from Ohio, right? Uh, not me personally. I'm the host of this call. My name is Brian. Um, I'm actually uh in Illinois in the bird. Well, um, if there's anyone going out there coming through Ohio or going from Ohio to Nevada, I know a couple of people is willing to go. Uh, we're referring any call share, or sorry, ride shares over to uh, Facebook page, uh, Patriot Underground. I already, I already like it. I've heard you talking about during conversation whenever. Yeah, cool. We just need people to start up the banter, man. So if you want to offer that ride publicly, uh, feel free. Um, Hopefully other people that, you know, are heading that direction or whatever the case is are willing to carry van up. That's what's important right now. Um, okay. You know, if if um, we're going to head up that way, you know, we can't turn them around or tell them not to. Everybody's their own man. If you want to show support, just make sure you're coming in as a peaceful protester. We do not recommend coming out and pull that a rattle at all. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying there. Um, is there any confirmed? How many? Is there a confirmed report of how many militia are in the Nevada area at the ranch? Uh, we we had in, in the flushes of the 200 mark, uh, 150 to 200 mark. Um, I'm not really being that conservative because we just don't honestly know. Man, we're trying to get people to send word out to boots on the ground and people that are headed there to come back in and, and report that back to us. Um, okay, because I've heard reports of like 5,000 militia showing up, and I've not seen any confirmation to this and I'm wondering if this was misinformation, like purposeful misinformation or what's going on there. Uh, I would have to say stay tuned man and uh, you know all we can do is we really got guys calling in saying there I'm there right now. I'm counting all over five thousand people we can only take that to heart. Last report was floating around 150, 200 mark. That's all I can for them uh, based on their boots on the ground. Now we've got some outside forces that are Trying to assist some locals that are now chiming in, but uh, obviously the men's will be out right now, and some people don't really clear up the 400 people earlier, and uh, or well, almost 400 people. And uh, yeah, like I said, we, we can't really do too many things until so there's people verifiable area codes, and even then, you know, who's working for who right now, and uh, you know, what kind of conjecture is, is being put out there, anti information, disinformation. The wrong information we thought was the right information, and uh, a lot of people trying to be based on conjecture, and we just don't know right now fully how to answer that question uh, you know, without playing the minds of whoever's been on the spot. I'm going to have to look at the voice. 
you know, we approximately around 200 last reports, and uh, you know, people are headed out there, so that can grow very quickly. But uh, those numbers we can't count on right now. We've got actual boots on the ground that's climbing on this call in the near future. And that looks like one of those guys might be you, Mike. What's that? Are you heading there or no? Um, we are trying to figure out a way to get there currently. All right. Well, uh, do me the favor, man. If you find that ride and see if it works out for you, can you come back in uh, after 8 Central tomorrow and let us know if you're headed that way and keep us updated on what's going on. And if you find anybody that's there, man, tell them to call in on the Sunday. We need some help. Okay, we'll do. <clears throat> All right, simple. And uh, also, when we get there, if we do get there, uh, we're fortunate to see man, man. It's all about what the ranchers want and what his lead down wants as well, okay? All right. All right, simple. Uh, I've got somebody that's been holding on for quite a while, so I'm going to move on. Okay. You may now ask your question. Hey, Brian. Hey, what's up? Um, this is Dave up here in Chicago, and... Um, Sorry if there's any any feedback. I'm actually the person from the Cosmic Voice Facebook group that is live streaming everything out right now. I have been since about 1 a.m. Central Time. Um, been live streaming through YouTube on the um, on the Google Hangout. Um, my channel is Paradigm Shift Docs for You. That's D O C S, the number four and the the letter U. But um, I'm posting this stuff, obviously, in the Cosmic Voice um, Facebook group on, on Facebook, and, you know, people can find it there. And, uh, you know, just wanted to say you're doing a good job, and, um, you know, we're rooting for you here in Chicago, doing everything we can. Um, Cosmic Voice is a, a really great group of people. Um, my YouTube channel is... Um, well, it's about paradigm shift and educational comedy, trying to get the truth out in the funny way. But don't worry, we're not sacrificing any goats. Um, but anyway, just wanted to let you know that, um, you know, if for the last few hours, I've had between 20 and, and 35 um, people listening to the stream at any given time. So you can add that number to, you know, whatever your, your current number of listeners is that you're reading on your end. And... You know, if anybody wants to use, like, a uh, video download helper for Firefox or something, then download, it, you know, this call from my channel and re-upload it to their channel, you know, whatever else they want to do, um, you know, they're more than welcome to, you know, go ahead and do that, get the word out. And um, I'll, I'll do my best to, to make it tomorrow at 8 Central and uh, do this again. It's a bit of a Skype hodgepodge. It's coming out my speaker through the air in my room into my webcam mic and, and recording into this thing. So it's not a perfect connection, but it's the best I can do right now. Awesome, Mike. Yeah, that's all I want to say. I just want to, to let you know people can find that on Cosmic Voice and... Um, you know, just want to let you know that you're doing a good job, and um, that's that's pretty much it. I'm 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 gonna uh, mute out now. Okay, that's weird. Now I'm not. Yeah, I'm in Chicago. I just got kicked off the call, but I'm back on. Are you still there? Oh uh, yeah, I am. Uh, that's weird. What's the last thing you heard me say? Uh, uh, it was about 30 seconds prior to me getting back in. Um, about how long it took for me to get back. But uh, I just wanted to kind of chime in and say we're about 45 minutes. But um, I'm definitely aware of paradigm shift. Can you actually get that web address again? I just want to really, you're you're like, you're already a subscriber on my channel. Um, I'm pretty sure because I've I've seen a lot of things coming from Paradigm Shift. Can you verify the web uh, page for uh, Facebook? Um, paradigm Shift D O C S the number four and the letter U. Or you could do a search for just Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy, or do a search for the acronym PSEC P S E C. That's how I label the beginning of all my videos. You'll see like PSEC 2011, PSEC 2012, PSEC 2013, and well, it's 2014 now, so obviously you'll see PSEC 2014. Um, I kind of put things out comically, but I promise I, I'm not sacrificing any goats to the druids. Yeah, that was seamless earlier, yes. Um, that left said, and we're, we're both in Illinois. We're about 45 minutes from each other. I'd like to see in common 
maybe use that as a resource. Um, we're not trying to create another avenue to be able to do this uh, simultaneously. So it looks like you're doing exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. So um, you uh, you yeah, said you've so heard me. You, um, you said you've heard of me on. I mean, you've seen my channel and stuff before. Uh, well, let me back up a little bit on that. A paradigm shift is being very used on the internet right now. Yeah. So I can only confirm that paradigm shift definitely rings a bell. But the uh, you know, DS or your branch or your uh, P check, I verify if that's the one that uh, I'm trying to recall right now. Although paradigm shift obviously is uh, a general term. If you're with that on Facebook right now, so I, it might not be you exactly, but the paradigm shift I'm I'm fully aware of. Uh, you know, there's a lot of groups out there that are. You know, among the, uh, the Patriot realm that are also into uh, you know, different uh, worldwide events that are ha happening and occurring in this uh, in, in this collective, so to speak. Um, did you need to step up and uh, say anything else there, Chicago? Uh, just um, if you want, um, I'm I'm Dave Kelso on Facebook, K E L S O. And um, later on, if uh, you wanted to add me as a friend or something, I'll you know I'll give you the the link to this stream. Any other you know information you want, you know I'll, I'll give you my my uh, main phone number and whatever, and we can go from there. But um, you know, hit me up on Facebook later after you know you've gotten some sleep, and uh, you can you can do search for Cosmic Voice that Facebook group and uh, join yourself to that group, and um, you know you'll find me in there as well. All right, that's why I'm actually going to chime in eventually. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you short up on that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open the door here. And uh, if anybody else wants to come forward, go ahead and press uh, star six right now. And uh, you'll be the next guy in the queue. So I appreciate you tuning in here, uh, Chicago. Yep. Uh, you sound like you're trying to do the right thing as well, man. So, uh, Thank you. Adding, um, we'll we'll and, uh, keep inviting people to help. Yeah, cool. Um, we'll, t we'll touch base later. I'm going to mute out now. All right. Thanks, man. With you. We'll with you, huh? Thanks, man. Thanks, right, man. Anybody else? Yeah, but uh, anybody else want to chime in with the star six? Uh, you'd be the next one in queue. We have Muted. Muted. That's my conversation. And uh, anybody else wants to chime in? There's still like 60 people on this call. So, uh, if anything, anybody wants to speak up right now, you can press star six, and uh, you'll be the next person to talk. Oh, there you are again. I'm going to open you up. Oh, three, four, eight. You're back on. I remember your last name. How you doing? Let's try that again. Oh, three, four, eight. Are you in there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, go ahead, brother. What do you need? Uh, since uh, the last caller was mentioning his Facebook page, and I was, I'd like to also mention I run the American Patriot Coalition on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash American Patriot Coalition. I go by the friends past. Uh, we're a page dedicated for the Constitution, Second Amendment, uh, constitutional um, uh, abiding Leo and DMS and fire. And so, if anybody wants to come support that page, we would definitely, you know, appreciate that. And like-minded individuals. Uh, you're definitely on my a list of things to do, man. I, and I appreciate the time. And for you, administrate that page. Yes, sir. Me and a couple other admins. Uh, what's your reach right now, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, we've got about, two, uh, about 3,000 fans on that page. That's a good chunk. Um, I'm going to go ahead and support you a couple more times while we're going uh, you know, through this endeavor. Uh, American Patriot Coalition, correct? Mm hmm. Uh, well, there's uh, 52 people on Facebook. Just heard you say that term. Sorry, 52 people on the call. Uh oh, did we drop? Okay, I'm going to have to call back in here because um, we got disconnected for a sec. So I need to scroll back up. Here, oops. I need to put this number back in Skype and put the access code <clears throat> back in and all that stuff. Sorry about the technical difficulties. I'm going to reconnect us, please. Bear with me. These things happen. Oh. 
This service is provided in high definition by free conference call HD.com. Please enter your access code followed by the pound. This menu will repeat. Access code accepted. There are 50 participants in this conference. This conference is being recorded. Q&A session started. Man, forgive me if it's not the only tool. Well, but I, you know, I'll get through it when I can. I appreciate you chiming in. But uh, at, on a personal level, if you want to type in B-R-Y-A-N and then space, uh, free the people all in the word, um, I should pop up. And uh, What was the first part? Uh, Brian, my first name, B-R-Y-A-N, and then the word free the people, uh, all one word, uh, I will pop up, and uh, I'm at maximum capacity right now, but if you want to throw me a, a, a follow, um, you know, that's one way to start off, and then, uh, you know, you can, I, I leave my profile pretty public, uh, you can chime in, and then uh, we'll reconnect from that point on that time. All right, cool. Is your picture the thing from the, uh, the office, the, if you could have started starting World War Three? that one? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, thanks. That, that would be nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank All right. You. And then uh, when you get back to me, make sure you just change the uh, covers of your TPS reports to blue. Okay. Thank you. And that's only for people that saw the office. All right, we got one more people. Uh, two more people. I apologize. Uh, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna cut you loose. Zero three four eight. I'll report back when you get a chance. Okay, man. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, next caller, ending in 1008. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead, brother. Uh, I'm hailing from the 61 Kern County in California. Uh, is there any reports that, I don't remember the website exactly, but is there any reports of a Someone who was arrested while trying to cross one of the borders who was trying to carry like a, I guess a dynamite jacket in or had it in his vehicle. Do you know if that is? Uh, that's not confirmed right now. Do you mind me asking where you heard that? Uh, to, to be perfectly honest, it was a questionable issue. Let me see if I can find it real quick. But I <coughs> doubt it. But I. Uh, it was just a weird report, and it threw me through a loop thinking, you know, what the hell, I'll be honest. But you know, and at this point, you know, there's, we've got varying degrees of seriousness here right now, man. I mean, if uh, I, I'm not the kind of guy that's down for any illegal searches and seizures, but if we've got idiots like that that may or may not, you know, be showing up to this event, um, I, I can't really blame them for kind of treating some of this the way they are right now to a degree. Um, you know, they got to take everything at face value. So if you come in there, see you hard-headed, you know, starting crap, and, uh, you know, you're under the teeth, there's obviously you're going to cause yourself some problems. And anybody like that with it, looking the capability to do what you just mentioned, uh, obviously needs to be avoided at all costs. And uh, I think what we should be doing is if anybody is showing up there still, uh, that they might want to offer the volunteer to help out law enforcement to some degree, because they're going to be a better liaison to we the people than they are right now. And uh, if they offer to, you know, maybe help out, we're not, we don't want any illegal roadblocks, but, uh, you know, people are, uh, they're kind of saying, hey, we're looking out for each other. We just don't, I don't even really care if you're armed, you're, you're, you're legal, you're cool, you know, you're, uh, you, you have a right to carry from your state, so you're coming in here with open carry state. You know, if you're doing everything legal, there's not too much they can do, but if there's a, a jackass, you know, bringing multi cocktails by all means, I hope, uh, you know, they're electing me that test and, and, and and you, again, we can either confirm or deny that right now, but, uh, you know, civilly and humanitarily, we can only say that, uh, you know, that'd be a logical thing to do right, right now. I, I just hope it's not really encroaching on the good people's rights. And if there are any assets and shows cut it out, cut it out that way, try to cause problems, that, you know, I hope they do catch them. And I hope, uh, the rest of these, uh, sheepdogs that are headed out there, three percenters and militiamen and, uh, you know, volunteers and, uh, protesters, uh, all kind of keep an eye out for each other and, uh, you know, somebody's kind of acting in that capacity like they could, you know, be a problem. Um, I think maybe the people could react and show that, you know, the people can handle their own and, uh, you know, hopefully nobody steps out of line and does something stupid. And if it were to happen, uh, I'd be keeping an eye on the type of people that can get paid to do that. I'm not too, uh, too worried about actually the hotheads doing that. I'd be more uh, worried about, um, 
you know, I hate to bring this up as well, but, you know, similar to what kind of happened in Boston, and, um, to a different degree of what other scale. Um, I hope that kind of helps answer at least my opinion on that anyway. Yeah, I, I was just worried that that was a legitimate story, and I, I you don't need to be going back crazy because I understand the case of protest. It's, and it needs to be done. I just hope that this doesn't need to be shoot out in the end. I'm hoping very important that it doesn't help us to resolve peacefully. But I'm, you know, more and more as it goes on and on, it seems like it's the tension seems to sound like it's, it's more, you know, more stressful out there, and it's just yeah. getting worse. And oh yeah, it's one thing, yeah, yeah. and it's not working everybody else here. You know, I hope this is uh, kind of therapeutic for a lot of people too, as well. You know, there's a lot of people. Uh, hovering over the TV and, and open for something and, and all over Facebook and whatnot and, uh, you know, trying to find more data on this. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of conjecture and a lot of hearsay and, and he said, she said kind of stuff that, uh, you know, we had one loopy person earlier from this call and I said, I hope somebody from funny from Black Block doesn't go through there and, uh, you know, watch them all time. I, I meant what I said. I hope that doesn't happen. Then all of a sudden somebody else chimed in and said, Oh my God! You're telling people that uh, you know black black land there with uh, monster monsters. I'm like, no, that's not what I said. You know, we're, we're crossing a lot of fine lines right now that we need to kind of keep everybody on the same page. So that's kind of why we're I'm volunteering and other people volunteer to help out. And uh, appreciate you. You know, I appreciate everybody else that's chimed in on this call over the last few days. And uh, if anybody else wants to chime in, we're, we have a couple open slots here. That you can press star six on your phone. Uh, if you got anything to say, uh, I'm happy to. I'll let you know, you'd be the next person on the call. Uh, while I was calling, that's still on 76438. So anything else you wanted to add uh, while we wait for someone else to press R6? Um, I'm also encouraging some local papers here to um, start putting the word out because I've literally seen nothing in my area on the news, why, especially for local. And Kern County is known to be the, the red splotch in the blue state. So I'm trying to encourage that as much as I can. I was a journalist by heart. I spent a couple of years in college doing that. And so I'm trying to help in that form get the word out because um, like another caller earlier, the uh, EMT, I'm working at, I'm about finishing up a 12 hour shift doing security work and you know, and finding this phone number and getting a little ear in on it. I'm passing right and taking down as many notes as I can so I can pass it along to the journalists that I know. And, you know, early face value is, is the contact line to be able to get, hopefully get some information around a little easier. I'll make sure to be spreading that with, within my community. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, please carry on as such and, uh, you know, keep doing what you're doing, man. That's exactly what we need, you know, uh, some of the other warriors, people warriors and, you know, other groups of representatives just to keep doing that. We're trying to spread the word, find more boots on the ground, get more people on the same page, you know, add in, uh, you know, administrators and, uh, you know, other leaders and such that, you know, have some reach, um, you know, and try to get as many people who can on the same page. If, uh, you know, we can get boots on the ground verifying, if we can get the ranchers on the phone to verify Richard Matt, and a lot of other people are aware of this phone call that's on a time and some point tomorrow. Um, you know, after they uh, meet at the uh, flagpole at 9, their time in the morning here in a wee bit. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. I, I, I'm going to try to get some of that, but uh, I got to see in a few hours. They're going to start coming in, so I'm going to try to get a cat nap in here in a little bit, and then, uh, you know, just continue the conversation on later. It will definitely be going uh, 8 o'clock central um, at 8 p.m., you know, later, so to speak. It's kind of weird because we've been doing it for a couple of days, so there's so many segmented versions of what we've recorded thus far. Um, the playback number for this is uh, 726 1399, and uh, you can hear this portion of the call by pressing pound 9762 pound. Again, that's uh, pound is 9762 pound to be able to play back this segment of the conversation. And in that segment, uh, we have given out the key codes for the uh, segment prior, so we're going to kind of be going working backwards, trying to get back to the first call, but that's the best we can offer right now. Um, anybody on my Facebook page, I, I played the uh, second to last uh, MP3 version of uh, this call. Um, you know, if you need to update yourself and see who's trying to interrupt the day. Um, 
I'm not a, another person in the queue. I'm going to go ahead and move on unless you have something else to say. But. Oh, no. no I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. Stay strong, everyone. We'll be through this right. Appreciate you, man. Uh, 7643, I'm going to go ahead and open you and 0610 up at the same time. Um, we should have two more people on this call. Hello, Bob. Hey, what's going on, Bob? Hey, man, this is um, Mark. Hey, I, uh, I'm up in Palatine, Illinois. I just want to give a shout out to you. I've been listening to you all night and uh, appreciate the uh, conference call that's going on. Uh, yeah. right, I've been a strange experience for you, Bob. Right, are, are you familiar with the place called the Palindrome? What's it called? Uh, it's called the Palindrome. It's a roller rink and a uh, swimming pool yeah. all in the same building. Does that building yeah. still exist? I don't think so, man. <laughs> no, I don't think well, so. I met, I, I met uh, Alice Cooper personally when I was about uh, nine years old right in that building. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, right on. Little, right? yeah I went to day camp out there, man. But uh, are you by chance in touch with the local Second Amendment group there? Uh, not no, not locally. I, you know, I, I haven't. Uh, I'm a, I'm a member of many groups on Facebook as far as uh, three percenters. I'm an oath keeper. Uh, All right, well, you're, you're one of the kind of guys I'm looking for. If you could do me a favor, do you have a time maybe? Yeah, uh, I'm driving a big truck right now. Let's see if I can pull this off. <laughs> All right, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, www. Illinois Sons of Liberty dot com. Uh, hold on. I know it's a long one. Illinois Sons of Liberty, all one word dot com. Got it. Um, yep, there's a form at that website. You can log in through Facebook to stay in touch with the majority of the people. But uh, once you find your county, uh, I'm, I'm imagining you're in uh, Two Gravel. Your, uh, uh, sorry, go ahead, Steve. Uh, uh, two Bravo, I, I believe. Uh, are you Cook County or Dane County? Uh, what is that? Cook. Cook County? Cook. Cook County. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, you actually have your own division out there. I, I'm in actually Two Bravo, and uh, I would definitely highly recommend though you find your, your uh, Cook County on there. Go ahead and add some of those people. Um, go ahead and add Two Bravo as well. And uh, okay. stay, in touch with, stay in touch with some of the guys. You, uh, once you feel comfortable, there's a team designation form that we want you to fill out. Show up at a couple meet and greets and uh, shake some hands with some fellows before you get to the next level, okay? Yeah, we'll definitely do that. I appreciate, I appreciate you. That. Appreciate, uh, your, uh, your Facebook is Brian Free. What is that? What is your Facebook page? I'm sorry. Your course is Brian with the Y B L Y A N. And then a space yeah. and type in the the word free the people, all one word, right people. Up, up, right up. Yeah, okay, I, yeah, I got it. I, I was just been riding while I was driving, paying the ass. <laughs> no, good, man. I appreciate you chiming in. Um, does anybody else want to chime in? If you'd like to, you can put a star six right now, and you're going to end up with two. Uh, yeah, anything you wanted, you wanted to add, sir? No, we'll be back with you tomorrow night, man. We drive all night long. I, I had a Couple other guys with me on the uh, on a conference call, listening up to them. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Are you heading to Ground Zero? No, I know I not. Nah, no, nah, can't make it there. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, feel free to time back in if you got anything updated, man. And please by all means keep uh, inviting some patriots over here because uh, you know, if you got anybody that's got any cause, you know, I don't care, you know, what realm, let let them know we're here trying to do the right thing and. Uh, You'll create some sort of communication code. All right. Roger, Roger that, man. Thank you. Thanks for signing in, man. Um, we still got what fifty some odd people on the call. Um, if anybody else wants to press star six, that'd be great. Uh, I'm going to end up wrapping up this call in the very near future. Uh, if anybody else wants to chime in, I'm looking for you to press star six, and uh, you'll be in the queue. Uh, Mark, I'm going to go ahead and take you off, and we just got a new wireless caller coming in. Take care, brother. All right, while I was caller 7643, you're re-engaged. Hey, Brian. 
Hey, I just talked to you not too long ago, but I just came across this whole you know, uh, Infowars.com. They had the, uh, the Clark County Commissioner Tom Collins had stated that uh, any Utahns that go there better have funeral plans. You heard about that? Yeah, yeah, I actually did see that. And then there's, uh, I don't, I don't even know why he's being such an act that right now. It's just totally uncalled for. It's totally out of line. And uh, hopefully, if there's anybody in Utah that's been paying attention. Uh, I want you to look real hard and strong and, and, and to gain that exact comment and verify it in on audio and you go ahead and you find out how to put a lead on that man's bond as soon as you want to talk. You, you can't be making dire threats to the American people and trying to be a hot shot. You might be a commissioner, sir, but there's plenty of people waiting to stand in line and knock you over the head right now. And we're trying to avoid that. You better watch what you keep saying. Absolutely. Yeah, and he also called them inbred hillbillies. Yeah, he definitely needs to watch what's coming out of his mouth right now. I, 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 I'm i trying to call a problem, and guys like him are trying to stir the pieces. I would definitely watch his intentions and connect it to, and what lobbyists are supporting him as well, because he's not speaking for uh, the American people by any means right now. Absolutely. You know, the only ones who are stirring up the shit are the, the government people. Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, so I appreciate you coming back in, man. If you want to hang for a minute, nobody else is in the queue. If you got something else to say, I'm gonna go ahead and say again. If anybody wants to chime in, we got 50 people on the call. Go ahead and press uh, star six, and uh, I'll let you I'll let you speak. Um, but if you want to continue, you know, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but uh, the whole air colder situation right now, the movement to impeach him, and uh, the lowest learner. You know, the contempt of court, a lot of stuff's going down right now in this country, you know, and how much it is, you know, and I've been following for, you know, like, sort of a year and a half, two years, and I thought, oh, yeah, they're going to do anything possible to prevent these 2014 elections to go through, because there's, there's a lot of smoke in there, you're, 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 you're 100% about to overtake. You're 100% right, and there's a lot of smoke in the areas, and look in this hand while something's going on in this hand. Um, so that's the kind of we need to keep up, man. So just keep investigating what else is going on up there up high because uh, most likely you know there's a very intention towards this to uh, keep our attention away from something going on in another region. And uh, most likely it's someone in my in my tents for parts of the land called DC. Um, absolutely, you know, nobody, no, nobody can not 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 agree with that. Eh? If you're awake right now. But, uh, you know, if, if you want to take it upon yourself, like you, you sound just as tired as I feel, bro. So, if you want to go ahead and get some rest, then, uh, the early afternoon, then, you know, try to hunt down more information that's going on. Maybe, uh, see if CNN's doing any live broadcast on their, uh, on their second and third, um, to see if there's some communist people, news uh, network making decisions, you know, while, uh, you know, the diverse, the diverted, uh, public is somewhere else right now. I, 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 I would, Highly appreciate if somebody could take charge and do something like that. Absolutely, I'll do that. I'll be on tonight too. I appreciate you, man. We'll be back about. I know I'll be back somewhere around eight central later. Um, I'm getting real close to uh, the Trooper Dog guys right now. I better know the wireless caller that's going to chime in. If you want to go ahead and mute yourself out, bro, but uh, I'm going to keep you unmuted on my end. So if you want to chime in here in a little bit, that's cool. But uh, only got one other wireless. I'm trying to get in right now. So if you can hit mute on your end, I'll go ahead and keep you in the queue. And then uh, I'm going to let this wireless, uh, wireless caller speak. Uh, wireless caller 5287, you're in the queue. Hey, brother. I've been listening for hours. My name's Taryn. I'm in Central Alabama. And uh, I'm young, and I have way too much time on my hands being disabled right now. And I've been following a lot. And you two really hit it on the point. And I want to say your five cents because you have been on point and patient with all the callers. And... You're a blessing. I was, I was losing hope because, yes, yeah, so there's a lot going on in the country, and it's right on TV. There's even the stuff that the president does and the executive orders that people are just calling conspiracy theories. They're not conspiracy. They're not theories. You know, um, it's really going to happen. And for the, for the people that I've heard, I have hope in our country again. Because when that happened in Europe, uh, 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 what was it over there, when it, uh, Europe, when the 30 million people came together to get that Muslim president out of office, I wondered how many people would do that here knowing we need to get our people out of office. And I was losing hope, and tonight I'm going to bed with hope, and I hope you get some rest. And I was also losing hope that 
God wasn't in our country as much as it should be. But I've heard so many people talking about prayers, and this is a warning. What's going on right now is a sign that we have to learn from, because all the executive orders, that the reason that we can't clown is they're waiting for a reason to declare martial law. And when they do, they already said they can take our land, our cars, us, I mean, everything's already lined up. They're just waiting for somebody to clown. That's why we need to hit the White House steps to get that bastard out of office. But I'm going to bed with hope, sir, and I hope you really get some rest because what you're doing is amazing. It really is. Thank you, Jesus. Hello? Brian? <laughs> Technical difficulties strike again for a moment. Did you get cut off again? Please hold. The next available Patriot will be with you momentarily. Well, I know you got cut off right later, and the people can still hear me. I hope people learn from this and start making preparations. Because when shit really hits the fan, they already have an executive order that say they control the networks. Everything's digital now. We're not going to be able to communicate. We're going to have to be ready to join and go. There won't be no conference calls, which this is a blessing, like I said. Uh, uh, bro, I just got cut off. I didn't mean to just interrupt you now, but I got cut off and I'm back. You, you no, you're good, because you've gotten cut off earlier, and I can still hear the callers, so I was still talking just to let other people know to use this as a warning and to start making preparations, because when all these executive orders go down, because they're just waiting for martial law, Brian, and you know it. That imminent, dominant, dominant, uh, you said imminent domain, that's martial law. Right. And they've already set everything up. This right here is to see how many people are going to jump. Did you hear what I said? What happened over there in Europe when they, with the, when that 30 million people came together to oust that Muslim president? Absolutely. I asked myself every day. People with the exactly, uh, exactly. And just to see how many people are helping this rancher. But then I had no idea that this has already happened before, but it happened quietly. Now he's doing everything that's happening in our face. With, uh, you know, him saying I have a pen and a cell phone, I'll do what I want. All the executive orders has been, you know, put in with the Patriot Act. It's all been coming to a head, and it's here. But you know as well as I do, they're going to cut the networks. When shit really hits the fan, there won't be conference calls, there won't be internet, there won't be Facebook. People need to start getting ready now, because when this is on our front door, we need to be ready. They've had a long time to put this play in order, and it's something bigger. Satan is what it is. This is the end times, and, and, and I appreciate it for for all the hope that I do have in our country right now. Right on, man. Uh, how old are you? I'm 34. I'm very unique, very passionate, and I'm the voice in my small little town. We're actually in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most churches per square mile. This town is is it's. I just know I have you know I know I know I'm one of the the golden soldiers, and I've I've been losing hope. The enemy's been attacking me because I know I know what I know and I follow so much and I pay attention and I decipher the bullshit from the truth. And tonight is is your God sent. And every one of you out there, please keep your faith and see this is a warning. God warns us. In two thousand one he took our heads to protection because we are we are letting God disappear from our country. When people are talking about whether or not we should say Merry Christmas, something's wrong. When the president right. can get on TV and blatantly disrespect the Bible and praise Islam, and people, you know, people know that he needs to get out of office, but why we don't cover the White House steps? Like I said, they want us to because it's martial law. They got them plastic coffins everywhere just to be sure it wasn't bullshitting. That's why they took him off and they they deleted him from my DVR. I had his shit recorded and it was gone. People wow. need to quit calling it conspiracy conspiracy theories and be ready. Because you know, you know they're gonna cut the networks. But right now, people can see it for what it is, and, and just like that man that said it was funny, man, you're, I mean, he's so lucky I was on the air because there's nothing funny about this. He has a point. No, we don't know how it's, it's going to end, but it's people like him. But that woman that came on and, and actually started crying and saying that she was proud to be an American, I was standing up, but Jim there broke back shouting saying you know amen and praise god i mean i just i haven't had that much hope in a long time and if it wasn't for this and, I, and god uses bad situations like what that rancher's going through to wake people up because he wants us all to come home 
But people don't listen anymore. It's all right in their face. It, they're not hiding what they're doing. Nobody, I mean, how long do people raise hell when they violated our privacy? But now all you got to do is download the Facebook app and you let them activate your camera. Read the, read the permissions. We don't yeah, have privacy yeah. anymore. We don't have rights anymore. They know exactly. They just want to know who that they need to kill off the top, who they can brainwash, and who just don't give a damn. They're not going to kill everybody. But this is all part of something bigger. You know they have they've had an agenda for a long time, and I'm not I'm not I don't hate anybody, but I, I know that the different religions, and I do believe that it has a lot to do with our president. And I know there's a lot of stuff being said on Facebook and on the internet about him, but look at what he said himself out of his mouth, and look at what they believe and what they believe for years. And watch, instead of watching YouTube, watch Syria Tube and watch babies that ain't even old enough to walk calling USA uh, pigs and swine. They're taught from the time they, they, they're born to hate us and to kill us. And then God blessed me with a personal uphand front experience with a Muslim because I had lost hope. I lost my job. I was homeless. And I thought, hell, all oh, they come over here, they get new credit, a new driver's license. I went to prison young. I had, I had kicked every opportunity in the face. So I gave up, but I was I was a sheep. I didn't know what Muslims was. I just knew they come over here, they get a new life. So how about I go over there and I'll get one? I was weeks from going to the Middle East. I married this man to get out of here. I knew him for two weeks, but I needed a new life. I can't start over here. They have it way better than I do. None of his stuff matched. His his ID didn't match his passport. And when you get married, there's a 72-hour waiting period. But we walked in there to apply for our license, and they gave us a waiver for that 72-hour waiting period. It's like they pushed. And then when I saw his stuff didn't match, I called him on the phone saying, I want a damn divorce, and I want it because uh, y'all right here, how did he get past two clerks and two judges? I can't buy a pack of cigarettes with an expired ID. And I hope they're listening to me because I'm not scared of them. And I, and I posted stuff on Facebook because if I come up dead, at least I woke up with some people. But when my God saved me from that, that situation, but I saw what I saw firsthand those two weeks I was around this man. I know what they're doing, and if you look at how many of them are here, and you look at what they've been taught and what, what, what they're about, and then you look at what the president is doing and what they're taking away from us every day, this is all part of something bigger. And I know one thing, God wants us to come home, and we are, we are the holy land. And I just, I really think this is a warning. And people like you, you're an angel, Brian. And your voice is going to be needed tomorrow. So you need to get some food, and you get some food and some gas. <laughs> yeah, really? I, I appreciate the word, man. It means a lot. We've got uh, you know, all kinds of people chiming in. You sound like a pretty spiritual guy, and I really appreciate that coming from you. I'm actually um, a woman, I'm, but I smoke so many cigarettes, I sound like a guy. But I, no, I, I know estrogen, you say, you say, you know, the, there's a lot of testosterone. Where, uh, females are emotional, but in a different way, you know. Well, I appreciate your heart, and that's where it comes down to. And, you know, I appreciate y'all, and I hope everybody starts talking to your friends. I know I have 600 people on my Facebook that is just local friends, not people from out of town, I don't know, just my people here. Can I chime in here? Yeah, sorry, sorry, just got, I'm sorry, man, you just got dropped, but uh, go ahead, sir, you're next caller in line, I was trying to two people in and uh, unfortunately it's not her. Go ahead. Uh, cool. I was on right before her, but I just want to say uh, um, I applaud her. You know, she's right on just about everything she's saying. And, uh, and God bless her. Um, but I'd like to say, you know, have you ever watched the show Jericho? That, that when Obama came in office, he immediately took off the air. Anyway, the show Jericho had so much. It was like they envisioned it before of what is actually taking place today. Now, they didn't actually detonate the nukes yet, you know, but I'm just saying, so much of that, it was true. And that in that show, they actually blew the don't tread on your flag. They actually, you know, taught you the ways to prep, you know, for what's to come. And Obama came in office, oh, he immediately took it off the air in the middle of season two. And, uh, you know, but I, I just want to say... Uh, also, I, I got something here that I'm going to read. It says, warriors are not always the fastest, 
or strongest people. Strength and speed can be developed through training. Warriors are those who choose to stand between their enemy and all that they love or hold sacred. You know, Brian, you're a damn warrior. So is everybody else out there. And, uh, and it, it is. <clears throat> right now, you know, the, the Bundy Ranch, what's going on right now? You know, this is, to me, potentially the first battle of the Second American Revolutionary War. But you know what it is? It's not actually going to be a civil war. It's going to be a war against the American people brought on by foreign bankers and the elitists going for global government. The New World Order, as Bush 1 put it, you know, George Bush 1, Bill Clinton, George Bush 2, and Barack Obama all worked for the same damn company. They work for the same company. Obama is their closer. You know, and so with anybody, all these people, you know, I've heard nothing but Patriots except for one or two guys on here tonight. And that one clown that called in that was laughing about this, he just clueless. I see many people like this on message boards. I work with many people like this. I've been called, where's your tinfoil hat? You know, fucking loony bin that needs a lot of stuff. I've been called all that. I still I'm heard that a lot. Kind of like spreading the, we're kind of like spreading the word of God, you know. I spread the word of <laughs> freedom against tyranny, you know. If you'd like to ask a question, please press 1 to add. Your request has been received. You have heard me talk? Then I've done something good, you know. And that's what it's going to take is, is people to share, people to talk. You know, they want us to suppress. They want to suppress us. They want us to shut up. That's what they want. And, you know, and I'll do the, I'll do the damn opposite. And I hear a lot of, and you know, she's right. You know, hearing this tonight. You know, and I heard earlier today. Um, I was listening to the Alex Jones show. Like I said, you know, but they have this guy. I forgot his name. But he said. Tyranny always loses. Look throughout history, it's always lost. You know, and that's true. And it will lose again here in this country. I just hope it loses before they manage to kill millions of people like they did the Jews, like Stalin did. You know? And, uh, I, I, you know, tyranny's going to lose. You know, but, you know, I, I saw a statistic where just just registered hunters in this country with one right uh, makes up 56 of if you combine all the armies in the world makes up 56 of the world armies that is talent you know what i mean this is it right now all right sorry about that i had uh, i got a couple of phones out of fire since i know communicate with other uh parts of the network but uh do you hear very much on the same thing uh based on everything Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. You know, everybody calls in and, and sees daisies. Well, you know what? The, first of all, the first bullet that's going to be shot is not going to be the Patriots. It's going to be the damn government. And But they're, you know, they're going to they're try to stage it. But listen, you know, it, it may not be daisies, but people need to keep it and understand and pay attention to who is trying to keep it civil, who is trying to keep it peaceful, and who just wants what's right. You know, and it ain't the damn federal government. People need to wake the hell up. I, I totally agree with you, brother, and I'm gonna uh, I give you a lot of support though. You wanna wrap that up and I'm gonna get out to a couple of people face to do it Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Alright man, you have a good night. Yeah, Listen I, I just wanna give more people a chance to talk. I appreciate you, man. Absolutely. Uh next one is caller five two eight seven you kind of earlier. Go ahead. Thank you, Brian. Hey, it's Terry. I was the one that you just spoke with from Alabama, and I'm going to say, well, I'll make it quick, I promise. But I want everybody that's listening, if you look at, if you start posting stuff about the government, you usually get 30 likes on a picture of your dinner, but you only get one like about something you post about patriotism or what's going on in the government. I have 600 people on my Facebook page that is all local people, and I do, I'm one that gets a bunch of likes on everything, but when I post about what's going on in our country, people either private message me, and tell me that I need to get off drugs, or they tell me that, you know, they think about it every now and then, but they're too embarrassed to comment on it. People need to give this number. Do you have a thing where people can play back and listen to all this? 
people need to start talking to your friends at the store, at church, at, at everywhere you go. Start saying, hey, it may not be a conspiracy theory, y'all. What if it is real? Start talking to people and getting the word out about what's going on and get this, all this that's been reported. Let people hear it. And if they really don't care, we'll see who cares and who don't. But people need to you know, really wake up. There's a lot of sheep out there, and I feel for them. I want everybody to go home. I don't want anybody to have to watch their kids be raped and beheaded because that is what they do to people. <laughs> and that's what, that is, is it not? Yeah, you read yeah, the Quran. Yeah, I have the Bible app and I have the, the Quran only because I wanted to see if what I was seeing was real. Because I was clueless. I told you I married one. I didn't know what a Muslim was. He told me that I didn't have to convert from Christianity, that they like Christians. Really? Okay, I fell for that. So I know if I was a stupid sheep, then there's a lot of stupid sheep. Let me go ahead and interrupt. Hold on, hold on. Before it goes to that, let me go ahead and interrupt you. You know, I give a lot of people a chance to speak, but I, I do want to kind of stand up. Um, I, I know a handful of Muslim people through, uh, from where I used to work. I was a private contractor. I was good at what I do, and when you, you do a good job for someone of a foreign descent, more often than not, many of them are more than willing to recommend you to other people. So, um, True that, I'm, I'm and that's why I wanted to. You're right, and that's why I'm I wanted to say it's not, I'm, hey, it's the majority. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pretty universal guy, so I do my best to kind of get along with everybody unless they do me wrong. Um, I, you know, I've seen live video of Christians protecting Muslims when it was their time to pray while they were in war, and I've seen that. That would be stuff. amazing, but not all and of them I, feel that way. There's I, I, radical I Muslims, and there's Muslims. There's good okay, ones, and there's that's radical. That's what needs to be said uh, uh, about all religions and uh I personally uh, look into a variety of religions, and I can't say I've found anything that I'm fully 100% uh, you know, confirmed, dedicated to, but you know, there are some ways that I lean that uh, I would like to believe were, were correct, but uh, you know, my answer on religion is, is I know nobody knows what happens when you die, so anybody that says they did can kiss my ass, because I don't believe you. Exactly so that's right. kind of where I sit, and... Uh, you know, I'm going to move oh. on to, i got two, two more people on the call unless you want to take yes, them there. For I'm time. begging you to do one thing, though. Get on YouTube and watch Obama praise Islam. Okay, there are radical Muslims and there are good Muslims, so I do. I hope I didn't offend anybody. But I want you to watch what Obama says about Islam and watch what he says about the Bible and, and think about what would Satan say. I can agree with you on that one. Uh, 773, you are... You may now ask your question. Hey Brian, this is Dave again. Um, I wanted to, to comment on on some of the stuff that was just said by the the last few people, <clears throat> especially seeing as um, on the little paradigm shift documentary series I do, I go into uh, some funny detail on a lot of dichotomies and stuff. What the one guy said. Hey, if, you could do me a favor, if you could do me a favor, I need you to hold that thought. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to, to remove you from the queue, but I've got one of the comm guys that just called in. And uh, I need to put him on right now. I, I, I want you to stay on mine. Uh, I'm just going to put him in for a second and then see what he's got to say. And I promise you're next in line. Okay? Oh, sure, man. I'm here and I'm streaming out to YouTube. All right, cool. Hang on. Cool. No problem. Uh, Come, you're, you're on. <laughs> Why not get back to him? I got a lot here. I was already comment on what the previous lady had said, but just let him talk right now. Go ahead. Speak up, man. All right, yeah. Um, the one guy that was talking before, um, when he was talking about how you know the bankers control Wall Street and Wall Street controls the politicians and all that, it's the same with the organized religions. Um, you know, if and if you look at what um, what what because you know how Jesus was against the scribes and, and the Pharisees that were in charge. If you look at his description, I, don't, I can know that for a fact, but I can say I know what I've read based on the testimonies of people that have rewritten a book that has been written a couple times over by people that translated it a couple times before it even made it into English and exactly. then there was free English. Exactly. So uh, I think on that, I can't confirm or deny anything you just said, Okay. that's what I've been told. Okay. Well, my simple point is that his description of the Pharisees sounds a lot like organized religion and, and the state. You know, people who are trying to just mess with you and control everybody instead of letting people be free. But the point is is that these banksters, um, they hide behind religion. I really, I personally don't think Obama's Muslim. I personally don't think the Bushes are, are Christians. 
um, a lot of these Jewish banksters, I don't even think are Jewish, um, these Kabbalists, they, uh, they hide behind religion so that they can put, pit the religions against each other. The name of the game is divide and conquer. They want to pit everybody against each other. I got friends from all around the world, all different types of creeds and faiths and colors and everything else, and I can say that the majority of them, they're, you know, they're just like anybody else, just regular, basically nice people. They're being terrorized by the powers that be just, uh, just like anybody. And, you know, most of these Muslims in other countries and whatever, they're just like the Christians and just like you and me and just like everybody else, just regular people that basically in their hearts are good. It's not the majority, like this lady said, that are that are radicals. As a matter of fact, the minor the very extreme minority of radicals, they get put on the news as a part of the divide and conquer. Oh, look at this group of Muslim radicals. They must represent all of the Muslim faith. And, you know, people buy into it. And, you know, most Muslims, just like most Christians, they're not out to go invade and kill anybody. They're just trying to trying to get by. And if that, if that lady who was on the call could see how Muslim women are treated, you know, in their society by the elite aristocracy of, of the Islamic world, um, you know, I don't think that lady would be so, so quick, you know, to, to say what she's saying. Because it's pure prejudice. It's like, you know, if a black person mugs a white person and the white person's like, oh, all black people are going to mug you. No, they're not. Most black people are very nice. You've got a few miscreants, but the same as white people. It's like saying, well, most of the Nazis were white, so that must mean that, you know, all white people are Nazis. No. That's a that's a game of the globalists. It's divide and conquer. They want to pit people against each other. And all I would suggest is don't fall for it. You know, that's don't fall for it. I appreciate your input. Uh, if anybody else wants to go ahead and chime in or give in any input, has any intel confirmed, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you go ahead and press star six, and uh, you'll fall into the queue so that we can get you uh, ahead of uh, everybody else um, that hasn't chimed in. So feel free to press star six on your phone if you got something to say. We want to hear from you. Uh, there's still a good 40 some odd people on this call right now, so. Anybody else wants to chime in? You're more than welcome. Um, got one more person that went back in the queue. Not sure how you just got muted, huh? Let me pull you. Muted. Wireless caller seven six four three times. How are yeah. you? Yeah. I just want to comment on what the last first time to say and the divide and conquer. Absolutely, I agree. Yeah, hey, when I was talking about the globalist elite and bankers. It was the Rothschilds family. Even Vladimir Putin himself said, we want to fix the problem, kill the Rothschilds. That's what I was referring to. And I agree with the religious aspect that, that you know, back in the 70s, Muslims didn't have all the cloaks all over their faces and heads and everything. I think that's kind of a new age thing to control the people. I agree with that. Divide and conquer. United we stand, divided we fall. That's all I have to say. No, you're, you're right on the money, and, and that's what the... Uh you know, the, the, the evildoers or the wrongdoers or the uh, frauds up top are really trying to do, you know, when we're somebody shank, shaking their finger at, uh, you know, somebody who's doing the wrong thing, they tend to kind of try to push some blame, obviously, in other directions. So we do have some people that have chimed in that are kind of on the little project just to find out what's going on in D.C. right now, you know, directly that's, you know, part of this flight of hand. They're making us look one way. What else is going on around here that, uh, we need to also be paying attention to. That's usually what you want to do. And, uh, you know, kind of like uh, when there's a drill going on, what do you do? The first thing you do is you keep a close eye on what authorities are going to be showing up at this drill to see who's going to be, uh, you know, typically instigating, you know, seven out of the ten last drills. We know how those turned out. There's usually a variety of different, uh, you know, law enforcement, quote-unquote, authorities there, no matter how fraudulent they are. When they're working in conjecture, you know, the uh, chain of command kind of gets thrown off and the responsibility gets thrown in another area. So, uh, you know, based on what we heard, there was other law enforcement authorities heading here. Uh, apparently, somebody's mentioned, uh, a few people have mentioned DHS is heading there tomorrow, while the sheriffs and politicians, hopefully more media uh, and, and people with cameras and other stream capability are there, uh, boots on the ground to report live. Um, I'm going to throw it up in the air for anybody else who wants to jump in on this call. There's still 40 people in the room. Anybody wants to press star six, you're going to 
be the next caller in line. And I'll go ahead and open the line and let you say what you want to say. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be me and this guy at 7243 for the next few minutes. Uh, <laughs> unless I can just go ahead and open up the room and scare the shit out of all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Anything else you wanted to uh, go ahead and say, man? I mean, it sounds like you're uh, a logical fellow and you're on the same page with the rest of us. And, uh, again, I like how you think, and I've met a lot of people today that, uh, you know, I hope I can communicate and stay in touch with in the future, you know? And you're, you're definitely one of them. I appreciate you keep coming back in. Absolutely. You know, uh, you know I, don't, I, I just have to be Christian myself. You know, I'm not a very good one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I... Uh, you know, I got into that watching the YouTube videos on the, the Muslim thing where the behavior Christians are Syria and all that. And, you know, I got to dig it deeper in that and I noticed, you know, first of all, who was funding the Syrian rebels with all their weapons, which would be us, the taxpayers, through Benghazi. Benghazi was a gun running place, you know, and uh, those are just paid, paid uh, you know, militants. You know, claiming to be some sort of religion. You know, hey brother, I, uh, I got a, a female that's trying to chime in. Um, I'm still absolutely well with you. I'm just gonna let this gal chime in too as well. Hang on, lot. All right, uh, eight six nine two. You just called in. Yeah, <laughs> you said fucking female, dude. Oh, sorry, bro. Hang on the line. Uh, let's watch out for the curse words. And uh, I, I see a female's name on the call already. I know exactly who this is, man. And uh, I'm, I'm so thank you for chiming in. Um, yeah, basically, we uh, we started this conversation with the uh, Illinois Sons of Liberty commander uh, earlier yesterday at around 7 and uh, decided to uh, open the doors and let other people chime in. Uh, we were trying to contact other Second Amendment supporting groups from other states and uh, spread like wildfire from there. Um, many other groups and uh, 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 administrators from other groups and commanders and such, uh, you know, set up the call tree and we got all kinds of media attention right now and uh, a variety of groups are rebroadcasting this as I speak um, and other people are chiming in from all over as well as uh, I've seen some out of uh, out of range calls I'm not sure how they're getting in uh, but they, they keep coming up uh, I'm gonna I just assume that you know there are uh, eyes in the sky so I'm kind of watch what you say right now man uh, we peaked out at about four we peaked out at about 400 people uh, earlier today, and then yesterday we only peaked out at about 130. Um, anybody who wants to hear the previous calls before this, uh, you can type uh, in your phone, the phone number 559-726-1399, and uh, audio key now for the last recorded conversation segment was uh, pound 9676. And uh, if you type that in and listen to the conversation along that time, we have to leave the number for the call prior to that one, so if that helps anybody out. Um, I'm talking to my uh, friend Guru on the line right now, right? That definitely. So uh, hopefully me? that keeps, puts you a little bit up to date on the call itself as far as the situation, uh, is what you're asking about. We've had some people that confirmed boots on the ground up to around 200 people. Uh, we confirmed that the uh, Bureau of Land Management has removed out of 500 cows, somewhere is around three, 400 of them, and they're down to like 150 cows still on the property, give or take. Um, we had somebody that had aerially uh, came over there and uh, counted them themselves, um, and now all of a sudden that whole area is in a no-fly zone. Coincidentally, uh, we've got uh, various uh, communication lines that are going to be set up uh, in the next 24 hours. Uh, as soon as I can uh, get off this phone call, I've got to start the whole call tree up again. Uh, we've got uh, aviators of different groups that have uh, chimed in that want to help out. Uh, we've got somebody who has the capability to use their own uh, personal drone, which uh, that's going to come in useful in the near future. Um, we've got a, you know, a variety of groups that have chimed in, uh, active military, um, you know, retired, at one point ranked people, um, and a variety of others that we plan on coming on board uh, for, sure, for sure tomorrow, uh, hopefully at Ground Zero or in the vicinity. Um, we did have reports that uh, some people were getting pulled over and they had out-of-state plates. 
uh, if, if they're carrying these weapons in a, in a form that or a manner that they shouldn't be. Um, we're highly uh, recommending people not do that. The uh, ranchers themselves just want uh, peaceful protesters to show up. Um, if anybody's got supplies, you're more than welcome to bring them. Bring enough to hold your own for a week or so, if possible. And uh, if you can bring extras for others, that'll come in real handy. Uh, if you're caravanning out there, we're recommending that uh, your munitions be at post, stay behind if possible. And, uh, you know, no hotheads, man, not, no hotheads right now. Everybody knows we're kind of on stand down, although you can go to super, uh, show support. Uh, we, we don't need any hotheads going in there uh, and having full battle rattle, causing any problems. That is not what the ranchers want. And uh, we're on their property, and right now, uh, chain of command starts with uh, people at ground zero. Uh, you know, Nevada has precedence, and uh, we've got a couple of uh, people that have uh, been delegated to be liaisons, and they've set up a chain of command there already. And uh, we're waiting for those people to chime back in again uh, later today in about uh, 14 hours. Yeah, that's that's legit, man. Yeah, because I just. Uh just came across on that and then, you know, it kind of blew my mind. I wanted to get your input on it and get a, get a little bit more uh, insight on it. But I was calling to the last guy that was talking, man. You know, he, he was right on the head, man. You know, one of the, one of the callers, uh, a couple before, I, you know, I, I, they've been, I didn't fully agree, or not, not even fully, I really didn't agree with much he had to say, but, you know, the next couple callers that called in, you know, especially the last guy, and uh, I was listening to him talking about the beheading and, uh, of the Christians, and, and I, I, I was thinking right to myself, but who funded it? And he said it right there, and, you know, he's a wise man. And it's always good to come on and, you know, socialize with people that uh, that are wide awake and, you know, outside of their bubble. But, uh, yeah, great thing, dude. You do great things, man. And, you know, I was just tuning in. I just wanted to actually just put a little insight on that, you know, on uh, the organized religion. It's just the same story told over and over and over and over again. You know, everyone energy science is, is a science is, is a is a religion told into a different factor. Energy, you're, everyone has energy. That's the soul. It only can be moved out or transferred. And it's just, it's, it, we all just have to get in with our inner selves and connect with everybody as a whole. Man, we're all brothers and sisters from the same Creator. But you know, somewhere along the lines, you know, things get divided up and people point fingers at certain people and. That's, exa that's exactly what he said. That's divide and conquer. That's what they want to do. That's that's their purpose. They want to they want to they want to pin us against each other, create genocide, evil, and just and just sit back and, and just watch what they created. But yeah, man, that's that's uh, that's cool. I wanted to give a little information on what was going on. I I saw your post about it, and you know, it was kind hey, of wondering. Let me ask you this, bro. What are you doing in about twelve hours? Twelve hours. Uh, not the best of math, my man. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's 6 p.m. Yeah. Man. Uh, uh, not a brother. Probably not a whole lot, dude. Uh, I need you to get in contact with me around that time frame. I've got something I need to put you on. If you could clear your day from that point, um, I need you for a couple hours. Is that cool? You want to come by? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, brother, I'll come by. All right. Catch me uh, at, at around 6 p.m. All right. Not man. All right, ten four. You can stay online and all that. Um, I got another caller that's in the queue right now, so I'm gonna let them talk for a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna yeah. keep you close, man. Uh, I know exactly who you are, and I know exactly how uh, you can help the cause, man. If you got uh, a couple hours tomorrow, um, I could definitely utilize you. Is that okay? I got, I got whenever you need me, brother. Whenever I'm free for you, I'm, I'm there, man. Yeah, and you know I trust you completely, man. But uh, I, I'm giving you a couple promotions just because I, I know you and. Uh, and, and I know where your mindset is, and I know how you think, and uh, I trust you completely. You're not giving me any reason not to. So uh, I'm actually going to probably give you a second in command uh, as far as this conference call goes tomorrow. But uh, let's talk in 12 hours about that, okay? No doubt, brother. All right. Um, for, uh, I'm going to open the line. Uh, if you get disconnected, forgive me, man. Uh, Guru, uh, again, 12 hours from now, we got to talk. Um, yeah. I'm going to open up the lines for another person right now. Uh, nine two nine eight. Uh, are you still are you still in the queue? Yeah, brother, I'm here. Go ahead. Um, okay, I'll teach you. I'm driving in um, from Southern Alabama. I've been on the road since about uh, I don't know about two thirty yesterday afternoon. Somewhere near Oklahoma now. Um, where do where do we need to go? People that are coming in, people that are driving that away from across the country. Where are we needed? What are we needed to do? Where do we need to head to? 
Um, you know, we're trying to find some rally points. As far as we know, ground zero uh, is still open, and the uh, farmers, I'm sorry, the ranchers are requesting that uh, at 9 o'clock their time this morning in a few hours uh, that they meet at the flagpole on their property. And I, uh, you know, again, we're trying to get uh, boots on the ground, waiting for them to wake up. Um, it'll start getting right around there real soon. So uh, hopefully somebody else chimes in and can, and, and can bang that out for you. I, I would highly recommend uh, any sort of navigation tools or equipment that you have to get to that Sunday ranch uh, via Google Maps or whatever it is. Um, you know, you go right ahead, but don't come in hard and heavy, man, if you can. Uh, Oh, no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a little bit about myself and what we're what we're trying to do. Um, I'm a United States Army Steer School instructor. I'm a civilian contract instructor for the United States Army Steer School. Um, I also run a Facebook page called American Warrior Revolution. Um, man, we're strictly there. There's several of us that are coming. We're coming because we want to put out some high quality instruction to the people that are there. It's just training and simple stuff and I mean, we're not coming into uh, we, we just want to be supportive we want to pass some of our knowledge to those that are willing to accept it and um, and just help in any way we can you know what I'm saying there's several of us that are coming from the from the Sears school um, we just want to help you know what I mean so we're coming in with you know kind of blind as far as where we're needed to go or what we're needed to do I've heard some stuff about um, people congregating or meeting at one of the tribal areas um, I don't know if that's still on, or I, I, I've got a phone number to, to get get a hold of them. But um, yeah. uh, you know, it, one person called in and recommended that, said that they spoke to someone in the office just before it was closing, and said that they have offered that. Um, I don't know that exact situation. I, I would still consider trying to get that uh, as a rally point. Uh, as as of right now, that was a dedicated rally point number one, but we we, we don't have anything totally confirmable until we can get a hold of them uh, when they open and, and I'm and, and it is the weekend so I'm not sure what their hours are uh, but we'd like to get a hold of them uh, if anybody can catch anybody from the res that can uh, maybe go to someone in charge at the res and, and verify that um, that'd be huge right now so if, if, it, if and when you get there um, I would actually still let them find open the door and uh, if you are in contact with more boots on the ground, please get them in on this call because we need uh, live people that are there on the inside of the circle. Um, I'm just going to recommend, you know, no BDUs if you're coming in the caravan. No, no, Again, no, we're, I, all, we're, we're all we're, we're all civvies, and um, we're not going to we're not going to represent ourselves, you know, as as army contractors. Again, we're civilian. We're not enlisted in the army. We're civilian contractors for the army, but uh, that's not what we're here to do. We're just here to pass out some, some instruction and. Some Give some training to those who are wanting it, and uh, and help in any way that we can. I like I said, I, I, is it okay if I publish uh, the ad for for this conference call on American Warrior Revolution? Uh, absolutely, uh, you've got for full range rebroadcast it, repost it, uh, request you know other people to repost it. However, you want to go about doing that, um, we are, we are fully open to that idea. We want. Uh, active duties. We want more veterans that are in touch with active duties to kind of keep us posted on, uh, you know, what, what what are you guys thinking over there? We know that you. I know a lot of veterans, man, and uh, I, I work with the veteran business run by veterans, and uh, all of our clients are pretty much veterans, and a lot of active duty that we're in touch with. So a lot of them have chimed in uh, over the last few days, and uh, we, we want to hear more from guys like that. Also, just to get some feedback. We know that people are, are uh, at a point where they know that they may have to choose sides and uh, we want to make sure that we get as many people on board you know, to let them know that they're not alone so other people that are going to choose the right side, which is really the people no matter how you look at it and doing the right thing that's all we want. That's the American way it should be. You know, we, we know who the infiltrators are now. You know, we know who the bad guys are now and uh, you know, it's kind of sad. It's kind of exposed. You know, um, it's really unfortunate that you know things are coming down to what they are coming down to. This is a potentially volatile situation, uh, which is really what we're trying to avoid. Um, all, all I can you know say say uh, is we're still trying to get a lot of uh, surrounding sheriffs on the same page. If anybody can still try to reach out to surrounding county sheriffs and get some feedback or let them know about this call so they can chime in or or at least come back with what that sheriff might have said, um, that'd be huge. So we still got 50 some odd people on this call. Uh, 
So if somebody can help coordinate that, that'd be great. Um, okay. I'm going to let you talk for one more second. I'm just going to remind, hang on a second. Uh, I'm just going to remind people that if you're still on this call and you're one of those 50 people and you want to speak up, have anything to say, any updates, uh, I see some names that have not come forward. Uh, you know, feel free to press uh, star six right now and uh, you'll be able to chime in. But uh, yeah, go ahead and rip. If there's anything else you need to say, bro? Well, I'd like to put this out again. Um, with American Warrior Revolution, anybody that's listening, if that's a good way to contact us. If you're interested, if you're there and you're interested in, in getting some, some training from us while we're here in town, it's free, no cost. It's, we're here for you guys. Um, a good way to contact us is there at the page. And um, we do have, we are bringing, you know, our personal weapons for anybody who's there that doesn't, may not have there, that wants to train while we're here. Um, all that's open, so just uh, just get in contact with us if they're, if they're on the page, and we'll help you know any way we can. Sure, man. I mean, with your notion and your capabilities and your background, I, I just want to reinforce uh, what's been stated again is that you know uh, through point A to point B, you know verify that you're adhering to those laws the best you can, man. You know keep uh, I know, out of the and separated. Probably want to keep them in the trunk. Um, you're coming there as a peaceful protester on hot ground. Um, I'd like you to go ahead and chime back in. Uh, we'll chime back in when you do get there. Um, I'm jotting down your information. Um, I'm going to add you to the boots on the ground group, and uh, I'm going to be texting you some more of the boots on the ground guys. So once we get, you know, more people out there uh, that are able to kind of give us some feedback of exactly what the hay is going on right now, um, you know, that'd be great. You're headed there, so I'm kind of counting on you right now, man, to uh, you know. Take a little charge in the social media initiative, as you have, obviously. But uh, you know, go ahead and uh, give us some background when you get down there, okay? Roger that, absolutely. Thanks for what you're doing, right. man. Um, you as of right now, your comms ten, okay, bro? Roger that. Thanks. Yep. Bye -bye. Uh, got five people that just keyed in, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the call forward. Anything else you want to chime in with, real quick, bro? No, man. That's all I have. Um, we're here to help and, and just, you know, right there, everything comes out just, uh, you know, just like the way it started, peaceful, constantly, and we uh, hope to make a difference. Thank you, good buddy. Uh, as of right now, you are boots on the ground, comes 10, okay? Gotcha, man. Thanks. Uh, you bet. Um, moving on to the next caller. What's the next question? Uh, 9838, you've got, uh, you got the quote. Hey there. Uh, my name is Paul. I'm, uh, I'm from the Bay Area in California, and uh, I just wanted to thank you for, for what you've done. I, I've been listening to the uh, conversations for the last few hours. A friend of mine turned me on to what was going on. I, I've been watching, uh, of course, you can't see this in the mainstream news. Uh, I found this out on Drudge in a, a couple of the Facebook groups I belong to. And it just it blew me away Some, a story this big. It's just getting buried and, and not even a mention because of the state of our, our country is in. You know, it, it's just it's, it's disgraceful, and it just shows me that there's part of a master plan. How uh, they want they want us to be sheep and be silent, and and I'm glad that something like this, you know, it's going to take something like this and set it off. Where you have, I, I was amazed at the initial uh, outpouring, how many supporters uh, came around, uh, Mr. Bundy, and his life and uh, it, to me it was very encouraging because where I live I'm surrounded by liberals and, and they're basically uh, useful idiots you know they they uh, they're they're in a total, they're, they're brainwashed and, and you can't even have a, a logical discussion with these people and uh, I worry about you know our country it's, it's just in, in the last I, I never would have imagined I'm 43 and I never would have imagined in my lifetime that we could have followed so far so fast. Just everything across the board. I mean, we're a laughing stock in the international community. We got to push this communist, uh, bisexual, uh, who is, is intent on bringing this down. And he just wants to spread our country. People are, are, are oblivious. What's going on? And it, 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 it really makes me sad. And tonight, I, I felt a little glimmer of hope when I heard a lot of the different stories going on for people and uh, how 
everybody's pulling together for for what's going on. It's just, it just it gives me hope. Awesome, man. Uh, I, I'm really glad that it does that. You know, at least for a few people. You know, like I said, I, if, if it wakes more people up, if it gets more people on the same same, same page, if it's got a therapeutic effect, um, then we're doing something right. You know, if it calls the situation, then I, I think that's a good thing, man. And uh, I appreciate you chiming in. Obviously, you're a patriot and you got a good heart, and you're uh, you know you're, you're following along. That, that means a lot. How long have you been on the call? I've got uh, just about ten o'clock this evening. No, I, so you've been I, on pretty much I, I the whole time. I moonlight as a, uh, a personal uh, driver, and uh, I, I was able to get into the, the conference, and then uh, I was picking up people, and I was telling them, I said, hey, do you know what's going on over in, in Nevada? And they're like, no, I had no idea. So I, I filled them in, and then I let them listen to the broadcast, and they're like, oh, my God. I, I told them, I said, what you guys have to understand, this is history in the making. I mean, imagine if we had this kind of organized coordination, uh, you know, in the American Revolution. I, I, that's, that's all I keep thinking about is like, okay, we're, we're, this is something totally, you know, they talk about whenever something breaks in the Middle East, everybody's using Twitter and, and, and however they, they're getting the stories out, the Arab Spring, whatever. But this, this is something I was really amazed. I'm glad that, you know, it has been shut down. But uh, it's a way of communicating and getting people across. Because when, when I first started listening, I, I couldn't even understand it. There were so many people talking all at once, and it was really important to call them. Because uh, somebody was talking about uh, somebody got shot or there were shots fired. So I was trying to make sense of all this, but uh, I like that you got everybody under control, and, and uh, you're, you're a very good moderator. I want to commend you on that. But, yeah, I'm concerned about this country. And, and you know, I was talking to my friend, and, and she and I both want to come down there. You know, we're in California. Um, I don't know if that's going to be possible uh, with me. Uh, you just dropped out. Are you still there? Hello? All right. Your phone just went dead on me, buddy. I'm going to keep you on for a couple, uh, you just dropped. All right. Uh, I got, I didn't, that wasn't me, man. My hands were nowhere near the mouth, but uh, I have to let somebody else in. Uh, if you want to chime back in, there's only a couple people in the queue, so sorry that you got dropped. You, I don't know if that was your, uh, your end or what, but uh, next person in the queue, 4201. Yeah, so uh, my name's Larry. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. First, a quick story. Well, I've been unemployed and no income for the last two years, but I've been listening to Glenn Beck, so I've been storing food. So I called my boys last night. I have two boys, 20, uh, 19 and uh, 23, and I warned them. They were both getting ready to go out, as young guys do. And I told them what was going on, and I, I texted them a few things. And I said, and as broke as I've been, I've, I've still mustered up enough food that um, the, the three of us could live for a while and water. And I told him, I, I've always told him this. I said, if things get bad, get to dad's house. And uh, I told him, I said, this this could be something that, that, you know, I said, I wish I could go. And my dad, my son, my oldest said, we'll get in the car and we'll go. But I've got $75 to my name. I, I have no income right now. So, uh, and haven't for two years, um, or I'd go. Um, and I'm in Ohio. But my question, uh, that was my testimony, I guess. My question hey, uh, is, hang, on, hang on, one, hang on one second, bro. I'm gonna. I, I hate to interrupt people, but uh, if you're on Facebook or any of the families on Facebook, there's a, a Patriot Underground page that is currently uh, letting people utilize that page right now. Is setting up some sort of uh, uh, Underground Railroad. I, I would, you know, saying it like that, but you know, they're basically offering rides. It's a ride share. Um, if you want to chime in and, and, and put a call out that you could use a ride, if, if one of the guys wanted to, maybe. Uh, or, or two of the guys wanted to just go and you could still keep someone to, you know, cover the fort at home. Um, if that helps you out at all, I hope it does. Carry on. Yeah, okay. Um, my question is, is for the people that can't go, and I think this could be strategic depending on how bad the uh, situation has to hold. Um, what can we do here? Should we start, I mean, as tea parties, I think we should start having peaceful demonstrations. I said something on Facebook last night. The uh, you know we had Occupy Wall Street, and they, and they acted like idiots. 
as patriots to get together at our state capitals. At, well, I'm in Columbus, Ohio, so we have the state capital and our, uh, you know, the Columbus capital. I think we should start getting together and rally and show support. Plus, if they know we're gathering in numbers, it'll they'll have to keep an eye on us so they won't put uh, boots on the ground. You know, they'll have to keep an eye on the whole country. Um, what, what can we do? As, as somebody, I know this is probably very early, but I think we need to start mobilizing and getting rallies together across the country in support of the Bundys. Um, I, I'd actually like to go ahead and uh, put in an honorable mention to the uh, the impeach Obama overpass people. Um, they chimed in earlier, both the national administrators were on throughout the portions of these calls and uh, definitely said, you know, this, I think it's time to start the you know, if you can chime in and you can't make it there, well, the next best thing is maybe you could show a little support and help spread the word. You know, if, if people are, uh, you know, spray painting on some, you know, old blue sheets or whatever and, you know, can put, uh, you know, wh whatever they feel that they need to put down within reason, I guess. You know, we support the ranchers and yada yada, you know, uh, shoot put up this conference call. <laughs> you know, if we can get people out there that can't be boots on the ground and are heading there and that are, uh, just chiming in and want to do something. Um, you know, we're trying to set up a crowdfunding uh, in, in the near future to be able to send at least uh, guys that are taking charge and uh, are in administrative type positions there, boots on the ground. Um, last thing is that group did, I mean, okay, maybe it's not the next bad thing, but you know, one of the alternatives if you there, if you want to show support, we need some people at the overpasses, you know, waking people. Uh, the situation down there, but people are trying to do the right. Thank you, and God bless you. Uh, God bless you too, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I've got two more people in the queue. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to chime in for while I got you unmuted? Uh, no, no, sir. Just God bless you guys, and I'll be praying, and um, I support 100%. Uh, well, we really appreciate you, man, and uh, you know, keep putting, uh, keep putting the word out that we're, we're trying to do this more people up. I had tears in my eyes when I was telling the story. I've, I've done the best I can to raise my boys, and they, uh, they know. They know. That's awesome, man. Uh, we'll keep being patriot, man. And, uh, go ahead. The, the younger generation is somewhat scary. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with this, but I feel something big could happen. You know, and when they talk about war, you know, they say we're war weary. What happened? To, what generation? What did this generation of, of the World War II do? They chipped in. Uh, we, we gave. I mean, you hate to say it, but we lost. You know, what five thousand lives in, in in the two wars. But they used to lose that in a battle, and you you don't want to lose a single soul. But you know what? Sometimes you have to fight. Sometimes you have to fight because there's bad people out there, and they, and and if somebody doesn't think that we can fall, and that's the biggest misnumber. You know, the biggest thing that I'm worried about. I'm not worried about, even though our commander in chief is 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 scary about the the foreign stuff. It's 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 we could Rome fell from within, and, and we're more in danger of and and you know I I believe he's been trying, and we all know this. He's been trying to collapse the system to bring in full-fledged full socialism, and there is no way I can live. I, I'm to the point, and I, I remember 20 years ago people saying, oh, you know, this, this or that is going to happen. I, I'm kind of trying to watch what I say, but, you know, I, I'm to the point, I can't live with these people anymore. When, when you say, and I know this is a funny, this is just one little thing, but I've seen it in three states when they're starting to say that a transgender student can walk into any bathroom that they want to and, and it, you know what I'm glad my kids aren't in school if my kid I put them in Christian schools for a while but if, if I cannot live with that I, I, I could, who says that a little boy that thinks he's a girl first of all somebody put that in their head uh, hey, 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 bro, uh, I need to go ahead and interrupt you I've got a couple other people that were uh, yeah, waiting for I, I, I just can't live with them anymore I, I, you, we just can't yeah. No, hey, I, I, I hope this has been therapeutic for you, man. You tell me, uh, you know, great patriotic people, and I'm, I'm glad that you're proud of your family and you're, you're proud of what we're trying to do here, man. I, I want you to stay in tune and, uh, you know, keep getting other people in here. Let them know, you know, put it on speakerphone. You, you realize this is happening right now. You know, a lot of people don't. So use what tools you've got available. You know. I'm only going to call about 10 minutes, so I reposted it as soon as I saw it and I got on. I appreciate you, man. I'm going to move on to the next guy. I really appreciate you, and uh, thanks for keeping your kids awake, all right? Yep. 
uh, wireless call at 0245. What can we do for you today? I need to address a few things. I don't know if I have found any validation to it, but I've heard reports as far as children being brought to the perimeters of this function. Um, I don't know if that is true. If it is, then you know, you're looking at a situation that's balanced on the hair trigger. You are correct. <laughs> not, and we're you know, highly not recommending it. Yeah, it's not a spectator sport. You know, it's right now, depending on how we carry this out, significantly impacts how it can unfold. I agree. Uh, you know, simply right now we want peaceful protesters, and uh, right. if you're coming representing anything but, uh, transform yourself into a peaceful protester for peace. I mean, exactly, but, but the, also the other agenda too is this, it is a huge, even though you have immediate blackouts in the major networks, it's still getting out to the local news network, you know, as far as the newspapers. <coughs> it's being covered by a couple that I've seen. With that in mind, <laughs> it is a huge PR battle. You don't want to feed ammunition to the media networks by leaking out, which is obvious. We see it going on everywhere. You don't want to have a kid showing up or a kid popping up in an image, which, as we know, images speak louder than what you can say in words. You don't want to have a kid pop up in an image and that pop up out to the main media with the way that they tend to twist things. That will completely discredit every effort and motion that you're that we are pulling together for this. Yeah, you know, I, I I agree with you to a lot of this. Um, and uh, it's actually um, I Okay, we're getting some okay. Skype distortion. Wait, well, I can hardly understand what you're saying. It sounds like it's almost as if you've got something intervening with your circuitry, but oh, or not. If you can hear what I what I'm saying, I'll make it short and sweet because I got a lot of other things I'm working on. Um, you need to have with the with the vast numbers of people that are there. You need to have sections broken up. You need to have points point leads to organize and orchestrate everything. You control the chaos because that's what they're feeding off of. It's a, like I said, it's a pivotal moment. Pivotal moment. If you don't control this, you literally can invoke, as we've seen in other states that have tested martial law in the beta form. You don't want this to explode and backfire. You've got other world events going on right now that can simply flip the table over and go against us. So. You have to keep the world events currently right now going on in mind while this event is being taking place. I think Brian got dropped again. He'll be right back, I'm sure. We periodically get to completely blocked from coming in. Technical difficulties here. We appreciate your patience. Please bear with us. I'm still connected uh, to the Skype feed for the conference call. Um, still streaming out on Google Plus, but it seems like there's some uh, weird uh, technical difficulties on their end that um, they are troubleshooting because <clears throat> I'm just dialed into this call as a caller. You know, the uh, great things about throwaway phones is that uh, when people try to hack into your line, you have an alternative source to get back on the call. Call. So I burned through two phones so far during the course of this action. Fun and games. Um, number three. 
Uh, sorry about uh, <laughs> me leaving you hanging there, bro. Uh, you were in the queue and uh, you got cut loose because uh, I got cut loose. Um, you just disconnected yourself from the chat, which is fine. If anybody else wants to come on in right now, you can press star six and you will be the next caller in the queue. If you press star six right now, I can go ahead and get you in on this call and we can speak freely um, or forever hold your peace. I don't have anybody chiming in right now. It'd be sure nice to see. We still got uh, 38 people on the call and somebody just chimed in. Uh, another person just chimed in, so uh, hang tight, uh, 7519. You're next in line, uh, 0541. Go ahead. Uh, yes, my name is Leisha Smith. I'm calling you from Blacksburg, Virginia. Uh, I had uh, a post on Facebook this morning from Oath Keepers where they are collecting money for food and water for the effort. Is that legitimate? Uh, I can't confirm or deny. If you want to uh, you know, go kind of by the mantra that's following this call for the last couple of days, and uh, you'll have to forgive me and excuse my friends. This is a term uh, used amongst a lot of veter veterans where I work. Usually when I ask a question like that, they tell me to GTS, and I know to uh, get on my computer and Google that shit. Um, I, would, I would highly recommend you know getting a hold of the Old Keepers group, finding anybody that can confirm that. And then uh, if you want to go ahead and get back to, to uh, this call and uh, announce that, uh, you're more than welcome to. Well, it says Action Alert Boots on the Ground needs donation for food and water at Bundy Ranch standoff. And uh, uh, yeah, most likely it's just going to come down to you know, we can get a lot of people to support that. Who's going to take the responsibility for the transaction and getting it to the right place? If uh, as of right now we're not positive, but we think uh, Ground Zero has been kind of closed off from all main routes. Um, so if that can be you know delivered via PayPal to the rancher. That might be fine and dandy, but I don't know if he's even able to get back and forth or to have anybody run for supplies at this point. So uh, I would I would say, although that sounds like a, a possible alternative, if this keeps uh, this keeps on for a couple of days and we get in contact with some of the uh, chain of command there, we, we'd be happy to do that. But as of right now, anybody who's coming in as a uh, peaceful protester, uh, we highly recommend bringing in extra supplies and enough to hold their own for a week. So you don't have a fund set up. There's not an official fund. Uh, no, but you know, not to say that we wouldn't like to obviously see that happen. I, I'm just, uh, you know, thinking ahead and, and trying to determine how we would get that to the right people. Um, when we should probably consider just turning that into supplies and getting the supplies there, um, you know, for people that are heading there. So, uh, you know, if, if you think you, you know, you've got the capabilities and uh, responsible enough, to maybe you head up an operation like that. Um, or if both keepers are already on it, um, feel free to you know, take part of it. Anybody else, if, if you want, if ma'am, if you want to call back and chime in once you can confirm that something like that's been established, I'll, I'll, I'll let you ahead of a couple other people if you'd like to re-announce that at any point. Well, I, I sent them five hundred dollars, and then after I hit click uh, send, I thought, geez, I probably should have confirmed that that was legitimate before I did it. But you know, with oath oath keepers, I because they were using the right terminology with the boots on the ground, so I thought it was teamed up with it, and then I thought, well, I hope I did that correctly. So I will do some checking on that and get back. I do have a friend in leadership in those keepers, and I'll check on that, and if I find out anything, I'll let you know. Thank uh, you. No problem. No problem, ma'am. Since I've uh, kind of taken a position of responsibility, at least for this phone call, um, I'm sure I can acquire you know some more resources and uh, the appropriate person to maybe you know, handle the uh, financial aspect of that and get that uh, to some people that I'm in communication with on the comm line and uh, boots on the ground squad, uh, you know, maybe get this in their hands. Uh, there's a couple of people that I do know personally uh, that are on scene that are trying to sleep right now. Um, a couple more hours they'll be meeting at the flagpole. So uh, I know, you know, there's some security units there that have chimed in. There's uh, definitely, uh, you know, some comms guys that are trying to uh, get, get directly in touch with more of the people that are there. and. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact current situation, so I can't really, uh, you know, I can't get, get really uh, down to other than I know that some of the people there, and hopefully they'd be willing to accept maybe a future PayPal transaction, which I could probably coordinate. So if you can report back, uh, you know, once you've got anything that's maybe already been set up and you're able to do a little background on them, uh, that'd be great. Other than that, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put, put that as priority um, to maybe set up something this and, and, and help handle it personally. 
Uh, well, just real quickly, I just jumped on the call about 10 minutes ago um, through News Ninja. They were posting your number and, and saw his post. Um, is this an ongoing call that will be going on all day to take information? You know, I, <laughs> this uh, this started as a call, and just to give you some background on what's going on then, on the, um, you know, this started off, I, I, uh, I represent uh, HR Recruiting Division, the uh, Illinois Sons of Liberty. It is the Second Amendment group. A uh, highly constitutional group that's open to anyone, um, you know, as long as they're here uh, legally, and uh, you know they're not uh, a, a criminal, uh, you know, so to speak, in, in various aspects. But uh, I just started off as a simple conference call uh, between a couple of close friends that you know are concerned, and uh, we decided to open up the call to uh, other uh, similar Second Amendment type groups across the nation, and then uh, that just blew up into uh, uh, you know a storm. We've got major. Uh, Major players in the game of freedom, you know, that have chimed in, and uh, administrators of many different groups and leaders of all kinds of everything—the bikers, EMTs, active duties, uh, the, you know, retired vets, uh, you know, just so many aspects right now. You know, it's really awesome to see, and yet somewhat hard to comprehend. But uh, you know, awe-inspiring and uh, you know, very uh, patriotic. You know, what's going on right here? So um, it's just turned into that. You know, it's spread like wildfire, and. Uh, as far as you know, answering your direct question directly, uh, I intended this on going to sleep over four hours ago, <laughs> but uh, obviously we've got you know 50 some odd people on the call, so I'm just going to stay on until uh, nobody's got anything to say, and then uh, try to get a couple naps in and uh, take care of some things tomorrow. I've got a, a person I'd like to appoint second in command that I'll be meeting up with in a few, uh, well, ten hours or so. And, well, uh, I'm heading know. down to a, a large meeting of. Uh, a bunch of potential patriots and people who might donate um, here just in, in an hour, and I need to get off the call, but I was going to try to pass along some information. Just wanted to say briefly for the people watching through YouTube here, um, I've had this connected since a little before 1 a.m. Central Time, and Google Hangout allows a maximum of eight hours of uh, record time, so I'll record at least to that. So if after the eight-hour mark this thing suddenly goes poof, that's why just so you're warned. As far as I can tell from my uh, perspective, ma'am, yes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start another uh, comm line, and if you're willing to take a little responsibility, I'm going to uh, add another row of people here uh, to people that are willing to help out with any sort of crowdfunding. Um, you might if uh, I hang on to your number, and uh, would you be willing to take a uh, leadership position in that aspect of this crowdfunding? Well, I'd, I'd, I'll... I'll try. I've got to go to this ninth district convention today, and I'll be down there. And th there'll be a large group of people down there, and some of them might be interested in this. And I'll be—you'll uh, be able to get me, and then you won't be able to get me. I don't know how the internet service down there will be or anything, but I'll take as much information as I can, and then uh, I'm going to contact my guy in Oath Keepers, and uh, I'll see what I can do. I don't want to make any promises because I'm going to kind of be. I don't know how my reception is going to be today, but you know I'd love to help any way I could. So yeah, hang on to my number for sure. And, right, and right. Uh, uh, let's put it like this: in about 13 hours, as uh, when we plan on re uh, appearing this call uh, at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, if, if you could let some of these people know this number, it'll be the same call-in information. Um, you can also find me directly uh, if you type in Brian B R Y A N space, free the people, all one word, I pop up real fast on Facebook. Uh, I've exceeded my friend limit, um, but if you want to follow me for a while, I'm going to be uh, removing some people I have not been in touch with for a while, and uh, adding uh, approximately 140 patriots that uh, have tried that in me or have followed me <coughs> over the past, of course, in the last two days. But uh, I've got your number. I'm gonna, I am I have you under a certain, uh, you know, uh, uh, comms, comms line now under crowdfunding, so uh, once that's accomplished, um, you're going to be one of my go-to people on that, so you can help spread that information to the appropriate people. Fair. Well, uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, good luck All with right. everything, and I'll be checking in. Like, if if I can get on, I'll definitely be back by 8 p.m. Now, it will be the same phone number and the same code. That is correct. Okay. All right. Well, I'll give that out also. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for everything you're doing. We really, you know, we're monitoring, and we really appreciate what you're doing. Um, All right, appreciate you right back. God, right, right. God bless. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thank you, man. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next caller then. Uh, thank you, man, for tuning in. Uh, I'm 
can go ahead and open up the line. I got two people on hold and uh, 7519, you're up. Hi, you're from North Florida. Just wanted to let you know that our family is praying for the Bundys. We support them 100% believe that the overreach of the federal government is out of control and that they need to be reined in since the first start. Um, I have read An American Crisis by Thomas Paine and I believe that it is the time for all good men to, uh, to take a stand and not be a sunshine patriot. Thank you for what you're doing. We appreciate everything. If you can find a legitimate source to um, donate money to to spend towards the ranchers for food, water, whatever it is that they need. If you could please post that, we'll be happy to donate. And again, thank you for everything that you're doing. And pray for Bundy and Patriots that are out there supporting them. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, I appreciate your kind words, man. You keep spreading the word out there and let them know we're here trying to do the right thing and uh, trying to help uh, Calm a, a, a possibly volatile situation the best we can, you know, with what little we have at this moment. We will, and thank you again. We're definitely praying for you, definitely. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and push to the next caller, uh, 2486. You're on. Hey, um, good morning. This is uh, Wayne Dupree of News Ninja 2012.com, Wayne Dupree.com. Um, actually, I woke up to uh, your information that was uh, being put on Twitter and I've been tweeting it out for the last uh, hour and a half with um, your phone number. So that's probably where uh, some extra numbers that you were getting getting calling in. So um, I, have, uh, I have a question from someone that is driving up or heading there. They wanted to know uh, any places to stay when they got there, uh, they haven't heard of uh, anywhere around or uh, any logic or anything. Is is there any place that is um, close to um, lodging for them if, by the time that they get there? Uh, we did have a couple people that chimed in. Uh, I only started taking uh, better notes uh, three segments of this call ago. Um, you're going to have to do some backtracking. Um, I'm going to give a playback number right now for this call. And then when you're playing back the last segment, we also left the previous code for the previous call in there. So you can trace this back to literally, I believe it's four or five different segments of this entire conversation. But it's 559-726-1392. Uh, and the last key code is uh, pound. 9676 six pound and that will take you to the last segment. If you listen to that segment, it will give you the code for the prior segment and so forth. But, uh, you know, there's a lot that's been going on, man. And uh, we basically had one person that chimed in said that they spoke with somebody um, that was at the tribal office for the nearest local uh, Native American reservation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give that number out right now for everyone. To, to, I don't want anybody to harass these guys. You need to treat them with the utmost respect because they've actually, from what I've been told, is offered um, you know people a safe zone for any uh, refugees or uh, people headed there that might need a, a stopping point or a rally point. But the number was uh, 702, sorry, 702-865-2790. Um, if you Google that and, and look up reservation, you should get a tribal office and uh, do some more research from there. But if anybody headed there, uh, I would love for them to call back and kind of let us know what's going on at that uh, at that section. As of right now, it's been kind of quiet um, over the course of the evening, but uh, we were told that that was a safe zone and it's about 10 miles away from ground zero with that also. That's pretty much all I got right now. Does that, uh, does that help you, uh, 2486? Yeah. Um, and so um, another question would be with with the situation that is there right now, and I hear um, I hear some of the people that are coming on to the phone this morning saying that they're on their way. Um, again, I, I'm just waking up two hours ago on the East Coast, so a lot of your information, and I 
I uh, thank you for what you're doing because you've been on here for a while. You've been going and going with everything uh, that's going over there right now. But what is the perceived outlook of um, how long that this might last? Because from 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 reports, and probably you can help me out. From reports, uh, they are taking uh, they're taking his livestock already and is that true or not that they're taking his livestock um, anyway so I can only give you a, a based on what people have told me and, and you can only take that with a grain of salt right now man okay. um, it, as far as confirmed I'm looking for pictures and video but uh, somebody did explain that they were in touch with somebody that did do an aerial, uh, aerial pass by uh, earlier today if I'm not mistaken um, earlier I'm sorry we're into the next morning already. Earlier yesterday okay. morning, um, that did state that they did an aerial flyby, and based on what they saw out of apparently what should normally be around 500 cattle, there's only around uh, less than 200, closer to 150 cattle left on the uh, on the actual range itself, and uh, apparently a portion of the ones that had been taken were already auctioned off um, on the open market. So I, I'm not sure how that works down there, but. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm sure it's an entirely frustrating situation, and we've also, uh, you know, had a lot of conjecture about what's going on, you know, regarding that as far as the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management is right now, and the uh, opposing uh, fraudulent uh, authority right now. They've got uh, in the vicinity of 150 maybe people here, what we heard earlier, um, by a couple of sources in the vicinity. We don't know exactly uh, how they're spread out or where they're located, but... Uh, you can pretty much safely uh, ascertain that you know the major routes if you pass from that area are, are probably uh, you know kind of on lockdown right now. I, I can only assume like a soft undeclared martial law um, where they can you know still search vehicles and things of that nature. So we're just recommending that people are heading there come in as peaceful protesters that happen to have brought you know legal munitions with them stored safely and appropriately by the you know by the laws from A to B to that location. Um, and you know that they've broken down. You know, no uh, no bullets in the chambers, things of that nature. And uh, you know, kind of hope for the best. If you know anybody's reporting, uh, you know, being harassed, pulled over, things of that nature. You know, keep the cameras uh, going. Also, according to those laws in that area. But you know, we need other people. You're giving us feedback, and uh, we can only go by, you know, based on what we've been told. Then, and uh, even that, you know, will leave some doubts in the American people's minds. And we can but I tell you what, um, I heard I heard that your um, I've been to your Facebook page already, so I already know that you are tapped out. But um, I sent you a um, private message. Uh, just if um, you just keep me updated, I can get the information out any way that I can um, via uh, the website or through the social media side. So uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep your head up. And stay prayerful and careful. <laughs> I appreciate the good comments, man. Uh, you're welcome to stay on the line for a little minute. We don't have anybody else in the queue, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say if anybody else wants to chime in, we still have 45 some odd people uh, in on this call. I know a good portion of them, I can tell, have been here for quite some time and are rebroadcasting everything. Um, so thank you for staying on, even though your, your uh, lines are probably not even being monitored on their end right now. Hopefully, you hear this later. Um, if anybody else wants to chime in, you're welcome to press uh, star and then the number six, and uh, we'll get you next in line. Uh, Mr. Dupree, where were you located again, sir? I am in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we have uh, we have a radio show. We also have um, a webcast. And um, this morning, I'm I'm telling you, this morning I woke up and the first thing I look at my twi Twitter feed. Um, I'm looking at y'all having a conference call, which I've been looking for for the last for the last couple of days, and there it is on my Twitter feed. So I, I've been pushing it out. Um, I have close to about 49,000 uh, followers for that. So they've so they've just been retweeting the number for the last hour or so, hour and a half, and uh, I'll put it on Facebook. One of my um, Ninja members uh, just called you just a few minutes ago. Uh, she 
Yeah, share this video link, guys, she for this uh, YouTube vid here. And she just um, donated some money to Oath Twitter Keepers. that. <laughs> and I will Twitter say that. this. Um, the Oath Keepers are uh, the website. I've been to the website. That is that is their official website. Um, so I don't know how they're going to uh, get the money out there, but I do know that they are respectable enough to move, move whatever uh, resources they have and uh, in mobilizing to get the, um, to get the job done, I do know that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm taking some notes. It was was it Media Ninja? What, what was it? Did you call? Oh, um, News Ninja 2012.com or Wayne Dupree Show.com. Both we've been uh, putting up. Uh, I put up a video a couple of days ago of um, the incident, and uh, it, I mean, it kind of spread like wildfire for it. So I've been covering it as much as I can, but when I saw that this conference call was going on this morning, I was like, I really got to get that information out there so that everybody can chime in and call in and if they have any questions or if they wanted to support you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Wayne, let me ask you this, brother. What are you doing in about 13 hours, man? You know what? I can be on here if you need me to. I don't really have a lot of uh, feedback from your region, so um, it sounds like you've got a little strength and a lot of reach. Um, I, I'd be welcome to uh, add you to uh, comms tab. Uh, there's a media outlet that we're using right now. Um, there's a couple people that would be in charge of that that would be contacting you and your near people once I get everything straightened out later. Do but uh, if you're willing to volunteer, man, I just put you down as comes 11. Does that work for you? You got it. All right. Uh, you're going to be part of the call street, but you're, you're now uh, pretty much my northeast guy, okay? So uh, I, I'd really appreciate it. If you've got any feedback from any local sources that are reporting any sort of activity that you can confirm, um, highly recommend uh, video and or any sort of other footage. Since you've got um, a lot of reach, I'm also going to say this again, and I want you to make sure you take note of uh, a Twitter feed that we've been trying to get everybody to use if they can post up pictures or actual video, uh, live feeds, anything like that. Okay. Uh, outside, outside of this one uh, is uh, pound sign and then oath before orders. And that is oath before, before spelled out orders. Correct. Okay. So we're having a lot of people, uh, they're tagging. I, I, I have not been able to check that during this call, but I've been told uh, due to a couple of people that are kind of helping out uh, with the secretarial duties uh, via my, well, one of the other burnout phones that I put down. But uh, they, they basically have been contacting me and uh, kind of keeping me posted on other things. And uh, I definitely wanted to make sure that, that that's getting out. They're retagging me in those posts that are going up uh, on Facebook. So that that's seemed to help me. You know, I'm lying a lot, alleviating me of that and helping me delegate, you know, some things. And uh, we definitely need a, a region, you know, what is that, FEMA Region 1? You're FEMA Region 1, aren't you? Yeah, yep. So uh, um, is that... I just heard that you, you are not my representative for that right now, man. So if we can find actually... Uh, a second and third in command for that reason. Uh, okay. That would help us a lot too. Okay. Um, and you know what? I have I have a good solid one because they are the ones that pulled me in uh, a couple of nights ago around midnight. They had got some information about the militias, um, uh, about some militias mobilizing. And actually, they were the ones that had talked about a conference call um, starting. Uh, they alerted me to it, so um, I put out a tweet, and then that went crazy, and then um, I uploaded it. Well, I, I put it on my website, and um, people people went to that, and that was like two. It was about three days, three, two or three days ago, nights ago. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, Wayne. If you need to chime out or chime in, whatever the case is, um, I got a couple people that just came in the queue. Got and it. I'm going to go ahead and let them speak. What I'm going to do is not mute you, but if, if, if I pull in two more people, it's going to drop you. So I'm going to leave you in as long as I can. 
Okay. Um, but I would ask temporarily if you wanted to just mute your own phone out or um, you know, try to remain silent temporarily. If you don't want to chime in, go right ahead. But I'm going to let in a couple more people uh, in this call real quick. Uh, I'm staying on. You I'm staying on. Uh, I got you. Last four digits, 4201. 4201, you're now on the call as well. And uh, you just got unmuted, so let me unmute you too. All right, sorry about that. Area code four, uh, 614, ending in 4201, you're on. I'm sorry, I had you on my own mute. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we NBC, got you. Well, we're on. NBC just did a, uh, on Good Morning America just did a piece on it. So blackout might be over. That's all I want to uh, say. Talk you know, 4201, if you could actually do me a favor, back away from the phone a little bit. You're redlining on the uh, graph here. Are you coming in mighty strong, man? I, I want to hear what you got to say. Are you on speakerphone? If you could kill that, that would probably help out. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, ABC just did uh, on Good Morning America just did a uh, piece on it. So the blackout might be over. Uh, so no justice. I mean, um, I, I, we definitely want to see more attention. We told other people to go ahead and contact any media that they've got, whether it's underground or uh, you know not mainstream or yes mainstream. And uh, yeah. you know, I, I personally feel that you know the more people like that are on board, cameras everywhere, um, a lot of people are going to be less to be uh, reactive violently, and uh, you know realizing that they're on camera. Um, so hopefully a lot of course. people are left involved on everything. Yeah, it wasn't a positive piece, of course, but at least it's, you know, people are knowing that it's happening. And I'm on here because of Wayne. Uh, you're great, Wayne. I, I, I follow you. So anyway, let's guys go. Thanks. Thank you. No, I, I appreciate you chiming in, man. Um, you know, I'm glad you're looking out. And Wayne, uh, I, you know, I can contest that, uh, you know, you sound like an educated guy. Is there anything else you wanted to uh, chime in before I let this next caller pop in? Well, no, we're good. I just, I just want um, anybody that is listening that is um, um, that cares to just keep on putting out this number, or if this number has to leave um, and it comes back up a little bit later, be sure to get the number out, get the information out, and uh, ask questions. Ask, ask whatever questions that you have, and I'm sure that. Um, Ryan will be able to, to, um, to the best of his knowledge, answer. That's all I'm trying to, to do, man. Uh, we have some stuff that's, you know, not exactly confirmed intel, um, you know, a lot of conjecture and stuff, and we're just trying to, you know, in about uh, 13 hours from now, we'll have a lot more answers, and uh, I'm hoping to get people like Chief Kessler on board, uh, Richard Mack, even uh, Kokesh hit me up earlier, I'm seeing now. So I want to see uh, how many other people we can get that are, you know, really involved in this, uh, you know, freedom and an American prospering uh, movement. And uh, hopefully we got more boots on the ground, man. I'm going to go ahead and let in another wireless caller. Oh, shoot, man. Uh, I just shot you down right before you started talking. Hang on. You there? Go I'm ahead. sorry. I was just going to say, they talked about it on the Glenn Beck show, uh, but he wasn't on Friday. But they're trying to weigh was the guy justified or not. But I'm sure Glenn Beck will get on board, and then you'll have tons of millions. He'll be checking it out over the weekend. Again, Wayne, I really appreciate what you do, brother. Bye bye. Thank you. And I appreciate you too, man. Uh, I gotta admit, not not a ginormous fan of Glenn Beck himself. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of co co and pro tell going on in that realm, and uh, I believe the guy is kind of a fake on a lot of things. Uh, I, you know, from from what I perceive, maybe he's woken up a little bit recently, but you know, keep in mind he's paid mainstream media, um, whether we like it or not. So let's not take him any any uh, more realistic than I would take, uh, you know, Alex Jones. Forgive me for saying that right now for you guys that are diehard fans, but uh, I'm really kind of watching, you know, what media outlets, even on the underground level, are as truthful as they say they are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let the next person chime in. Uh, 4201, did you have any? Oh, hang on a second. 4201, did you have anything else? Four two one four two zero one. Last chance. No, we're good. All Take right. Care. All right, brother. I want to meet you out. Uh, wireless caller seven six four three. You're online. Hey, what's up, Brian? Hey, I wanted to give a shout out to Wayne Decree. Been following you for a long time, man. I know you're a follower of mine on Twitter as well. Also, I wanted to hit on, uh, you know, kind of the mainstream media, the the Glenn Becks, the Alex Jones. You know, I, I listen to Alex a little bit. 
I've kind of I've done a little research on Glenn Beck, and I understand that he's even admitted to having a finger pressed down on him. And if he wants to keep his business going, there's only so much you know he has to hide back some of the stuff. I've heard the flakiness. I know Alex and him fight a lot, but uh, you know when you get that big, you know if you want to keep your business going, you know, and that's the thing about the mainstream media. So you can't trust the damn thing they say. Fox News fair and balanced, right? Wrong. That Rupert Murdoch owns Fox News. Fox you know, and they're unfair fair and biased. It's, to me, Fox News claims fair and balanced. To me, that's an easier way to brainwash the people because they'll get you to suck in. You know, I'm never going to turn on CNN, CNN or CNN, whatever. Communist CNNBC. News Network. Fox News, though, is your conservative. Oh, that's a conservative site. No, wrong. They get you in just enough to suck you in, and then they can still brainwash you, you know? And that's why I like guys like Wayne Dupree, like, you know, Adam Kokesh, all those guys, you know, that, that shoot you straight. They're fellow patriots, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, I called in. I wanted to give a shout-out to, uh, to Wayne Dupree. And uh, I'll let some other talk, some other callers talk now. Uh, I'm going to keep you going, man. Uh, you know, Wayne's still in here if you want okay. to say hi to him directly. Uh, I don't know if you know him personally, but, Wayne, you got a big fan on the line. I don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. I, um, and I know it's early, but, you know, your patriotism and showing support for even jumping on and having something to say um, in this time. And uh, I cannot stress the the amount of admiration for Brian in what he's doing right now. And whatever we can do to support Brian, we will. Uh, Absolutely. No, no matter how long it takes, we will support him because the information is key. And if um, if he can get it out there, we can we can show help. Him. Absolutely. Uh, wow, man, I appreciate the feedback there from some guys you know that uh, have a lot of thought out in the uh, you know world of freedom right now in the uh, day and age that we really need it the most. Man, I, I really appreciate that you know kind words coming from. Uh, you know, good people that have been, uh, you know, fighting a good fight, or, you know, um, besides me. We may not have crossed paths before, but I, I assure you in, uh, you know, ideals and, uh, you know, as well as morality, you know, in this day and age, maybe it just needed uh, this for all these good people to come together at this point in time, man. So, uh, I, I, I got one for you. Go ahead, bro. I'm just being mean, but what can I answer? Yeah, I mentioned Peterson to you earlier. He's, he's boots on the ground there, you know. Do you know him? Have you seen him? Uh, uh, Santilli. Uh, Santilli actually, yeah, was supposed to be headed there as well. Um, we're hoping to contact yeah, him at some shooting. point tomorrow. Um, yeah, he's, he's been shooting live feeds. He was right there when the when they threw that lady to the ground, tased the the son of uh, five yeah. and yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I apologize. I, I just said tomorrow, and I, I meant that I, I, my brain is starting to shut off. Right. Uh, in about I've been here with you the whole damn time. <laughs> <laughs> and in about 13 hours, we should be in contact with those people. I, I'm really hoping for it. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys are crashing right now and sleeping, and probably most of us should be as well and getting recharged for, uh, you know, a, a, another fine day tomorrow. But, uh, you know, I'm going to stick on as long as there's as many people as there are on this phone call. We went from, uh, we peaked out at 120 yesterday. Uh, and we peaked out at uh, about 400 today, and right now we're only up at uh, 36. But that's you know pretty nice considering a lot of us. Uh, Plus 38 here on YouTube, and, you know, 39 now. It's even a radio show, man. It's just a conference call, so it's really convenient and cool. You know how everything works out. Absolutely. And uh, we're seeing all mm -hmm. kinds of people cool respect here. You know, uh, I, I was kind of maybe it's just my sleep talking right now, but I don't know if you ever seen the movie The Warriors. Um, it was about you know games from the 70s, which Obviously, this is not what this is about, but I'm kind of feeling like, you know, we've got the uh, the, the East Coast Dopplers over here with the West Coast uh, Bikers, and, uh, you know, we've got uh, the uh, EMTs over here, and we've got the active duty Air Force over here, but everybody's coming together, you know, for the same cause. It's kind of cool to see, um, you know, people all trying to work together and chime in, and um, it's been therapeutic for me, man, because if you would ask me 48 hours ago, I was losing my mind. Um, I'll be honest, I... Uh, I walked out of my workplace uh, on Friday, not to quit or anything like that, but uh, you know, with all the stress going on with all this and being put in the, 
you know, a, a position of, um, you know, basically that I've, I've undertaken. I, I'm glad I'm doing a decent job at it, but, uh, you know, it's been stressful, man, and, uh, you know, it's kind of nice to be part of all this, and, uh, you know, it's been therapeutic for me knowing that uh, there are that many other people that are awake, that are on the same page, and uh, for me to be a part of that is just, uh, you know, astounding for everybody else that's been a part of that. You know, thank you for chiming in and, you know, spreading the word and, uh, you know, getting all these other leaders on board. It, it, it's good to have us all. Everybody's been so respectful to each other, and uh, we've had a, a variety, a slew of different backgrounds and um, regions and, uh, you know, ages all time in. You know, we've heard everything from an 87 year old, you know, man uh, down to, uh, you know, an 18 year old kid that I know personally that chimed in. And, uh, it, it just Let me touch on this, Brian. Generations on the same page. I'm sorry. Let me touch on. Let me touch on exactly what you're talking about. You know, all in the all in the news, all I've seen lately. You know, racial divide, religion divide, just complete divide in this country. And you see it from the damn president. You see it from Eric Holder crying because he got grilled in in his uh, congressional hearing. You know, he claimed that he was the no attorney general has ever been treated like this. Well, there's been an attorney general, I forgot his name, but he was thrown in jail. You know, but they, but they play this card. They split them up. Look at and I'm not <clears throat> getting into a side here, but look at the Trayvon Martin situation. First of all, Zimmerman <laughs> was half Hispanic. Trayvon Martin, you know, whatever happened, happened. But to make it a racial thing is just to divide the damn country. Look at this. I see pictures, you know, tonight, uh, my son, my five-year-old, he's got... His friend over here, same same grade. His friend's black. My son's white. And half, well, quarters Hispanic, three quarters white, and his son's black. They don't see racism at all. Kids do not see racism until they're taught it. You know, and uh, I look now, and you're exactly what you're talking about. Everybody, black, Asian, white, Hispanic. If you're a patriot, you're a patriot. We don't see color. We don't see religion. We don't see age. We see where Americans defending our God-given rights. You know, that should just tell everybody right there, racism is a politically motivated agenda. It truly, really is and always has been, in my opinion. Am I wrong? I mean, yeah, I mean, to a, to a degree, it's just really, it's kind of different for everybody, man. There's a pretty broad matrix out there, so I don't really say a lot of, uh, you know, everyone and no one and all the time and none of the time, you know, there's, there's such a myriad and a matrix of uh, events, you know, and people's perceptions, you know. <laughs> and, you know you kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I want you both to kind of touch on that with me. Go, go ahead, Wayne. Uh, I'd mean, like to give something, man. Yeah, um, <clears throat> when I look at, when I look at things, um, I didn't grow up in the way of a whole lot of racist names being called at me, um, being, a, being, a, um, being a black American. But I'll say this, when I got into the military, and that taught me a whole lot about <coughs> color, color doesn't mean anything as long as everybody does it. I mean, well, it, it doesn't mean anything, period. You have people that are on your team, and they have to watch your back, and you have to watch theirs. And that's how, that's what molded me. So I don't really look at color. I look at your character. If you can <laughs> help me, if if you can support me, if you can back me up, or I can back you up, then that means a whole lot to me. If it turns out that you are like the mainstream media of today that do this uh, separation by color divide, um, or this administration that doesn't say anything about it, or that even enhances uh, uh, the color divide, uh, or gender divide, um, or business um, divide, then, I mean, to me, they're nothing. They're nothing. And um, what you're seeing out here in Nevada, what you're seeing out there are American patriots going out there. Um, and I wish that there were more cameras on the ground. Uh, Brian, somebody asked uh, were there going to be a were there going to be a little bit more um, uh, live feed or any, anything out 
from the ranch because uh, they, uh, they want to see some more stuff. But to finish the um, statement, you you see patriots going out there and of all of all colors. Hopefully, um, I haven't seen a lot of the video, but I did um, the video that I put up the other day showed. Oh my God! I mean, you just wanted to go. You just wanted to go and help support, no matter what the color was. You just wanted to go and help support to show that government is too big, but not strong enough to overcome the American spirit. Word. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put out an announcement. I got both you guys on there because you're both uh, last two that chimed in. Um, and again, you know, for the news ninja, I appreciate you putting out the word. Obviously, some of your fans are here, man. You know, it takes a lot to kind of break down egos and, uh, you know, we're willing to work together with other people uh, like a lot of others have done here. You know, some people have kind of poo pooed us <laughs> just because we're not a syndicated uh, thing. You know, we're, we're not 100% confirmable, but we got real people here, man. And we're letting real people chime in, you know, from all kinds of backgrounds. And, uh, and I'm proud to have you and, you know, some of your fans and, and uh, other associates uh, on the line right now. Uh, as of right now, we're floating around uh, just over 40 callers. I'm going to go ahead and open the doors again and uh, let anybody else who wants to chime in who might have just another 40 here on YouTube. While. If you want to press uh, star six, uh, you can chime in and get in queue and uh, you can ask anybody any question or put any input. You know, let us know where you're from. Let us know where you're at. Um, you know, we're trying to keep somewhat track of uh, who's chiming in. <laughs> we're missing some eastern states. Uh, we've got a lot of western states, some central, but uh, we're, we're trying to, you know, where are the Carolinas at right now? You know, we're, uh, you know, Idaho, where are you at? You know, a couple other groups. So uh, if you want to chime in, that's great, especially if you're uh, anywhere near ground zero, especially if you're a local. I need you to press star six, and uh, I'm going to be watching for you, especially on those area codes. Um, I just had two more people chime in, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the doors. Uh, let's see here, 716 area code. You're in the queue. Yes, Brian? Yeah, go ahead, sir. Yes, uh, this is Dan Devlin. I'm the vice president of Old Keepers in New York State. Uh, you had a woman on that expressed interest in donating. In fact, I think she donated, and she was wondering whether that was you know, valid to donate through Oath Keepers. Uh, just for information, uh, you can go to OathKeepers.org. Stuart Rhodes, who is the current president <laughs> and founder of Oath Keepers, has asked for donation to support the efforts of the Bundy Ranch situation. So you can go there, and as you go through the process, you can indicate that you want those funds to go to support the Bundy Ranch uh, effort. Let me ask you, sir. Uh, you've been a part of Oath Keepers for how long now? I'm sorry. How how long have I personally been involved with Oath Keepers? Yes, yes correct. Uh, probably two years. And uh, you, you sound like a seasoned veteran, sir. Are you are, are you also a veteran, or? Right. You know, I'm one of the individuals that has both law enforcement and military experience. <laughs> you know, um, there have been kind of some conjecture and some negative feedback regarding uh, Oath Keepers over the course of time. You know, I try not to listen to that, and I can only kind of go by what the group's actually doing. You know, much like, uh, you know, meeting a new friend. Based on what somebody else said, I can't hate on somebody, but uh, you know, I can certainly shake hands with that person and see how they treat me and only go from there, you know? Right. Um, based on where uh, Stewart's at, I've been in contact with uh, Richard Mack and his wife over the course of the last few years from, uh, you know, past radio shows that I was doing and uh, I did some public access and, uh, you know, I definitely had him on uh, when I was Patriot TV. Sure. But uh, at this point, I'm kind of a little frustrated with the feedback coming about Stuart Rhodes. Uh, you know, I, half of me wants to say, wow, you know, this is a real good stand-up guy. He's doing the right thing. But, I mean, are you familiar with some of the uh, you know, negative uh, underground media attention that's been pointed towards him? And his uh, affiliation with some, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to put out any conjecture, just his affiliation with other groups that might not uh, have the best interest of the people in mind. Uh, 
Actually, I don't know specifically what you're referring to, but if you want to bring it up, we can certainly talk about it. I, I hate to point fingers, man, and, and I'm not saying, you know, that whether that's true or not. I just thought maybe you might have some feedback. You might have heard, you know, the rumor mill spreading around bad news about Stewie, which I'm not trying to push out. You know, I, I want to believe with everything I've got that it is our old keepers that are trying to do the right thing. But, uh, you know, there's infiltrators everywhere, man, and I'm, I'm not going to uh, give anybody, you know, full 100% uh, my trust, especially if I haven't been able to look them in the eye and shake their hands. And, uh, you know, with all the conjecture going on, I just had to see if you had any feedback uh, as far as those rumors go. And, uh, you know, we are willing to help, you know, squash anything that's been in my head. And I'm sure there's other people listening that, you know, have probably heard some things about Stewie that uh, <laughs> it would be nice to have dissuaded or confirmed, you know. But uh, I'm just going to leave that as an open door. Uh, yeah. We've got a couple other people on the call. Is there anything else you wanted to, to yeah, uh, without, ask you, sir? Without having specifics, it's hard to uh, address it because, as you know, uh, as you grow in popularity, there are tons of people who will, you know, put out all kinds of information. So uh, not having any specifics, I'll leave that go. But I will mention that, uh, you know, Oath Keepers are some of the most honorable people. And this doesn't mean everyone in the organization because all organizations have people who are so-called on the fringe. And people often speak without really thinking about the, what they're saying. And... Uh, obviously, that can be bad for any organization, but their hearts are in the right place. Uh, they're dedicated individuals, for the most part, uh, who are trying to do the right I, thing. I, yeah, I, I agree on that 100%. Man. I am not a uh, paid member, but I've been kind of following the uh, Oath Keepers group. I'm in contact with uh, a few of the surrounding states myself, so I'm you know, glad to meet you officially and for, to have you chime in. By no means did I mean to... Uh, you know, put any negative spin on anything regarding the Oath Keepers, I totally appreciate what, uh, you know, uh, what they're trying to get out as far as getting, you know, law enforcement, active duties, veterans, et cetera, you know, to stand right. together to support their oath. But, you know, there's, I, there's just been rumors, man, and, uh, you know, when you hear about infiltration and other key groups that are really making good moves out there, um, you know, you just got to kind of try to keep your eyes and ears open and, you know, do the best you can, you know, based on, you know, experience, man, and uh, I don't have direct experience. I don't have the opportunity to shake his hand. You may have, and, uh, you know, if there's anything you wanted to, you know, say about that. I just, well, we, we, we speak periodically uh, simply because of the distance involved. Uh, but individual groups in various states uh, are trying to do the best they can. Uh, as far as I know, at this point, uh, he's been a substantial leader. Uh, I think his heart is in the right place. Uh, oftentimes, you may be in uh, proximity to people who you don't even agree with, and some people take that as an endorsement of what other people are doing when it's not really, you know, that uh, it, it, kind of a reach. Exactly. Well, you're right, sir, and I to why I was very treading lightly on that subject. Uh, you know, if anything more, we was hoping you'd probably, you know, quash any uh, rumors that were going on about him. But, uh, <laughs> it, it would depend on what the rumor is. And I, I don't think you want to bring it up. So um, I would say that if time permits, uh, I doubt that Stewart would have any problem in getting in on this call. And if, again, if you have a specific situation that you're talking about, then it could be addressed. But uh, if you just want people to go through uh, any allegations that anyone's ever had, you know, that uh, to be honest, uh, Stewart. Stewart has recently contacted me directly uh, regarding a different venture. Um, it, he'd probably be a little bit amazed that if uh, he got on the call that he was talking to the same guy that he was talking about uh, another issue with not too long ago um, on the phone. I, but if, if you could get him on the phone uh, after 8 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, later in approximately 12 hours, uh, th that'd be great. Um, we'll see if we can I, do it. Yeah, if you can make something like that happen, um, I, I want nothing more than him to be able to speak for himself. You know, I, I'm that kind of guy. A lot of people talk behind people's back, and I'm seriously sure. trying to, you know, tread, tread this water lightly. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that wants to go to the source, um, you know, without spreading any rumors. So, yeah, I've got a couple of questions for him that I'm sure, you know, other people would like to have answered as well if they're, uh, you know, I try not to entertain rumor those, man, and I, I give everybody face value the best I can, and that's all I can do right now, but I definitely right, have a couple I of questions. I think you're trying to focus, if I 
you know, understand correctly, you're really trying to focus on the Bundy situation now. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Again, I, right. you know, that, that's mm -hmm. another story uh, tied to what we're trying to do here. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a leader, you know, and there, there's a lot of really good people um, that I've met, you know, along that path in, in that, uh, in that, you know, uh, aspect or group or realm or, you know, however you want to categorize what the OC would do. You know, um, you've got a variety of three percenters all over back up to, uh, you know, active duty and back down to just patriots that are watching that. And, uh, you know, a lot of people that are being led in, you know, by what the OC movement is all about. If, you know, if there's conjecture, I'd like him to go ahead and, you know, squash that uh, during the remainder of these phone calls because he's obviously an integral part of the uh, PTV mission that we're trying to uh, to move forward with. So I'm, I'm going to probably not really lean towards those rumors because uh, if he wants to address anything, that's great. But uh, I would keep it more towards, hey, what are you doing to get the sheriff's on board, man? What are you doing to get these active duty guys on the same page? What are you doing to get those guys to put pressure on these uh, politicians right now? And, I would uh, say that would be a good approach. Yeah, and, and who the hell are these guys that are coming in with the last name Johnson and you're apparently um, most likely don't even speak English and you're taking illegal orders. Why are you here in our country right now? Why are you armed? And, uh, you know, why are you taking this man's land? Who, who do you answer to and who does he answer to and who does he answer to? And uh, thus far, the uh, fingers are kind of pointing militarily and outside of this nation. They're, they're getting orders. You know, I, I don't want to play with conjecture and, you know, uh, hearsay and conspiracy theories, but, you know, it sounds like uh, a lot of people with a lot of money are trying to get their hands on uh, American oil pipelines, uh, American fresh water, and American uh, precious metals and, and ores and things of that nature. I see. Well, I certainly am aware of a lot of things that you're speaking about. Um, we try to stay focused on uh, our current serving uh, law enforcement and military people, and of course our objective is to have them honor their oath to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And I don't have to tell you about our domestic enemies that we have out there. Um, you know, we we want a nation of honorable people uh, who will do what they promise to do, and that's our main uh, I, focus. I, I would like to throw this up in the air, man, just in case there is any law enforcement and things of that nature, more uh, old keeping type fans. You know, uh, we, we've got plenty of guys that are showing they're a bad cop. What we really need is a lot of people showing that they're the good cop. We need to start calling out some of these guys, and I know it's frowned down upon the side, uh, you know, inside certain, uh, you know, groups and uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for, cliques and such. You know, it's not always great to point out fingers at somebody who's uh, totally disobeying their oath because that's the overall consensus is we keep that thing under the under our hats, and I'm, you know, fully aware of that, but it's really coming down to, do you support the Constitution or don't you? If you do, you need to quit screwing around. Plain and simple, because everybody's got their eyes on everybody else right now. You know, the, the military and the uh, law authorities are looking at us like we're doing something wrong, when we know damn well a lot of them are doing something wrong. You know, if, if we know more about the law and we're following the law to a T, um, you know, there are, are certain things in the Constitution that support us on inalienable rights, and uh, we need to stick behind them and make sure that these other Oath Keepers are sticking to uh, the oath they've given. You know, I'm a civilian, sir. I don't have formal uh, military background, or, or I, I mean, I, I can say I was raised by wolves, um, and a lot of them dissuaded me from the military because they had been there. I've never been anybody else's property but my own, and I have paperwork uh, stating that I have taken myself back in, uh, you know, many different straw man type uh, <laughs> situations. And, uh, you know, it, it, it bothers me to know that everybody's going to tell you, you know, yeah, I take an oath to uphold and defend, but, you know, there's got to be 300 some odd thousand soldiers from across the country that all know this is going on. And we're the guys that are upholding and defending, man. Um, I, I don't see anybody actually defending that has the badge. Let me give you some encouragement. Uh, I don't know if you know what's happening in New York State, but we have uh, something called the SAFE Act, uh, the Safe Ammunition and Firearms uh, Enforcement Act. Uh, and you would be amazed at the number of sheriffs uh, and law enforcement uh, officers who have stood up and said that they will not enforce this act. Uh, we have 
uh, legislatures uh, in counties across New York State uh, who have stood up and said that they will not allow enforcement of that law in their county. Uh, so I'm going to ask you a question, sir. I need you to be real straight and honest with me. On a scale of 1 to 100, for you to be able to get Richard Mack and or uh, Hello? Yes. Yeah, sorry. I, uh, and so, if you could get either him or Richard Mack on the phone, what, on a scale of 1 to 100, 10 being affirmative and a 0 being negative, what, where do you think that you'd be able to get uh, either or both those gentlemen on in about 13 hours? At this point, I have contact with both. Uh, but because they're involved in what they're doing right now, uh, you can probably imagine that. Uh, not that it would be a distraction. It might be a very good thing for them uh, to get on the call later this evening you're talking. Uh, uh, correct. In approximately 13 hours or so. Uh, I will I will make that effort uh, to get that to happen. Uh, however, not knowing what the situation is there, uh, you know, whether they're meeting, you know, continually with people or what's going on, it's obviously their call. In, four, in about uh, four hours, they're going to be meeting at the flagpole if they're there already. <clears throat> We're just trying to find out, you know, who's on, on the inner circle. Um, you know, are roads being blocked? Are they confiscating pulling people over? Um, you know, we, we need to further along our comms tree. So if there's anything that the Oath Keepers can provide, um, we've got a couple of people that are trying to use, you know, secondary methods of communication, sure. uh, even resorting to uh, CD radio, down to ham radio. Um, we've got repeaters that are trying to be worked on in a, co a couple of lines right now. Um, Oath Keepers already have a lot of that and uh, already established. If, if we could piggyback off of some of what uh, you know, you guys are working on, that's kind of what we're trying to open up. Uh, you know, with with you, I know you're you're on the coast, the opposite coast, if I'm not mistaken. So right, and we, and we're trying to determine now. In fact, one of the reasons that I'm on this call uh, is just to gather more information and make a determination, is this the right time to head out that way or is it better to wait? Uh, you know, we're not uh, at the moment in direct communications with either uh, Richard Mack um, or Stuart Rhodes simply because we know what they're doing now and it's no time to be, uh, you know, deterred from what you're trying to accomplish um, once you get there. So. What uh, what I will do is, uh, I understand and I've been on the call for a while now, um, but you're with the Sons of Liberty in Illinois, is that correct? Uh, that's affirmative, sir. Okay. And, and your name is Brian? Uh, yeah, Brian uh, with a Y, and uh, I'm online as Brian Free the People. Uh, uh, the Free the People parts are all one word. <laughs> Pretty easy to find. <laughs> um, uh, We've got a couple of goofy uh, profile pictures up right now, which I'll be changing soon, but um, just kind of lighten up the mood a little bit. Sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead, too, since I've still got you on. Um, I'm going to add you to actually to the comms pool. Um, we've got about a dozen guys. You actually would be number 12 that are working on that. Um, okay. you, you might have to throw you in a comms pool. You'd probably get contacted. Uh, sometime tomorrow from at least one of these guys that have uh, volunteered to kind of keep the comms tree open. You sound like uh, you'd be an asset directly to the people we're trying to get a hold of. So, uh, you know, with, with your reach, uh, would you mind, you know, taking that upon yourself uh, in about 13 hours and uh, try to accomplish what you can in your report back? Sure. All right. Um, 716 area code, correct? That's correct. You need the rest of the number? Or? Uh, I wanted to verify. 716 area code. Where, where do you reside, sir? Buffalo, New York. You said New York? Correct. All right, that works out. We needed more East Coast representation, sir. Um, as of right now, your comms 12, okay? <laughs> okay. We report back later. Just kind of, I'm, I'm putting a star by you because uh, we've got us associated with the keepers. Um, if you could remind them, you know, in the mantra of the old keepers, the main hashtag we're trying to use is for com uh, communication on our Twitter right now is uh, hashtag and then oath before orders, which is uh, I'm pretty sure that's part of your mantra out there. Right. Uh, 
uh, you are now Thomas Closer, and uh, what was your first name again? Dan, D-A-N. Dan, like Daniel? Correct. All right, I appreciate that, sir. I've got you started on for Thomas Close. Uh, you'll definitely be contacted by either Thomas one through five in the next 12 hours. Okay, sounds good. Well, you know, what I've heard so far, uh, you're doing a great job and a, a great service. So uh, I'm going to leave this call simply because there are other things that need to be taken care of right now. But we'll be back in contact, and um, hopefully we'll be able to get um, one of those gentlemen on the call later. Okay? I really, really appreciate you, man, for doing uh, the good work that you're doing on that end. And uh, even after all this is said and done, I plan on doing this for other uh, situations. I think I've got a dedicated conference call number that we're all using right now. So, you know, keep that in your uh, in your head and give it out some more white hats, okay? Sounds good. God bless you. Thanks. I'm going to move on. This person's been hanging on very politely, and uh, I apologize for that delay, but uh, you know, we got kind of involved in the Oath Keepers conversation. I'm going to clear this off and take the next question. Anybody else who you want to chime in? Uh, I opened up another Mountain Dew a minute ago. Okay, I think we're experiencing technical difficulties again. I'm still connected on the call. Yeah, I'm in northern Nevada, oh, there Reno go. area, and I do not belong to any militias, never have. I want to know if my support be needed down there, and if I could even get down there if I tried. I'm about seven hours away, 400 miles. All right, we appreciate you chiming in, man. I just got kicked off the call, so I'm back on. You can actually repeat the uh, beginning of that conversation that uh, you were just having with yourself. Uh, everybody else heard you as well. I just didn't hear it, if you don't mind. No, I was just saying, I'm in northern Nevada, Reno area. I do not belong to a militia, never have. I'm just wondering if my services, my support would be needed if I took off and headed down that way, about seven hours away, 400 miles. Uh, I'm wondering if I could even get there if I tried. Uh, if it's, you know, not too out of pocket for you, brother, uh, we could definitely use uh, some more intel. Um, we're suggesting that anybody's heading there to bring extra resources and come back to peaceful protesters. Um, that is per request of the ranchers. Last time we, we were in communication with uh, their guru. Sorry, I lost the eye, but I understood that that was a yes, that my help would be needed, just bring some extra resources for myself. They've been really messing with Brian's line. He keeps getting bounced. I think the powers that be are playing some little fun and games. <laughs> to be expected. So, thank you everyone for your patience during these technical difficulties. This happens periodically. Brian will surely be back momentarily. This is not the first time these glitches have Hey, happened. sorry to leave you hanging. I'm actually having some signal troubles on my end, and I apologize. That's an inconvenience for everybody else. We've still got 35 people on the call. Um, if you 41 on YouTube. Time, and I hopefully I don't crash out on you again. Yeah, I was just saying, I'm in Reno, Nevada, about seven hours away by car. Truck, uh, 400 miles. If my services can be used down there, I'll take off and drive down that way. Um, I'm wondering if I can even get through. If I try, are they going to be stopping us on the highway? Anything like that? You know, anybody said anything? And is the uh, is the, is the Bundys still want us to uh, travel down that way? <laughs> you know, I'm not. Really want my park orders, man. I'm just uh, a dude that was on a conference call a couple of days ago that uh, flew up into this. So, you know, based on what you're asking and, and what I, you know, would recommend based on what I know and where I'm sitting at this point, you know, I'm not barking orders, bro. You, you kind of offered. So, what I would recommend is let me ask you this Are you in communication uh, with other people that are much closer to, to ground zero by chance? No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. Not ha and have not been. I have been trying to get in contact with the ranch to see if they would actually want my support, and I will head down that way. But I haven't been able to get a hold of anybody. I understand that. I hear you. Do 
do you have any friends or, or, or family that uh, are in between, you know, where you're at to ground zero? No, all my family ranchers and stuff come from uh, northern Nevada, eastern northern Nevada. So, no, everybody that I know is hundreds of miles away. I got you. I, I mean, I don't know how many people that are awake and on the same page as uh, you are, you know, in your network. But uh, if you want to start reaching out to anybody, you know, that does have somebody much closer to that area, we're, we're looking for uh, trying to set up extra rally points uh, until we have somebody at ground zero to kind of let us know. You know what's going on on that outer circle. Um, as far as we know right now, you know a couple of groups were re uh, released, arrested, and released. Um, some people are speaking of uh, you know guns being uh, confiscated. So we don't really want to. I, I personally don't want to send anybody in there directly right now without having uh, set up an outside uh, rally point perimeter of some sorts. Um, and preferably, you know, if somebody's coming from north. We'd like to have one up north, but. Uh, you know, seven hours away is one thing. You know, if we had somebody an hour away, uh, in you know, from point A to point B from where you're at right now, and if you could, you know, head towards that direction and then give us updates and, uh, you know, uh, let more people rally from from that vicinity towards you, that would be huge right now. If, uh, you know, I don't know where you're at financially or anything like that, but if you want to maybe uh, start calling around for any hotels northbound that are, uh, open and, and, and have vacancy and, and maybe we can try to arrange something like that, you know, for people to start meeting at more of a public place, um, you know, that you can acquire once you get in that vicinity. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right. I will uh, I will see what I can get together on this end and um, see if I can get some help to go with me and we'll get her done. All right. I, I'm, I recommended earlier, again, this is just me talking, man. I, I have no say on what you're about to do, but uh, you know, going as peaceful protesters, if you're going as a caravan, you want munitions probably in one separate vehicle and have them stay behind. And, uh, you know, I don't want to set up anybody for failure, so forgive me, you know, if things turn sour, but I, I, I'm recommending, you know, you can take that with a grain of salt, but I'm recommending, you know, having munitions, you know, be, uh, you know, placed in the trunk uh, and, and sticking with the laws of uh, Nevada. Hey, can you actually verify... Uh, if somebody's carrying a, a weapon and it's in their trunk, it should be okay if it's all set, separated and nothing's in the chamber. Is that correct? That's correct. This is an open carry state, too, so as long as it's on your side, it's legal. That's correct. But we, we also were told that people that visually have weapons out right now, uh, you know, are getting a little extra uh, treatment, so to speak. So we're trying to recommend coming in as peaceful protesters, maybe leaving that in the trunk so that, you know, you can get by checkpoints, you know, and... Uh, have public servant questionnaires with you. If you actually Google search public servant questionnaire right now and uh, the word PDF, uh, so you know, you've got a public servant questionnaire and then PDF in the Google Drop. Um, there's a place called Scribd, which uh, drops free downloads for uh, these, these flyers that I'm recommending. Uh, I, I highly suggest you print out probably about 10 copies if you have that chance. Keep them with you, uh, glove box them or console them. So that when, if and when you are approaching, you need to be able to ask them, well, who are you? Um, you know, I'm just an American that's concerned. You know, I'm heading down to go protest. Is that illegal? And if they keep questioning you, you need to hand them that document and start making sure they fill it out. Uh, it is every American's right to question who's questioning you, uh, so you can verify that you want to answer those questions. Um, so I, I highly recommend using it. I will. I'll do that. Um, thank you very much, and I'll get off and let somebody else talk. Uh, not a problem. Uh, Wayne's still on. Uh, he's live if you want to chime in, brother. Um, anybody else that wants to chime in, you can go ahead and press star six right now, and you'll be the next caller in the slot. Um, and be happy to, you know, let me speak freely. Um, as long as you don't, you don't really get out of line, I'm not trying to take anybody's First Amendment rights away, or rights away, um, you know, while we've been having this conversation. But if you get out of pocket, I got to shut you down. Um, anybody else want to speak up? You can press star six and uh, speak your piece. Uh, looks like just the three of us, Wayne and uh, H319, you're still. If you'd like to ask a question, please press one to uh, add. Your request has been received. Yeah, I'm still um, still putting out the information. Uh, still, still running it, working on a story right now. Getting ready to put that out, but uh, like I said. Brian, keep on, keep on keeping on, and I know, and I heard that you were 
just popping up on another Mountain Dew, well, you know, it's chicken. <laughs> um, you're going to need to get some sleep, too. Man. Yeah, I know. I hear you. I'm kind of uh, on my fourth wind. Actually, Wayne, I'm going to ask you to do me a quick favor. Uh, we got Charles, 8319, you're still on the line. I've got uh, another media person from uh, Chicago that chimed in earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and add in one person. If you guys don't mind, I need to take a standing bathroom break because I'm starting to look like a koala bear over here. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple people. You guys can speak amongst yourselves for the next like five minutes while I go ahead and visit the urination state. You may now ask your question. Open and uh, 8748 here on muted. Hey uh, guys, right this is Dave. Hey, I just want to want to let you know all know. Um, you know, obviously, as a lot of you know, I'm the one that's um handling the uh, YouTube uh, Google stream of this conference call going out, and um, we're at 43 viewers right now. We were at 50, so um, when Brian was talking about, you know, having like, you know, 40, 40 uh, listeners on, on the conference call, that is plus the additional 40 plus that we're having here, so we're actually closer to 100 than not. Okay. Is that, um, what is that YouTube stream address? Um, well, the, um, the YouTube channel of mine that, um, I'm running it on is, uh, Paradigm Shift Docs for You. That's D-O-C-S, the number four and the letter U. But the easiest way to get at that is if you go on, if you go on Facebook and, um, you do a search for Cosmic Voice, um, that is a, a Facebook group that I'm um, affiliated with that I'm, I'm running this through right now. It's actually where I originally got the number for this conference call. And um, if you scroll through the posts on the, on the Facebook group, um, you'll see a post by Cosmic Candy Gallup, and um, it says, Attention, Calling All Patriots, etc. Bundy Ranch, it's got the call-in number and everything. And if you go through the comments, periodically I post the link for the... Um, for the the stream on this, it's titled uh, Bundy Ranch Militia and Oath Keepers Conference Call, and it also has that same information um, in the description. There's really no short-winded uh, method I, I could really tell you to to get at the stream, but I definitely plan on uh, you know being around it at 8 p.m. if I can, unless something comes up. I'm really pushing to to be around and. Um, I'm going to be uh, recording that stream out as well because this is some, some really good stuff and um, I don't know if anybody's streaming it out or, or what they're doing but I think it's a good idea to uh, you know to have to have some sort of um, an archive and you know if people want to use like video download helper which is a, um, a Firefox add-on to download YouTube videos and stuff um, once this recording is done and you know, YouTube processes it and it's, it's up as a, a video when, you know, we're not live anymore, then people will be able to download that and they can feel free to re-upload that to uh, their channels um, without a problem. They're, they're welcome to go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, cool. Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate you looking out. Uh, I'm back and I feel like a million bucks. I just did 20 jumping jacks. Um, <laughs> I think I'm on my fifth win, guys. I, I got uh, another person that's trying to get in. I'm going to unmute right now. Cool. Uh, 7396 seven, area code. I'm sorry, last four digits. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me, Brian, but um, I got like about 50 people on my end view in the stream, plus your 40, so we're actually closer to 100, just so you know. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. All right. Awesome. Appreciate that. Hey, Brian. Um, hey, there you are. Go ahead, man. This is Anastasia Jacoby again from Two Million Bikers in BC. I want you to know I've been with you for about oh, 36 hours now, I think. <laughs> um, I did crash out for about three hours last night. Your voice is just so lulling. Um, um, but uh, we, yeah, no, it's compliment. Um, no, we do have, just so you know, we do have boots on the ground that we are getting periodic updates from. Um, awesome. And we do, and we do have some members that are actually on scene. Uh, feel free to get them to chime in. Uh, you know, it means a lot coming from you because I know who you are. But uh, you know, when we've got people here listening, it's really nice to have someone who's actually the one that's boots on the ground. I don't want to cut you loose. Uh, I want you to stay ahead of the, in this call. I'm going to leave you um, unmuted. 
Um, and uh, are, you, are you back on for long haul, or are you going to need another break real soon? Or um, no, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be on for a while. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be on for a while with you guys. Um, one one thing that I that I did want to say, and this this was the, the request from our boots on the ground. Um, the biggest problem is that they're having out there is cell phone reception. Um, the cell towers are not taken down. Um, and the biggest problem is there's very few spots that they can actually go to get cell phone reception. Um, the the other thing that they were requesting they said would be very beneficial and people could help with is to contact the governor. Um, from what they are understanding, the governor in Nevada, he is running for office. They believe it is it is rumored through the state that the governor might be taking on Reed in 2016, the first Senate. And uh, if he does that with a little bit of pressure, they think that it would be good for the governor to get involved, to say no to BLM, because he would then be positioning himself against Reed in the in the upcoming election. And, and that that is pretty important, you know, kind of to get another perspective of what's going on, you know, locally, politically, you know, how, you know, there's a power grab and a power play uh, actually happening, you know, uh, you know, behind the scenes, and you know, it's kind of interesting to get that aspect. Um, do you by chance have any reach in the political arena to where you might be able to get? You know, somebody like that to chime in for a while, or sorry, later. Uh, we we can try. We can try. Um, I don't even know if we are friends on Facebook um, because if they they have to leave the area from where they're at to get cell phone reception. Um, so if they're able to join in the call, they're not going to be able to sit on uh, for a long wait period of time. Um, I, I am aware there's such thing as satellite phones as well. So if anybody's got access to that, you know, that's heading out there, feel free to uh, get that up to the chain of command and uh, some of the uh, other power players and uh, leaders that are there, um, so okay. we can get some more reports of what's going on. Isn't that how Santilli's been getting through? Okay. Isn't that how Santilli's been getting another through? Another thing too that um, they had said that this was something that they were just talking with uh, with some of the, the family members from the. Um, you know, from the ranch there, is one thing that nobody has really considered or has talked about in regards to the issue with the turtles. You know, of course, we know that's all been debunked. You know, the the government has actually euthanized, you know, a considerable amount of the turtles. But one thing they said that people aren't realizing is the fact that the cattle are actually a part of the ecosystem. The cattle have been there for so many decades that they said to remove the cattle from those grazing lands would actually upset the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. They said that the uh, what would happen was the extra grass that would then be available would cause the rabbit population to basically explode. The rabbit population increases, then the, co the coyote population increases. Of course, it wouldn't be a balanced ratio, and they said in turn, then the coyotes would eat the turtles. So if they were really concerned about the turtles, then they wouldn't unbalance the ecosystem. <laughs> wow. Am I still you know, on or am I muted? Yet another perspective, you know, to kind of keep our eyes on that. Uh, obviously, we don't want that to happen, but, uh, you know, for, for the most part, uh, we need to kind of, you know, to stick within certain boundaries to where, uh, you know, getting a hold of the politicians, as we talked about, it, especially someone like that that's got more of the inside perspective of all avenues of not only uh, the politics but the ecosystem, you know. Uh, obviously, that's, you know, another part of this situation. I don't, I don't think that powers that be really uh, are putting too much thought into the actual ecosystem right now. I, I, I'm still leaning towards uh, more of, uh, you know, commodity, uh, you know, uh, oil and uh, ore and precious metals and water um, and power and, and, and more room. Um, you know, I, I think that's the, the, the focus of why they're taking the land. Um, but by all means, you know, I'm hoping people that are there are trying to, you know, of course, still protect, you know, the animals and, uh, 
you know, maybe find them good homes. There's plenty of zoos out there that, you know, not to say that that's, the, you know, the, the best way for them to live, but it seems better than the alternative. Um, right, yeah, and I've right. got uh, three more people in the queue, ma'am, if you didn't, um, if you wanted to wrap up any other questions real quick, I've got three more people that popped up in the queue. I, no, I don't have any more questions. One thing, you know, that I would encourage just for, you know, to, just another additional point, I, I know that we don't have a, a connection, but if we could find somebody or, you know, I know Wayne's crew, a couple of the other media outlets that are here, I know we're networking with several different media outlets, that if they do have a resource to get a commentary, um, from an ecologist, I, I think would you know possibly be beneficial. Just add more to the story, and that's Absolutely. all I have. That's and again, right. And again, thank you for all that you are doing. Um, it's it's a journey. I, I appreciate you chiming in on the word. Uh, I'm going to be uh, killing this here in a, in a few minutes. We're at uh, eight o'clock uh, a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I'm expecting. I'm on the East Coast. I'm expecting in approximately two hours they're going to be meeting at the flagpole at this ranch. So uh, consider other uh, alternative methods of uh, media right, you know, after at that point to see if anybody else is chiming in out there in Facebook land and YouTube and whatnot. Um, but I'm going to have to cut short, and then we'll be back mm -hmm. in uh, about 12 hours. I'm going to give out the number to play back the previous conversation and to get the code for that previous conversation prior to that, uh, area code 559. 726-1399 and for the last part of the segment would be uh, pound 9676 um, feel free to write that down I'm sorry pound 9676 and then press pound again and you'll get the, the, this segment um, after we hang up here and stop recording um, I'm going to let the next wireless caller uh, go ahead and chime in um, we still got uh, Chicago comms you're still on that's cool. right, I am I wasn't sure because I tried to say something and um, it seemed like no one was hearing me, so I wasn't sure if I got bumped off or not. I was trying to say that um, I'm, I'm, I think uh, Santilli has a has a satellite uh, uh, hookup down there for the phone, so anybody needing that might want to talk to him. Um, as far as I know, that's how he's getting through because he's been doing live video interviews on the scene and. Um, you know, satellite is the only way that I could think of that he's doing it. All right, yeah, you're right, and I appreciate you chiming in on that. I got a wireless caller, uh, seven six four three. You're unmuted. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, hey Brian, I just came across this. The sheriff Gillespie of Nevada may have a financial motive for treason or betrayal of our patriots. He is the Nevada Commission for Homeland Security Finance Ooh. Committee chair. So that could be why he's not helping. And also, that until he does have a satellite truck there, he was broadcasting and he was interviewing inside his truck. He does have a satellite van. And he's on scene for sure. He is on scene for sure. He's been there, I know for sure, since yesterday, and I I think the day before as well. I've been following him pretty closely. Well, hopefully, he's also willing right. to help out some other people with that feed as well and getting things online and whatever yeah. else needs to be done. And he's been, you know, and you've watched the videos too, I'm sure. He's been, oh, yeah. He's been coaching the protesters. I mean, he's been excellent down there, actually. Cool. Yeah, I've been, been watching what I could watch. I mean, I probably haven't watched everything, but every video I come across, I use Video Download Helper, and I download that ju just in case the, um, you know, the, 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 the corporate fascists decide to, um, to, to eliminate any videos, and at least I got copies, and those can be put back up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and reset the forum. Um, we got Chicago here. You're still chiming in. Uh, 7396, ma'am, I still see you on the line. Uh, I haven't muted anybody out. I'm just going to give uh, one last opportunity before uh, I kill all this for the next uh, 12 12 ish hours. Um, anybody else want to chime in, you can go ahead and press uh, star six. Uh, I'm going to give room for one more uh, round of uh, some Q&A. Uh, we've still got, you know, five people live on the call right now. Uh, Wayne, I see you're back in. Um, all right, we've got a couple of people that just chimed in, so I'm uh, 
Cool. I'm going to go ahead and hit next question. It's going to pull a couple people off the line, um, but a couple people just chimed in that want to speak. So uh, right. sorry if you get reset. Um, hey, just you so you know. In about 12 hours when we get this going again. Hey, just um, so, just so you know. Next sorry, just so you know. Um, and, uh, Google, I can only record for like another hour, hour and a half or something because um, YouTube uh, Hangouts have a limit of like a total of eight hours, and I've been on for quite a while. Right. So just letting people right. know if the YouTube feed gets uh, suddenly cut, that's why I hit the eight-hour limit. All right, ten four. Um, I'm gonna move on to the next uh, question. Yeah, yeah, right on, brother. Did you want to speak up, or do you have anything to say before I cut to the next question? No, go ahead, cut. All right. Um, I've got a wireless caller chiming in, 8947. Muted. And I'm going to unmute know. you. <laughs> you made the donut. 8947. Yes, can you hear me? No, I didn't hear. Uh, wireless caller, 7643. i got to mute you for that one. Uh, go ahead, sir. Dave, you got me? Yeah, we got you. Uh, 8947, okay. it's you. Yes, uh, this is Scott McGillivray. I'm a Logan County resident, also a member of the Logan County, West Virginia, Sons of the Second, Citizen Action Committee, local militia, and uh, stuff like that. Is there an account set up anywhere to where we can make monetary donations to help boots on the ground or the restaurants we can call or anything like that where we can help these people that are there? I appreciate you looking out. I've got uh, a map that I'm putting together of some people that... Uh, you know, I've offered uh, different services and things of that nature. Um, you know, I don't know what your reach is, sir. Uh, it sounds like you've got a, a good, uh, well-organized group out there. If anybody's got some monetary funds, we're going to be setting up some sort of crowdfunding here in the next 10 hours. Um, I have another person that uh, is temporarily delegated via the Oath Keepers to uh, get some research done on that and uh, find out the best avenue and uh, how to get that started. If you don't mind, I'll go ahead and hang on to your information and uh, get you in touch with that person. If uh, they don't come back on here in uh, uh, the, the next call that we're going to have uh, uh, in about 12 hours, are you okay with that? Yes, yeah, I'm fine with that. I appreciate appreciate what y'all doing, and uh, just know that to the ground swell, and uh, it's going to get bigger than this. We need to stop all these totalitarian enactments, and uh, liberty's going to reign. I'm sure of it. Did you say so in a second? In West Virginia? Yeah. Yes, sir, I did. Who is this again? This is Scott McGilvray. You um, are with Sean Atkins? Yes, I am. This is Wayne Dupree. Hey, that's my photo negative, brother. <laughs> hey, Ryan, you hear they, from you, Wayne? They are 100% they are real. Um, Sons of the Second out of West Virginia. Um, Solid, solid patriots, and um, believe me, when they say that they're going to do something, they're going to do it. Awesome. Hey, well, uh, I'm, I'm glad you chimed in, man. We had uh, in near 30 some odd plus uh, different groups, um, you know, a variety of different states chime in, um, and you know, it's good to hear, uh, you know, some of the dogs that have been around a while. We actually had Hutari on this call earlier, um, which was pretty awesome to hear from them. Uh, they've been laying really, really, really low since the last, uh, you know, federal uh, overreach uh, and, and fraud. You know, those guys were completely exonerated for some uh, uh, petty yet shady uh, words that were said. You know, Cohen and Protel and uh, infiltrators really set them up. I think all y'all need to kind of be aware that that's all over the country right now. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and step forward. Wayne, I'm gonna keep you on. Um, Seven three nine six, you're still on, and uh, eight nine four seven, you're on. Uh, four more people just chimed in, so uh, I know I'm. Okay, I'll just say something real quick. Keep... And I... go, go ahead, bro. I'll just say something real quick, and uh, I'll get Please. off here. Uh, Shoot, brother Wayne, just just to let you all know that we've got a couple members that are planning to head out. I'm not sure who it is, but they'll be leaving shortly, from what I understand, to head out to Nevada. So we'll have boots out there too. How long have you been on this call, sir? I'm just on this call. I've just been on this call for about 15 minutes now. All right. Uh, if you could go ahead and keep spreading the word that we need peaceful protesters there, people not Absolutely. coming in BDUs, people not oh, coming yeah. in balls to the walls. Uh, we don't want any uh, hotheads, and we definitely don't need uh, 
you know, anybody who's thinking about striking and striking hard, they need to look up the rules and the, and the laws in that area so that they don't, you know, encroach uh, on any federal type laws where they put themselves in danger. Um, don't come in locked and loaded, and uh, you know, hopefully Absolutely. people we, understand we got, it. Uh, we got very, we got very cool-headed members that do their research and do their homework. So I, I trust everything I have in my life to these brothers of mine. I do too, so, uh, and uh, right, cool. I mean, I, I, I consider myself. I mean, I'm about maybe six hours away from uh, the sons of the second, but I mean, I hang with. I hang with them every time that I can get there. And as a matter of fact, I'll be there next next month for their Patriots Day. But um, no, they are, like I said, solid individuals. And when they say that they're going to do something, and they're well disciplined, uh, military members, former former military members, they they there's nobody finding. So you know, I agree. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, thanks for looking out, Wayne. I'm going to keep you on the line still, though. I got a uh, a couple more people that are trying to chime in. Um, sorry if you're getting muted out. I only have much space on this control panel, so I got to mute some people and, uh, and bring in some people. And uh, you know, nothing personal. Then um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. I got an anonymous caller. I'm always uh, curious what they have to say. Um, go ahead, anonymous caller. Your uh, queue is open. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi. 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 Uh, I'm going to be really quick here. Uh, there's a lot of rumors going around on Facebook, and this is one that I really want to confirm with you. Uh, this one says that the Arizona legislature is sending an official delegation to the ranch and that they're getting involved. It's a whole long letter, but uh, it says that the represent they make it sound like like the problem is being solved by the Arizona representatives, which it would be really nice if it was that easy. But, and is there any? I don't want to read the whole thing because it's too long. But is there any truth to any of this? Um, you know, we're expecting a variety of uh, politicians, law men, old people sorts um, to be uh, at ground zero in less than 12 hours, but uh, we're going to be cutting this call off here in a little bit. would love for them to, you know, chime in right now if we could, but just uh, due to some circumstances, we're going to have to re-chime this in in about 12 hours. Uh, hopefully, the call trees and the CECOM that we have right now um, can get, you know, people to, uh, people need to be on the phone. Um, some more of the other leaders that are showing up, um, some more of the leaders that are already there. Um, in a few hours, they're actually going to be meeting at the flagpole on the property. Um, so that's kind of what we're recommending to anybody that is within the uh, uh, inner threat uh, at any of the meeting areas. Uh, we're also trying to set up secondary uh, rally points um, on each side to uh, just be a meeting point for people to you know, avoid any, uh, excuse my French cluster thought that's going on uh, right now on the inside because we don't have eyes on the ground exactly uh, at this moment. You know, so if anybody here listening still got resources to people that are boots on the ground, we need you to get a hold of them and have them chime in. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Hey, Brian. Yeah, go ahead, Rick. Um, I am putting up live stream to the um, to what's going on right now, um, it is from the Pete Santilli show. Um, right now, it's kind of dark there, but um, it looks like a live stream going on via UStream. So I'm putting it up on my website, RainTheCreeShow.com. Excellent. Um, you know, right now I wish I was an octopus. I've got CB radios, hands, VHF. I've got uh, you know a laptop, a PC, and two throwaway phones, and a secondary phone. <laughs> and uh, as of right now, I'm, I'm, I think I've got all I've got in me. Um, I'm going to close this down on the 30. We got about 14 more minutes, so Wayne, I'm actually going to lock lock up uh, the people that are free uh, right now, except for the anonymous caller. And uh, we're going to continue this in approximately uh, less than 12 hours. Um, I kind of went over that time frame uh, that I expected I would, as you can tell. Um, but I, if, if you don't mind, you, you can keep rebroadcasting uh, the other things. But uh, 
I, I'd love it for you if you wanted to chime in again at uh, 8 o'clock or around 8 o'clock central uh, later on p.m. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can do that. Um, last round of Q&A for a little while. I'm going to grab a couple more people. Uh, Candice, you are disengaged. Uh, 7643, you are disengaged. Anonymous, you are disengaged. And wireless caller in 1450. Go ahead and speak your mind. This is uh, Michael Emery in Boise, Idaho, uh, a member of the Oath Keepers Health Establishment. It's a very intern with Stuart Rhodes. Thanks for coming in, Rhodes. What, uh, what can you add to the situation? Well, what we're doing is we're watching very closely. We have a second layer just in case it gets really, uh, um, really out of hand or whatever. And I think that y'all are doing a fantastic job got some boots on the ground there just in the background is uh, just y'all keeping it peaceful and uh, we're watching very closely good good we really appreciate that going on man um, you know I, I, I always like having more oath keepers that, that have my back whether they're active retired vets whatever the case is man um, you know keep spreading the word of what we are All right. All right well this gentleman here what I am is an 07 SOT armor and I'm interconnected with law enforcement, military, and private collectors. Um, and we're all watching very closely. We don't want anything to get out of hand, but we got your back. Uh, also connected with um, the National Guard, a few other things. And uh, you know, this is an asymmetrical situation that we have to attain because any time we organize, a lot of times you get infiltrated. This is my been my experience. So watch your six. On provocateurs or anybody getting a little uh, mouthy, you know, because this is going nationwide. And uh, wow, finally, finally. Um, so you guys are doing a fantastic job. And just know that what boots you have on the ground there are a token. Uh, let me ask you this, sir, if you don't mind. Uh, obviously, you're representing uh, Idaho Oath Keepers. Um, yeah. You know, you're a little bit closer than, than some other people are, and, uh, you know, you're going to be able to be uh, a wayfarer, if, if possible, uh, for communication since you're uh, an oath keeper. I'm, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna safely assume that I can count on you the best I can uh, based on what you've stated just in a few moments. Uh, I'm going to add you to comms 13. Uh, we've got over a dozen people now that are uh, in the network of communicators and leaders, and uh, if, if you don't mind, I'd like to put you under for... Uh, Yes, and I'm, getting some uh, I'm not really technically uh, advanced, but you have my number anytime. Yeah. And, and I don't know how this is how this is going to work, but I do need to try to stay in the communications chain. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of people here that have businesses and different things like that. Uh, that is, uh, we sit a few people down there, and I also have connections in Arizona as well. Their, their boots are on the ground as we speak. Um, like I said, asymmetric, uh, blending in is the best mode of veranda. And uh, uh, please, by all means, keep me in the loop so that I can know what to do. And um, anyways. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be adding a variety of numbers. May I have your first name, if you don't mind, again? My first name is Michael. My last name is Emery. Uh, I go by M. Gundock, as well known in this area for uh, uh, building firearms for uh, uh, quite a few different dealers and things of that nature. Um, so, anyways. How do you uh, find out about this call, if you don't mind me asking? But... Well, I've been searching the internet. My wife is very good at these things, and I've been trying to keep a, a close ear to the ground on this. Uh, talked to a good friend of mine in uh, Arizona that's kind of connected to some ranchers and militia. Uh, and the military is basically every citizen. I know you, you know me, but I don't know everybody you know, and same, same vice versa. That's how we've got it established here in Boise, because of infiltration. Now, you got my wife puts out here, a uh, little connected with them. And uh, I don't know 
personally what they're contributing right now. I know that a few of them are probably heading that way, but I'm also connected with a lot of combat veterans, current and uh, former. So, uh, and four man, it's good to know that these guys are paying attention too, man. Uh, whatever you can do to get some more of those guys on board in about 12 hours is going to be huge. I'm going to, uh, with eight minutes to go, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next caller unless you wanted to wrap that up, bro. Uh, go ahead and go to the next caller. I just want you to know that you're not alone. And I, I really appreciate that, man. And keep me in the loop if you could. If there's anything you all need, you, can, you spread my number and have someone call me or whatever it takes, okay? You got it. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Uh, if you have to call in later, I'd like you to refer to comms 13. That's uh, your own private code to get ahead of the, uh, the rest of the group I'm watching for you, okay? Um, I got uh, two more callers that are on hold right now. Uh, sorry, three more callers. So I'm going to move on to the next guy and uh, I'm going to take you out of the queue here. Thanks for signing in 1450. All right. Um, eeny, meeny, miny. I'm going to go in order it was received. 673, you're on. Hey, good morning. Sorry, if you want to speak up, but there you go, 5673. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Michael Toots from Louisiana, and I want to thank you guys for what y'all are doing. I'm with uh, Patriots Ride uh, Radio Station PNN with Zita Andrews. I'm located okay. in Louisiana, and she's located in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, listen, we uh, wanted to extend our help to you here. Uh, we broadcast live every day, and uh, we go on at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 Central. Uh, is there anything that we can do or have they contact, direct contact to, uh, you know, direct people to where they need to go and, and pass them uh, some valid information on? Yeah, actually, you're in another FEMA region, sir. You're southeast FEMA region, central, and uh, I am trying to contact someone that uh, used to have some stance out there in your vicinity. Um, are you familiar with the name Drew Rayner by chance? No, sir, but uh, you give me the information, I'll try to get a hold of him. Uh, um, you know, he's a very republic-minded individual. Uh, he was very uh, influential out of, uh, the, you know, the southern states as far as Second Amendment groups go, and uh, he's a resource that I'm trying to contact right now. Uh, I consider him a friend and an ally in the situation, and uh, I could definitely you use uh, Drew, as in Andrew, but no Ann, just Drew. Okay. Rainer, uh, R A Y, um, that I'm trying to contact. Uh, he's Mississippi, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's got a lot of influence in Louisiana as well. Okay. And uh, I'm just hoping if anybody chimes in through your network at all, it can help that guy. I'm uh, in about 12 hours. Um, I got three more people in the queue, sir. Uh, I, I totally appreciate Louisiana chimes. As a matter of fact, I've gotten down the information. Uh, I don't know you from Adam, sir, but I, I can't say you sound like an honest guy that's trying to do the right thing. Uh, if you don't mind, um, uh, we're going to need some representation in the future, uh, possibly from you know your state and surrounding. But uh, as of right now, uh, I'm going to mark you down as number 14 on the comms line for your region. Um, okay. If you can remember that, use that uh, in the future to say, hey, I'm the guy from Louisiana, number 14. You know, you put on comms out there. If you got anything on Drew, that'd be great. If not, I just also need to kind of let you put out some feelers for your locale uh, and for your region. You know, if you hear about, uh, you know, unruly movement, blue helmets, shots fired, things of that nature, if uh, you've got the capability to monitor any of the emergency channels out that way. Uh, a lot of people are using scanner radio as an application on their uh, iPhones it's called scanner radio. You can actually look up by, uh, you know, uh, state, city, county, things of that nature. So just uh, a lot of people need to kind of keep their eyes peeled in their region, see if they're getting extra movement. You know, if anybody wants to chime in to uh, Ground Zero's uh, scanners as well, we should be listening for uh, plates being right over the, uh, over the lines because that's where they're pulling over right now. Um, okay. If you don't, if you don't mind, uh, five six seven three. Uh, can I call you, Mike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah. All right, Mike. Uh, 
I'm going to go down again in uh, comms, uh, actually your comms 14 now, so right. you utilize that when you call back, see if you can give me any updates from Louisiana, man, you know, we're, we're going to be keeping this going as long as possible. I, I'm shutting it down in four minutes, so if you don't mind, I'm going to move on to the, the next two people that have been waiting patiently. No problem, um, in Keep us updated, man, keep spreading the word, and, uh, you know, keep praying that this, uh, all, you know, the dust settles nicely and, uh, you know, not one shot fired, not one drop of blood, if you know what I mean. Oh, amen. I'm with you all the way on that. That sounds good. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do what we can. And uh, we'll be broadcasting tonight at, uh, at about 7 for about a couple hours in Central Time. So, uh, all right. Good for you. Awesome. I appreciate you, man. I'm moving on to uh, 7102. 7102, it's a female, I believe. You're the next car. Hi, Brian. My name is Catherine. I'm on uh, the News Ninja team with Wayne Dupree, and um, I'm out here in Texas. And I came in on this call about uh, about 45 minutes ago. So what I would like to know or to have is your contact information so that I can tweet it and Facebook it and that we can connect. My husband and I are seriously thinking about going to Nevada. My husband is a peace officer. Um, what do you recommend? Do you recommend that we go? I, I already heard, you know, don't go locked and loaded. Uh, what do you recommend that we do? And when you get the information for donations, uh, like the uh, second, uh, son of the second man was asking, would you give me that information too so I can tweet and Facebook all that to get the word spread? Just whatever I can do to help, I'm here to help you. And I she is. definitely appreciate that. And uh, that's Wayne chiming in right now, Catherine. Hey, Wayne. She is. <laughs> but believe me, Catherine. Catherine and Alicia, who um, both you heard from my team, they are solid people that you can count on. So um, whatever information you can get out before you get ready to get off, um, let them know and let everybody know. And I, and I think you're going to be back on this number in about... 12 hours, correct? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, we're getting closer to 11 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be the same code? Uh, everything should be exactly the same. Uh, dial the number 559-726-1300, and uh, the code that you guys are using is 276-125. Um, yeah, and then you can sign in. Uh, until further notice, uh, people are watching uh, me very closely on Facebook right now. I've uh, surpassed How do I well over 5,000. I'm sorry, I, I didn't get your contact information for Facebook. How do I find you? Sure, no problem. Uh, first name Brian, B R Y A N. And if you actually put in a space and then uh, all one word, free the people, F R E E T H E P E O P L E. Um, okay. I should be the first guy that pops up. I've got a sarcastic profile picks up right now, but it kind of goes hand in hand with what we're doing right now. Okay, and are you on Twitter? Uh, negative, but we uh, okay. do have a couple people that are uh, tagging you in under the hashtag Oath Before Orders. Um, some things have been rebroadcasted there. Feel free to put this number up there, and more people will hopefully chime in on that uh, hashtag Oath Before Orders. Um, okay. Other people, if they have live footage or uh, video or anything timestamp that's verifiable, uh, Intel, please feel free to use that as a Twitter hashtag and uh, post it up with a picture or video too. Again, uh, pound sign, oath before order. I don't tweet. I don't even know how that works. Um, I've got you know too many other things going on, but I've got a couple people that have been helping me out and they're uh, trying to catch us in this conversation and myself directly to whatever photos are up right now. I haven't had time to check that.
and assign that as a task to begin the whole deal, okay? Perfect. Anything I can do to help? Thanks a bunch. Uh, you you have, before you go, uh, Wayne, are you in direct contact with her? Yes. Yes, I am. All right. It, it seems like you've got a lot of people that are uh, falling in the line under this uh, crowdfunding uh, issue, um, uh, along with what you've you know supplied so far. If you've known, you know, any of those people want to go ahead and just take a take charge, uh, you know, some you know authoritative, but a command type position, and uh, you know, put some ideas forth that that are going to work for uh, some sort of crowdfunding. We just need to. Um, you know, see how many people are really on board with the potentiality, and uh, I'll go ahead and get something started up. Um, once we get, you know, maybe yeah, I'll talk. five or yeah. six people that know what they're doing with that. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, I got another wireless caller, seven six four three. You chimed in earlier. I recognize the number. I'm going to go ahead and unmute you. Go ahead, seven six four three. Hey, Brian. Just one last thing here. Um, I, I noticed nobody's talked about where they're taking the cattle that they have confiscated. Um, would that be? Uh, uh, I got the information of where the cattle are being taken. If if anybody wants to know where that is, so they can maybe recoup some of their cattle. Sure. Let, let's that compare notes. Would that anybody? Yeah. Let's compare notes. What I've got is there was a flyby um, that happened yesterday morning that verified that there was around 500 cattle left on this ranch. Um, uh, Bureau of Land Management has uh, confiscated, or however you want to put that, up to 350 of these uh, cattle, and uh, they're down to 150 or less, approximately, uh, as far as what's left on and what is gone. A good portion of them has already been put up on auction. Um, so right. Cross I got the. Do you have the auction yard address, phone number, anything like that? Negative. Do you? Yes, I do. In fact, it's. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's E U. C L I D Stockyard. You put you put Stockyard. Yep, and that's uh one four one eight five Euclid Avenue, Ontario, California. Nine one seven six two. Just put in the phone number from, from sorry from PETA. <laughs> if somebody's online from PETA, if you could go ahead and harass the shit out of these people for me. Um if you could right. <laughs> give give that information again. <laughs> Sorry to plug Peter right now, but if for for some reason they just came to mind that they might actually be useful for something. Uh, if they wouldn't harass some of those guys that are, uh, you know, hurt, hurting yeah. these cattle right now. Can you get that information again? I'm going to jot it down. Sure. It's uh, Euclid Stockyards Incorporated. Tell me when you're on. Okay, that's one four one eight five Euclid Avenue. That's in Ontario, California. Nine one seven six two is the zip, and I got the phone number here. Nine zero nine five nine seven four eight one eight. I'm going to verify nine zero nine five nine seven four eight one eight. Correct. I appreciate that, sir. And you're absolutely and correct about Peter. You know, I'm, I I grew up near ranches. You cannot run these cattle with helicopters. You cannot harass them. They get their adrenaline build up. That's not healthy for them. It's damaging right. them, and then it's killing them. And then you know the the whole backhoe thing what started that right to begin with, with the with the BM, BLM people, was they just wanted answers what they were doing with the backhoes, and they're suspected that they're sitting out there burying the dead cattle right where they died with backhoes, which is illegal. I can't believe I haven't re read nothing on PETA about this yet. All right, you know, and I don't, I don't mean to really push on PETA. You know, I, I respect all living things, and, you know, I got to admit, you know, being, uh, you know, a majority of Native American, uh, you know, on the inside and in blood, that, uh, you know, it's, it's wrong, you know, that we kind of don't have any real healing of another life. Here we are saying, oh, it's so wrong that this person got tased when we don't really even consider anything outside of the uh, the uh, human race and how they're treated and how their lives are. You know, I know a lot of people feel, well, they don't have opposable thumbs. They're not uh, intelligent creatures, et cetera, et cetera. But, um, you know, just kind of throwing that out there. I'm not going to get into a whole PETA situation. I'm definitely not a tree hugger man. But, uh, 
you know, being the yeah, American, we res we respect what we kill, and and most hunters get that, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, some people try to kind of take that to heart. You know, the stuff doesn't grow on trees when it ends up packaged on your, uh, you know, your friendly butcher shelves, and uh, you know, the, the, these these meats go through a lot of uh, torturous, uh, frightening processes that, uh, you know, in my eyes, you are what you eat, and if you're eating tortured meat. You know, there's a lot of bad, uh, bad juju in there, and uh, you know we yeah, consume that on a daily basis. And uh, you know, I've always been more of a, you know, a free range or uh, you know, uh, a venison, you know, preferably, you know, organic broccoli. Yeah, exactly. So um, I got I'm one last caller, and I'm gonna have to start wrapping this up. Is there anything you wanted to add, seven six four three, before I cut you loose? Uh, just one thing. I share that I share that Native American blood with you. My great great grandma died at wounded knee. I'm not not quite full as much blood as you, but I share that with you, brother. Uh, I really appreciate that, man. You know, we all bleed right inside, man. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that need to put in there. That's why I kind of I, I get uh, along with all kinds of people, man. But I, I take other respect to a lot of minorities out there. You know, to, to me, Mexicans are Incas, Mayans, and, and, and Aztec warriors, and now we're shutting them out from something that they were freely allowed to roam on before any white people got here. And then you've got you know African Americans. Which you know they fought for this country under slavery just as Native Americans did, um, and you know sometimes they've even fought each other. But I, you know, can completely res respect a lot of different minorities, uh, you know, a lot more than I can, uh, you know, some some people that are telling other people go back to your country. It's just uh, here I am shaking my head, you know. Um, anyways, I'm gonna move on to the next caller, and uh, I really appreciate appreciate your input, Mandy. Go ahead and chime in. We're gonna try to clean in. Uh, about 11 hours from right now, so uh, we're all be back on the conversation Thanks, Brian. and uh, spread the hell out of the word, man, like bonfire. That's what we're asking. And uh, you got any boots on the ground, man? Just uh, refer them back to the uh, the playback numbers uh, 559-726-1399, and the uh, audio key is pound 9676, and then pound again to hear the uh, last segment, which also gives the segment prior, which also gives the segment prior. But uh, I'm gonna move on to this uh, last wireless caller and. Uh, I gotta hit the hit. Uh, right. Here we go. Uh, five eight two seven. You're the last one in the queue. Make it good. Yeah, you said something earlier about wondering what could possibly be under that land. And on uh, three lieutenant uh, Clint Lawrence, it says here that it was revealed to Commander Hunt of the California State Militia that from someone uh, from a source inside the FBI that the true motivation behind this incident is a natural gas line. A large deposit of natural gas running underneath the ranch. I don't know. I mean, yeah. that's not been confirmed, of course, but this is a a pretty popular military. This man's doing 20 years in living work for shooting somebody over overseas. He was at war and he killed somebody, protecting his men, and he was a living one. No problem. Uh, no problem at all. In, in addition to what you just said, uh, uh, we actually kind of covered shortly a couple different times throughout the last few phone calls. Uh, in different segments, just basically, yeah, you are, uh, as far as we can tell, correct. Um, this seems a little more than tortoises and cows. Um, you know, there's a, a real agent that's been doing some uh, in real estate in the vicinity, and they can it for quite some time that uh, foreign hands are trying to get their hands on this land. Um, what I'm going to guess is, uh, you know, somebody was able to do some detection and found that this is a prime, you know, real estate in uh, someone up top trying to make it hard for him because this guy doesn't want to sell. Uh, it really comes down to a whole lot more than uh, where their cattle grazes. There's uh, fresh water, there's fresh oil, there's uh, minerals, precious uh, precious uh, ores and minerals, so to speak. And, uh, yeah, it, 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 that's come up a few times, and I would have to agree with you at this point. This is a lot more than tortoises and cows. And uh, someone from up top is kind of calling some shots and uh, really wants this land no matter how, how they go about it. Um, we do have confirmation that there are other sites that similar things have recently occurred and or may be occurring uh, at this moment. And uh, we hope that uh, as long as things, everything remains peaceful on this end, we can get enough uh, of the de facto to go ahead and slow down and, uh, you know, hopefully find some sort of, uh, you know, catch 22 slash peaceful standoff. Um, you know, that's what everybody seems to want to shoot. Now there's a couple of hotheads that would want different, but uh, you know I, I think anybody logically would want uh, them to stand down and uh, 
go home and we all live another day and uh, you know there is no bloodshed or shots fired. I, uh, yeah, they're doing a good job at, at staying peaceful, but those people keep posting that on what that man said about Utah and they better have their funeral arrangements. Man, that's that's going viral and it's pissing people off. But I hope that it does continue to be peaceful. Um, as stated earlier, this gentleman that's been saying that about Utah, um, I believe he's a delegate or some sort of uh, politician that was warning people from Utah not to come out to uh, Nevada. And uh, I think that person needs his head checked. And if anybody else is out there, um, you know, in that region that can uh, start putting through the paperwork to put a, a, a lien on this guy's federal bond of $250,000. Um, as soon as he steps outside of his boundaries, the first man that goes down, um, we need to make sure that this gets, gets arrested because he's the one calling for it. You know, that's not only uh, libel and slander, but uh, enticing violence, you know, kidnapping, murder, extortion, and a variety of other things. And that's $250,000 per offense. And uh, if he keeps speaking up, he needs to be pulled out of office. As soon as you file a lien on his bond with uh, his county, he's got about 30 days. Either he has to come up with 20% of that lien, or he's done and he needs to retire and he cannot hold that office ever again. So I'm, I'm just going to leave that up for people to work on um, that are just chiming in. i got one more person. You know, I'm trying to be fair here. I should have gone to bed hours ago, but uh, got one more How person that just, just fell in the queue, man. Um, I appreciate you awesome, chiming in. Anything, anything you want to wrap up with? No, just got blessed and get some sleep. Yeah, I heard that. All right, uh, 0610. Yeah. Hey, brother. This week from Cook County. Just want to say good night and good game for man. Been a hell of a joyride. How long you been on board, man? Oh, shit. I started work. Well, I got out about 10 o'clock. I love if I'm going on there. <laughs> I think. I don't even remember what time it was. But, uh, yeah, we've been trucking with you all night and we meet a couple other buddies. So. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm trying to keep it lighthearted, man, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to have people keep their senses and capabilities here and, you know, make other things happen. Uh, you know, I'm on the phone a lot for what I do for work, and, uh, you know, I'm just kind of utilizing my skills. I just happen to fall in the right place at the right time. Again, this just started off, as you know, uh, a simple conference call between pals that are concerned, and uh, we yeah. decided to open up this call and put out word, and it's just been spreading like wildfire, man. So, uh uh, are you by chance in touch with your uh, local Second Amendment group, sir? Uh, he already gave me the group, and I already got in touch with them. Uh, I believe it was uh, Charlie. I believe it was okay. uh, All right, ten four. Um, I, and I appreciate you doing that. You know, when the time comes, and uh, you, you know, you get past the feet and greet, so I want you to go ahead and uh, get in contact with uh, Old Wolf. He's been around that group for a while. Um, Old Wolf. Yeah. People know what you're talking about. Just look for a wolf. That's all you really need to say. Well, uh, when that time comes, uh, you know, let them know I sent you. All right. Oh yeah, definitely. We'll go. We'll be with you tonight, too. All right, ten four. Yeah, we'll be back on uh, after I get some rest. And yeah, I'm just seeing blurry right now. I'm for eleven hours. Yeah, I've been at um, it. Uh, started work at seven forty five last week. I gotta go to bed too. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm dying over here. To be honest, I'm, I'm pretty much meant to cut down this call about 15 minutes ago. So uh, anybody that's chimed in, uh, if you want to hear this call again and hear what happened, uh, you can go to 559-726-1399 and press key code pound 9676-POUND. You'll hear the last segment, and that segment will give you the segment prior, and so on and so forth. Uh, this started approximately 48 hours ago at uh, 8 Central. Um, I'm losing track of time right now. I'm going to go ahead and shut this conversation down uh, for all you guys that are live broadcasting. I really appreciate what you're doing out there. And, uh, you know, keep spreading the word. We're going to continue this uh, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, if you want to chime in early, that's cool. We'll have an open call for a while until it gets out of hand. By tomorrow, he uh, means reached, today. We uh, reached about 400 people today and uh, only uh, – uh, yesterday. So, yeah, I'm sorry, yesterday. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Uh, 0610, did you want to close out with anything? I think you guys are going to be... Uh, uh, we all to get everybody to no, I'm going to just keep on rocking. We'll, we'll get to you tonight, man. Take care.
All right. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and put this one out to you, man. Uh, I don't even mean to make a shameless plug right now, but uh, I used to work in security at a venue out here in the northwest suburbs of Chicago, and uh, there was a gentleman that uh, had showed up a, a few times and never really uh, ordered anything. He didn't really have any money to, to do that. You know, he was uh, in a place where uh, he used to be a carpet layer, and somebody took his van with all the tools in it, and uh, he found himself down and out. And uh, he's been actually living on the street the last few years, and uh, you know I've done what I can to, to uh, befriend this gentleman. And uh, as times passed, he's actually, uh, you know, we gained each other's trust. And he asked me if he could uh, store a few items here uh, at my residence so he can save some money. He's popping up about fifty bucks a month um, for storage to keep the, uh, some of his uh, personal items that he didn't want to get rid of. Uh, which I've now taken into my home, and uh, he actually brought over a guitar at one point. And uh, I asked him, you know, hey, do you play? And uh, one thing led to another, and uh, I've been jamming with this homeless fellow <laughs> from the streets of Chicago uh, since the winter before last. And uh, I'm only doing this out of uh, respect for him. He's a singer, songwriter, and an author. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody wants to kind of hear what this guy's got to say, um, he's put together a, a, a variety of different songs. He's got actually in total 40. Um, he's been coming over here. We got some recording software that put together. Uh, he's also put together. He doesn't beg for money. He actually has been selling his stories and uh, selling his music. Um, actually, he's been giving it away more contributions. So I'm just trying to give this guy a little bit of clout. Um, if anybody wants to jump on the SoundCloud, if you jump on the SoundCloud, he's got. Uh, four or five songs that have helped him post. Um, I very amateurly helped him remaster with the limited software that we do have. You know, everything comes professionally. It's not kid rock. Um, there's a lot of rock and a lot of soul and a lot of blues and uh, a lot of heart in this man's words. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and if anyone wants to hear, um, he actually wrote a song dedicated to me. Um, it's called Free the People, um, which is my mantra that I've been using for a few years now. It's uh, Pretty much my my be all and all goal anyway, but uh, he, he made a really cool song, a little conspiracy theoryish, but uh, it's got a very cool uh, tribal y type Native American -y type feel to it, um, and it really speaks about you know a lot of things that I've talked to him about. So he turned it into a song. So if I go on SoundCloud and type in all one word, free the people, um, that really should head up, and, and you should see approximately four or five songs that we've somewhat mastered. Um, Really entertaining stuff. He's really good at what he does. If anybody the time and listen to some really cool jams, I just wanted to to close off with that. Um, Dan's got this guy's gained a lot of respect in my eyes. He's the uh, ultimate prepper, the way I see it. You know, we're, we're sending guys out to go camp out when it's warm in a confined area you know, where there's other people. This guy's been living in the real world, checks in a tent, uh, weathering Illinois. Which I, I, I assume yeah. has been quite a tundra uh, and, and below freezing temperatures uh, most of uh, this winter. And uh, I'm just kind of putting that out there. I'm, you know, hopefully somebody uh, on the other end is listening and likes what they hear. This guy could really use a break. He's a really talented person, and uh, hopefully you like what you hear. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna actually, check it out for sure. I hate to give a, I kind of, I feel like I just gave a shameless plug, but uh, you know, this guy <laughs> definitely had an impact and in fact on my life. Um, you know, we both kind of reached out, man, and uh, you know, I found a friend for life, man, and uh, right. You know, I, I, I call him Uncle Mike now. You know, he's part of my family. If it's below temperatures, he can stay here. You know, my my wife, my wife's uh, been looking out for him, and uh, you know, we've got some friends locally that are trying to look out for this guy, and uh, you know, to see. Uh, how he's grown as a person, you know, from being an outcast to, uh, you know, being a, a lively, uh, you know, getting his sanity back and, uh, you know, as people that are kind of willing to interact with him and let him know, hey, man, we hear what you're doing out there. We like what you're doing. Um, some more, you know, he would use a little bit of the feedback out there. He's just, you know, somebody that I'm kind of trying to look out for, man, and hopefully, you know, any push or pull or, or, or cloud or whatever that I have, uh, you know, might help it help this gentleman along. Um, you know, again, I'm just kind of throwing it out there. I don't mean to shamelessly plug, but uh, 
is really calibrated. I think from, you, know, you guys will get a kick out of uh, what he's trying to do out there. Um, yep, we're going to check him out for sure, man. Yeah, but anything else you want to do? Uh, I mean, uh, so that's all the line. No, brother. I'm out. You have a good night. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks for chiming in. And, uh, you know, good, good job on looking out for the sun back there, man. I'm sure they'll take the best care of you that they can. You know, just show sure, yourself yeah. that a meet, meet and greet in the near future. You know, hunt down your yeah. county and, uh, you know, welcome aboard, man. Sounds good, bro. Good talk to you. You bet. Got the window open then for a couple minutes. Uh, I'm still up. If anybody wants to chime in, go ahead and press uh, star six. I'll let another person chime in. If you'd like to ask a question, please press one. Your request has been received. Press star six and chime in. Hey, uh, Chicago, you're back on the line. Hang on a second. I'll get you. You may now ask your question. Hey, man. Hey yeah, I'm 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 a musician too. Just so you know, we'll talk about that later. Uh, by the way, you're, you might want to consider um, having your friend make some money with his music on YouTube. Again, I'll talk, I'll talk to you about that later. I wanted to let you know on the um, uh, on the YouTube stream of this call, um, there was a point where we reached 150 simultaneous views. Wow. Yeah. So uh, we've been we've been pulling in a lot of uh, YouTube attention and. Um, I'm I'm happy to uh, to get that for you. Yeah, I actually uh, really appreciate that. Um, I actually just pulled up uh, on my laptop the site, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and play that one song that I mentioned um, by Free the People. I, this is how I'm gonna close out the call. So, uh, Chicago, I definitely want to stay in touch with you, man. You got a lot of good things to offer. Uh, yeah. A lot of things that I'm trying to do. It sounds like we're in line. Um, I've got some you know things that I can offer uh, to me. Some of the things that you already have. So, uh, awesome. We'll awesome pass in the near future. Yeah, add me as a friend on Facebook. We'll talk and I will see what we can do for each other. And we are semi local to each other. Um, I don't drive, but maybe you do. But if you wanted to, to make the trek over to the northwest side of Chicago, maybe we could sit down, have some coffee, and whatever. I'll, I'll be honest, man. Uh, you're, you're pretty much my ground zero. I hate anything on that side of 294, but. Uh, We'll make plans to cross paths. I had tried Your to avoid the city like a plane. Has stopped. Uh, we're not recording anymore. Well, we're, reco we're recording on, on my end. end. <laughs> this conference is being recorded. All right, sorry about that. Um, we're recording on my end. Never stopped. <laughs> yeah, good morning. All right, if you guys can hang on the line for one second. Uh, Chicago. Give somebody a, a phone. Hang on one second. Go ahead and speak up if you like. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm. I was just saying. Um, you know, I I look forward to uh, you know, talking to you and seeing uh, what else we could do. And um, it's been my pleasure to to stream this out to uh, YouTube. Um, my channel's got like over three thousand subscribers and over you know three million views and stuff like that. So you know, the more people I can you know, get to, uh, you know, listen to uh, these calls through uh, that avenue. I'm, you know, absolutely thrilled to uh, be able to do that for you. All right. Totally appreciate that, man. Um, you are actually going to be here. Uh, geez, I got two more people chime in. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna scoot you out of the lane here and uh, take a couple of quick calls, all right? All right. Well, if you don't close it down, people will chime in forever. I'm telling you, <laughs> you're getting popular. Uh, and, and I do see that. Uh, I actually had to phase out for about 15 minutes earlier and it turned into utter chaos. So instead of people screaming and getting frustrated, I'm just going to shut it down after I get a couple more people in real quick. And then uh, I wanted to play at least just this one song and then I'm going to close it out. That would be yeah, a good idea. At 9 o'clock. I plan on being out at 7, but it's cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next guy if you don't mind, Chicago. Cool. Catch you later. Add me on Facebook. We'll talk later. Thanks, brother. You can Muted. All right, wireless uh, 1245. Uh, I'll get this way, Mississippi. Hey, what's going on, Mississippi? Man, tell me this is Drew. Yes, it is. Oh, I was born last night. I was in for a couple hours. And uh, I'm about to aid reservation with the tough and people in there. I need to verify that. Uh, I'm actually verify that right now to be 
recommend uh, the tribal offices should be opening in a couple of hours. Um, the best I can do is uh, offer the phone number again for that tribal office, which is 7065-2790. I'm at hours, I would say, let no words tribal office. Um, you know, catch what time they're going to be opening. Catch we really love to use them as a rally point. Sound safe, secure, and they're federally protected. And uh, there's nothing like yeah. knowing that there's 10,000 Indians with arms that are not going to let the federal uh, 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 dissolve powers that be uh, encroach any further. So that, that's a really good potential rally point. As of right now, that's not confirmable, but uh, we are trying to set that up. Okay. And I'll just like a question follow up. Uh, are you going to come back on air later tonight? Or? Yeah, we had. Uh, you know, once the time clock, uh, approximately 11 hours from now at 8 o'clock Central uh, p.m., I'm going to do my best to get started up all over again and uh, do this for a third day in the road, man. I just got to catch some bees, but I got to keep like, on it. Okay, okay. and, uh, yeah, and, and I just, you know, want to let people get a chance to speak. Um, you know, it's no skin off my back. I'm going to lose a little sleep, but uh, these people are getting a chance to talk, man. Um, did I answer what you needed? Yes, sir. I appreciate you doing what you're doing, and uh, get you some rest, man. Yeah, I know, man. Uh, I keep getting told yeah, that, but uh, you're spoiled. I can tell you, you young guy. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of seeing double right on the Mountain Dew's definitely more. I've been in a minute, and uh, uh, I don't want to yeah, feel a little you groggy, man. I, don't it's all good. Easy, man. I appreciate the good words, man, and uh, good looking out, you know, and uh, you know, just keep spreading the word that we're here doing what we're doing, and uh. Yeah, then hopefully we can find some resolution and I'm not pissing too many people off. <laughs> but, uh, all right. All right. Thanks, man. I'm going to scoot to the next guy, uh, wireless caller 1609. Uh, wireless caller, hang on one second. Let me unmute you. Go ahead. Yeah, can, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I got you, bro. Okay, hey, I was just wondering, has anybody uh, got a hold of the Cattlemen's Association, maybe to turn them on to that uh, uh, auction barn down there? You know, the Cattlemen's Association, I always go to that cattle feed and see what, like, what's happened out there. This BLM has turned into cattle feed for trying to sell it at an auction, and they can usually stop that. Hey, did you uh, get a chance to catch the uh, Euclid Stockyards information? Yeah, I did. I got that wrote down, and, and but what I was wondering is if, if I know I'm down from Texas, and I know we got a cattlemen's association there, and I'm almost yeah. sure Nevada's got a cattlemen's association also. And if uh, Nevada cattlemen's association would be willing to, you know, to get into it, then that would be a good way to stop the sale of those cattle. You know, those there's there's no better place, or no better time than now, sir. Uh, obviously. Uh, you know, you speak the language and, uh, you know, you would know, you know, the kind of people that you need to get hold of if you want to take that upon yourself and uh, do what you got to do to rub some elbows with the right people in your uh, currently active associates. Uh, we wouldn't mind somebody actually doing that. Um, you know, it makes sense to me on my end. Uh, it, you know, I can't speak for everybody, but if you want to maybe uh, take it upon yourself to, to try to use your resources to, you know, get the right people doing the right thing, uh, I'm all for it. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll try to get a hold. Of, I'll try to see what I can do about getting a hold of the Nevada Cattlemen Association. Uh, I've got a lot of friends that are ranchers there in Texas, and uh, if I can't, you know, if I can't get a hold of the Nevada Association directly, I'll see if they can't get a hold of uh, the Cattlemen Association in Texas and get them on it. Well, it sounds like my kind of guy that gets things done, man. If you can. Uh you know, get in there and make something happen and report back with everybody if you see it. Ah, right, man. Well, listen, I just got on here. I've been listening to y'all for about an hour. I've been trying to follow this on YouTube every day because I think it's, I think it's BS. Uh, but, you know, I'm at work right now and I can't, I can't get away because if I left work, I would be hurting my family. But I'll do whatever I understand, I man. Home. Don't put yourself at risk. Don't put yourself out, man. You know, if uh, you get some time to chime back in, uh, in about 11 hours, uh, we're going to go full blast again, but uh, we're just kind of dying down right now where i got about 35 people on the call, 36 is what I'm showing. Uh, and, uh, 102 yeah, on YouTube. Dying down, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and let the next person in line talk. If you wanted to add anything else, go ahead. And... 
none of if anybody else out there is a member of the Cattlemen's Association, I would appreciate maybe if they get in touch with them also. Because the more voices um, we got in on this, and the better. Go ahead and give your email out loud, bro, if, if you want yeah. to take uh, some extra spam that might show up. Yeah, my uh, my email is Richard J. Nolan, all one word, you know, L I N, at yahoo.com. And uh, we need to get a hold of this Cattlemen's Association to see if they can't get on that because they're basically uh, they're stolen cows and they're trying to sell stolen stock. And, uh, yeah, we heard uh, a few of them have been uh, uh, slaughtered as well, and they're just kind of putting dirt on top of them. So, yeah, uh, well, it's, you know, a, it's against the law in my state for somebody to kill your animals. You know, all right, well, so, it sounds like you know, you're pretty well be. educated in that field, man. I, I, I trust and hope that uh, you can put your best foot forward and try to get you know some people in command of that structure and uh, you know get, get get through to them and let them know what's going on, man, and uh, get them in touch with that Euclid Stockyards and Maybe it's time to kind of bring down some doors, uh, you know, peacefully, of course. But maybe we need some of the appropriate, you know, appropriate authorities uh, questioning these guys' intentions as well. Sure. All right. Thanks, man. Get some sleep. All right. Thanks, bro. I got uh, another person uh, waiting to talk. I'm gonna move on, and I appreciate you calling in. But uh, okay. one, four, five, three year ago. Hi, Brian. I've been on. Uh it's <laughs> uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, my name is Cosmic Mom. I'm from from Facebook. Uh, Dave Kessel is the one that, did, that started the YouTube streaming. And I just want to say God bless you all so much. I am just posting in every single group and I'm in, involved with about 60 to 70 groups with as much information as to who to call, what it is uh, Stuart had put, what he expects. Um, what to do, you know, just the basics. Sweetheart, I hope on your last call, go to bed. We'll talk to you at 8 o'clock tonight, 9 o'clock my time. I'm calling from Miami, Florida. I appreciate that, Miami, your sweetheart. My, uh, oh, my mom and my, 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 my mom and my sister. You have an inbox also. message. <laughs> <laughs> my mom and my you sister. Know, sister you know, so thanking you for saying that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take your advice. I was going to. Uh, Actually, play the one song that I had mentioned earlier, I and then I'm just gonna would. go. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the hey. Uh, this is gonna come okay. in very stereo. Uh, this is gonna come in via a mono speaker on my laptop down to my phone. But uh, if you actually okay. go to SoundCloud.com, SoundCloud.com forward slash Brian with a Y, uh, and there's a uh, hyphen free the people. I got you. Um, okay, cool. I'll, I'll be the guy to pop up. Did you get a chance to hear that song I mentioned yet? No, not yet, because I've been too busy being nosy, listening to everybody else. I'm burnt out. I'm laying in bed. I can't type anymore. I just, but I did send you an inbox. I tried to bring uh, in. I go, damn, that was stupid because the poor guys already got overloaded. But I did inbox what's your first, you. What's your first name, ma'am? How do you prefer to be addressed? Hey, call me anything. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> I, I believe mama. your uh, online persona had mama in it. What was it? I think we're all late for Cosmic sleep. Cosmic mom. Well, Cosmic mom, uh, I'm going to go no. ahead and uh, adopt you. Cosmic mom. Everybody knows Cosmic mom. I may not uh, be able to physically do much of it in the name of Jesus. I can run my mouth, and I am a military brat. My whole family is military and police. Awesome. Right. Hope and hope the, the, 38 and the, other. <laughs> the druids will sacrifice goats to cause like already. If you want to get from the family on board in about 11 hours, we'd be mighty thankful. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, you know I'm going to be on there at 8 o'clock. I, re- I haven't been to sleep either. <laughs> I know, me right? Me neither. Yeah, so I'm going to have a pot of coffee waiting for me when I get back up here. We just, oh, honey, but, uh, I can't drink no more coffee. I've been drinking coffee all night and smoking every four hours. Go on. i got to take a break. i got, I got Dr. Pepper here. here. I, I, I've been. Trying to quit, but I went through over a pack since I've been here, so uh, I'm not oh, advocating even, smoking. I'm that damaging no. myself here, but it's helping me keep my hey, sanity. It's trust understandable. Me. Hey, that tobacco, <laughs> it, it, it blocks that fluoride that's calcifying your pineal gland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll try to. And we'll talk to you at 8 o'clock, and I'm waiting to hear the song. All right. Uh, again, it's going to come in mono. It's going to come in mono, and it's only. Yeah. All right. I love your I love your energy, Cosmic Mom. Lord, how will you pass me the ammo? 
Yeah, you go ahead. Divine love rules. <laughs> you go ahead. I'm in uh, in about eleven hours. I'd love to hear from you and uh, let me know how you're doing. Okay. I will torture you then. God bless you. Put <laughs> your carpets and your dreams over. Get to say your first praises and heavenly father and the company heaven. Make this be peaceful. No bloodshed. Enough bloodshed. But the feds are going to find out. We the people own you, and you and enough is enough. I like how you think, man. You, you keep up that spirit and keep spreading the word, okay? I'm going to ask Jerry, born on Easter. Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's hear the song, and you get some sleep, precious. And at 8 o'clock, we'll hear a feed at 9. I will be calling back. And I awesome. will be looking for long before then. All right. And, uh, all right, I'm going to wrap this up. It's uh, 9.07 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be back uh, at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm just going to wrap this up with this cool song that, like I said, my buddy uh, on the street. Good, we are really had. cutting it's, this YouTube uh, video close. Movement, but uh, you guys get a kick out of it. Um, you can go to soundcloud.com forward slash Brian with a Y hyphen free the people and then my last name. But, uh, I can barely hear this, and I am not able to boost it. All right, seeing as this song is not coming through at all, hardly for crap, um... If you want to hear it, just go to the SoundCloud address that he mentioned. And um, I'd like to thank everybody for listening, watching, whatever. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Follow the, the, Goog the Google Plus page that I have. Join the Cosmic Group, uh, you know, voice group on Facebook. Click like on the Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy page and whatever the hell else you want to do. We will see you all at 8 p.m. Central Time, hopefully, and um, catch you then. Everybody have a good night, morning, whatever it is by you. God bless, Gaia bless, Source Energy bless, whatever your views are. Or if you're atheist, may the Big Bang bless, whatever. Um, catch you all later. Thank you for listening, and have an awesome morning.